Hey, yeah, I always try to give credits to the player. You know, I don't say like, oh, they did a good thing on accident. Like they meant to do that. Right. Yeah. Same yeah. with production, baby. Hey, yeah, I, I gotta yeah. tell you, they if you're trying to, to become that. a top Fox player, I think the way to do it is uh, not practicing shine turn around bear on Marth over and over. By the <laughs> way, I think that is like <laughs> very low value. Outside, <laughs> underneath the basketball. <laughs> Outside, right underneath <laughs> the basketball. In, in the dark. Yeah, yeah. In the dark. <laughs> By yourself. The yes. best representation. Better ways to practice. Better ways to practice. Yeah, you could get Uncle Pudge twenty X X. There's like you know. All kinds of things yeah. you could do, but hey. That run that Cody did was so, <laughs> so good. good. Yeah, it was. So it was badass. So, like, when they're filming it, it's just, like, full speed, and yeah. it, it just takes, like, a second and a half. Yeah. And, I, and then once they put it into super slow motion, you see all the motion in it. Yeah. And it's funny. While they're filming it, they totally know. I'm like, they're like, that's the one. That's, that's the one. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, shout-outs to production. It's yeah. been top to your skits, as always. As always. always. Yeah. From they know what Summit. they're doing. They're so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're beyond that summit. Way beyond it. Way beyond it. <laughs> Past it. I wonder Past when the they summit. were on it. Oh, it was just Summit? Huh? Here at the Summit? Well, I wonder if they were ever on the Summit and then they had to go beyond or Maybe they went they around it. Probably just know. shot over it. Right. They, they might have shot over it, it yeah. yeah. Axe versus Fiction. I think um, Fiction, super cerebral player. Also, his drug fox as a coach who, like, uh, plays a mean Pikachu himself. Oddly enough, yeah. Oddly Wait, enough, yes. does? No, no, no. Drug uh, Fox. Drug oh, Fox. Okay. Drug Fox. He was actually playing against Amsa with his Pikachu versus uh, Amsa's Yoshi and was taking a couple of games off of wow. it here and there. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. what can't Sammy do? <laughs> it's Yeah, it is wild. He's got a really good Samus, too. He's got everything. Yeah. He's got everything. Not so surprised. it's actually been a minute Ooh, since these guys oh have God. played as well. Still no jump, yeah. by the way. They have not played since 2018. Oh, wow. Big House wow. 8 was the last time they played and did go to game 5. So okay. Yeah, I feel like Fiction is the type of player who's going to do well against Axe. Because um, Fiction is so in, in control of his positioning and the thing he likes to do, and he's talked about it on Twitter. Fiction likes to not approach, which is uh, good in this matchup. I, I think I he likes to hold his ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's another yeah. way which to put is, it. Which yeah. like, is, well, I, I, I just elaborate. I didn't disagree with you there, Webs. Yeah. I just elaborated. Okay, cool. And yeah. um, one of his main focuses is to uh, shut down their preferred play style. Yeah. So if ah. other foxes try to play around what Axe is doing, Fiction's job is to just stop Axe from doing whatever he wants. Like he just he actually just forces him to play a different game, mm -hmm. making players very uncomfortable. Specifically, I think he's been doing a really good job spacing her outside the Ooh. forward tilt and the oh down my. tilt. Yeah. Uh, further to what you All, guys are yeah, saying. Yeah, also very hard to hit. Yeah, just yep. very hard to hit. See? Yeah. <laughs> he's just holding his ground, <laughs> just stands there and shines. And then when he's far enough away, he's doing these lasers. Oh. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and Axe is probably just weirded out by this a little bit, you know? Just a little bit. It is first stock, and w we know how hard ha Axe can oh, yeah, adapt yeah. Uh, over yeah, the course of, course. of a set. Yeah. So. Right. No, no, no. I was saying it's over. It's already over. The set's decided. Fiction's, Fiction's winning. Fiction's winning. Yeah. That's how oh. <laughs> yeah, I see it. So there was something we talked about on commentary, actually, for a brief bit yesterday that mm -hmm. uh, I was hanging out with. Uh, drug Fox and Fiction last night, they're talking about mentality. Uh -huh. And there was something really interesting that, that kind of was a rehash of what we talked about in commentary, which was basically like, Hugo, I think you were there for this. It's like, mm -hmm. the way to prove, what Drug Fox was saying is like, the way to prove you're a better player than someone is you don't have to make the read and go in and like, oh, I, I, gotta, out, I gotta outplay them, I gotta make the play here. Mm -hmm. The way to prove you're a better player is like, hold your ground and like exist on the stage with them and win neutral over and over. Like that's uh -huh. what HBox does. Like the better player is the one that doesn't have to make the read to win. Mm -hmm. It just if the game goes on they will win. That actually right? makes a lot of sense. And yeah. I think we talked about this uh early in the day yesterday, but um yeah, that's something I think that that style is what you were talking about in particular with regards yeah. to Fox versus Pikachu. Walling Pikachu out, like Fox just wins neutral. Like the bear just stuffs everything Pikachu can do, and if you can play that playstyle, you just win. Yeah. And also, and, and that style is also really good in like last stock situations where you might not be playing your best, and you're yes. a little bit nervous. That style is perfect for that. Yeah. That's, how, why, that's why we see so many clutch plays from players that do that kind that of style. That do that right? kind of style. How many times have you seen like someone's about to make an upset, and they're like, ah, oh, and they, they, they go in and they do something a little silly, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and then they drop that game or whatever, and then the set starts going downhill. Yeah. yeah. And that doesn't necessarily mean like. Camping or anything no, like no, that. No, no, no. Right. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think walling is like a oh, nice answer for that. He really went God. all the way for that. <laughs> that that was weight sick. was so good. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. crouched. Yeah, he took but it. But what it comes down to is having a full understanding of your options in reference to theirs. Nice. Like right. That. So yeah. like at that point, he knew what he could be hit by. And in his mind, it was likely the, the up B. So the up he just, B, yep. he's like, what do I do to that? I just stand here and take it. 
Right, right, right. right. So, yeah, well, he's aware of how much time he has to yeah. punish it at the end. And if there's a repositioning and there's a new threat, then Fiction will adjust. And he mm -hmm. won't just stand there looking silly, right? He's Absolutely. Just gonna, he knows what, what the threats are. And he knows the distances, right? Like, yeah. he was very comfortable doing that laser from the corner, right. albeit he probably didn't do want to do standing laser, yeah. but he Ooh, that Whoa. knows he nothing is going to hit him there. Falling right. up there. Yeah, v Vish, I, I, I fully agree with you. Yeah, I think there's a... That's always, like... It always scares oh. me when I see a player just stand oh still in their in their good spacing because yeah. mm -hmm. it's like, oh my god, you are very yeah. confident that You're nothing very is confident. gonna. He's been doing a ton of that too. I do actually appreciate the distinction that you made with uh, standing your ground on that third touch. Yeah. because it's it, it's, not it's not that he's just like standing still and like he's reacting to or, what or Axe is running away. With. That's yeah. the other he's side. He's not, not giving up his space. Right. right. Yeah, you're not yeah. giving up space. Yeah. If anything, you're pushing them into the corner, but then you're keeping them there. Yeah. Can, I, can I talk about my theory on neutral yeah. and why I think Fiction does it ah. so well? So Bubble theory. Uh, the way... Uh, <laughs> definitely not. Well, I want to hear um, <laughs> So uh, the way I define neutral, or at least playing a good neutral, is your understanding of your own moveset. That's like hurt boxes, hit boxes, the amount of frames it takes to start up. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's the knowledge of all that with your character. Mm -hmm. Then the knowledge of all that with your opponent's character and then your position relative to one and two. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when Fiction is standing still, he's completely aware of all his options to, to a high degree. I'm talking like frames and how far they hit, where he's vulnerable, etc. Completely aware of Axe's options. And then he's aware of his position relative to those options. So there are times where he just stands <gasps> there and he understands oh, no that there's zero way. Yeah. He just oh, stole yeah. My <laughs> goodness. I, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. That's the matchup, right? Like you're oh gonna get that God. one huge. Pikachu opening. needs the haymakers. Yeah. If it goes, Nick, if if you play nickel and dime the entire way through, Fox will win. Yeah. Pikachu yeah. needs to hit the haymakers. That's yeah. like just how it is. Because mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, did you want to finish your thought, Hugo? No, I mean that's essentially it. And you could see someone like Fiction playing to that style. And uh, sometimes, like, it's not that he's just standing still and just counting on his reactions. It's that he's aware that in the spot he's standing. Yeah. what all the threats are. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of like, imagine a world where you have to react to 100 options or one in Fiction's world where he understands there are only two actual threats in that position. Right. Yeah, and then he's true. only got two options. It's like a simplification to. of that's, it. Right? That's yeah. why I'm saying that he's so confident. The people are confident when they're <laughs> yeah. standing still like that. Yeah, right? I saw like that. So it's just, it's just 16 proper... Damage, that was by the so way. much damage. <laughs> it's just proper positioning, and Fiction just does it you know, amazingly well. Amazingly well, well Especially yeah. with matchups Ooh, like Pikachu. this, mm -hmm. specifically Ooh, versus like guy. Pikachu. Yeah. Having that kind of like uh, situational understanding yeah. mm -hmm. goes a long goes a way. long way. Yeah. Not for for two reasons. One is you get gimmicked less, and the way he actually got killed that last stock of the last game was I think he missed tech skill, which put him in an awkward spot. Like he like I don't know. Anyway, the other side of it is that Pikachu's options like approaching uh -huh. are all very small, right? Mm -hmm. Like the hitboxes. Pikachu doesn't have much range. Mm -hmm. Good mobility, but bad range. So like when you really understand the nature of how Pikachu wants to get in. Mm -hmm. And what Pikachu wants to do, it actually really shuts Pikachu down. Yeah, specifically, like, specifically Pikachu. Like Pikachu doesn't have a good way of like, f like bullying uh, his way out of the corner, like the way no. like Marth can do a dash down. Right. Or yeah. And, yeah. And 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 Fiction oh is also doing my. a really good job, like getting out of the huge openings that Pikachu doesn't <laughs> want to have. Right. Like those right. like those pop up up airs that he does. Fiction has been crouch canceling and or playing relatively grounded, so uh, Axe doesn't get that option. Right. It's mm -hmm. like they're even the nair. He's able to crouch cancel and <laughs> not going to get a grab. That was. Really nice recognition from Axe. To, oh, yeah, and so Axe oh has my. to keep this going as long as possible. The tree makes that very difficult. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's he got here? Get up attack. He get runs into it. Good. I'll say, though, Axe was down by a ton, and it's pretty much back to dead yeah, even at this that's point. That's Axe's punish game. Like, he, he picked up a kill at, like, from like 20% with that early KO, and now he's. Uh, oh, that was what a, a trade. Really good filth. anti area, yeah. yeah. The. Uh, I, I don't know. Up smash on reaction, I guess? Yeah, that's what it looked like. It looked like pivot up smash out of dash dance. Yeah. That was sick. I, s I like your. Your comparison of calling his last stock as a like a haymaker, like a hail mary play. Mm -hmm. Like Axe always has those in his pocket. You know, someone like Johnny also has that. Saved, right, exactly. saved reads, stored reads, right? Yeah, yeah, stored reads. Like they have all this data and they, they use it when they need it. Oh, that was sick! Oh, wow. wow, we didn't get the options. Left. How many foxes do you see gimping Pikachu like that? That is some recognition. Well, that Super. was somewhat of an SD from Axe too. He only got a one input on that quick yeah. attack. But yeah. I mean, still, the shine was a really stage. nice setup. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you definitely want to do the shine there. If anything, you can force them to up you on the stage and then get like a da like a damaging punish. Yeah. Ooh, this is this all hurts. Axe missing some of the smash days that he's used to. We're used to seeing him get on the. It's gotta be so frustrating team. to do like a move, 
and Fiction just stands there. And then yeah. he just runs in and punches. And he makes you feel dumb. That's the most annoying part. Well, yeah. nice. Side note, standing still actually is allows you to have all of your options True. at your disposal, True. too. Because if you're yeah. dashing, that takes options away from you, right? Right, yeah. You have to like pivot to do certain things, and some of the inputs are just insanely difficult. Mm -hmm. Pivot up to... <laughs> yeah. That's not. That doesn't happen. Frequently. <laughs> That's usually an accident when you see it. Right. I really like Fiction Plank. Okay. Oh boy. Hey yeah. Axe is getting. Oh, oh, he oh, the oh uh, and he that, snapped. Uh, that wow. worked out perfectly for Fiction. That could not. That can't really be fully on purpose. No, no. Because no, no. the up air just it, set him to like it, the. He was just up being spot. like, please. Yeah. Axe pulling out the haymakers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And he's so good at finding them. He yeah. loves her off. Ooh, that nair. <laughs> like Axe's fundamentals, like the way he dash dances is so, like, perfect. Like, he's always dash dancing in the right range. Mm -hmm. And you see that with, like, every This is character. scary for Ooh. Fiction yeah. still, yeah, by the way. Yeah, definitely. Because it's last stock again. Yeah. This happened last game. I think Axe was at 160-something when he won <laughs> on last stock of game one. And you know Fiction is aware of that, too. That's why he's not going to the edge. He is because chilling. Mm -hmm. that Axe with that back throw by the ledge. You get that, that big boost from the rolls. Mm -hmm. Oh! oh. Yeah, okay, all right. Good. Yeah. And again, just him waiting right in the center. Changed up the pacing of things, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people might want to like rush down and get that KO because they're up so much, but Fiction just took his time. Fiction loves talking. Uh, he, he does. does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Fiction like really likes good gameplay more yeah, than anything. Yeah, totally. So like, if he respects you, yeah. It's almost like he's like just down to lose to you if he gets to play good melee with you. Yeah. Yep. And this, then talk about it right after. Which I think yeah. makes him a really <laughs> scary opponent actually because yeah. it doesn't feel like there's too much on the line for him. Like his mentality in sets like this is actually I think pretty good. Definitely. Yeah. So. You saw when he rolled over in his chair after That's that. Funny. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Who that. was that? It was Amsa. Amsa, Amsa, Amsa right? did yeah. one of the filthiest Yoshi comics yeah. I've ever seen. And he just freaked out. Yeah. It was so funny. <laughs> he came down here and he was like, I was literally roful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. One thing you got to notice about this stage compared to Stadium, among all the other strengths that affords Fox, got is wow. just, yeah, got him. Yeah, yeah. The fact that on this stage, because it's smaller, you back throw from anywhere in their off stage. Yeah. Stadium, Fiction can play the center stage, and back throw isn't as strong. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about why Axe liked the stage so much, but that's a good point. Big part of it. And also, you just like the recovery. You can go so low with Pikachu and still be able to get mm -hmm. all these crazy angles right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh, oh, the Phantom Shine! Oh, he's gonna uh, die because oh of it! Oh my god. Oh, he's not gonna oh, die. Well, he should have died, I guess. Yeah, one that more. That was a Phantom Shine, though. Wow. <laughs> one more upper needed. That spot dodge. Axe waited it out, which if Fiction is paying attention, he'll be like, oh, okay, can't do that. He's gonna wait out my spot dodge. He's gonna have more confidence next time. Shine stuff. Wow! Oh, wow. Still got him. But wow. he touched the ground, and that's the important part. Well, did Look he DI up so he could jump out? Is <laughs> yeah. that what that was? That was <laughs> yeah, that was amazing DI. He didn't want to go off stage. Yeah. It's really Hell stressful no, wanna. to be eating those jabs, too. It's so <laughs> terrifying. Yeah. Because you can hold in and like just think about your SDI for a bit. Yeah. Right. Take some extra damage, but at some point, you got to go for that SDI. You got to make a Yeah, you got to make you a plan. You got to make a play. Okay. Dodges the up. Boy, that's that was very scary. Important. Yeah. Wow, he looked for uh, dash dance power shield grab. Shield grab. Oh, oh smash. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. I think I smash might have connected, too, but either works. Fiction yeah. with a good follow-up. Yeah, he DI'd for the up smash, right? That's mm -hmm. why you saw him go away like that. Ooh. Instant side B. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of shine stalls. Oh, that okay. shine, that, that smash. running shine yeah. into drill works really well. Because even if you, uh, if he does get the hit, sometimes the shine will knock you down and the drill will actually get like a reset. He's got that a couple times on Pikachu. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, it still does pretty good on the shield mm -hmm. in terms of pressure. Right. I mean, a lot of people try to punish running shine with like a retreating hitbox or something like that. Mm -hmm. But if you're short hopping over low hitboxes Jeez. and coming down with drill, it yeah. often can at minimum trade, you know? Oh, that was yeah. such a fast. Wow. Oh, he didn't. Oh. It oh, okay. still gets the reaction. That was nice. Haymaker? Yeah. Not quite. Yeah, not quite. What's up on the way down? Oh, up throw. Okay. Getting a up lot throw of smash. A lot of grabs in neutral. Ooh, wow. Maxwell. He's low, too. T what a well placed T Jolt. That can be tough when you're falling, especially on this stage, because the camera, really easily, you're off the camera on yeah. this yeah. side, right? Yeah. So sometimes it can be really difficult to position against those I always weird 45 degree angle projectile. Yeah. I always find it impressive when good players, um, despite being Ooh, out of frame because of the camera, they know exactly where they are and exactly where their opponents are. And yeah. They still do their moves right. Axe yeah. got one of those sick edge guards like where you couldn't really see where he was on yeah. uh, the bottom of the stadium yeah. my last game. Yeah, but he just felt like he knew exactly where yeah. he was. This, this is a pretty big deal. This is for counter pick advantage in this matchup. Yeah, and a big. Significant. You don't want to yeah. play FD game five. Definitely not, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. 
So Fiction oh, wow. looking to take this one for certain. He needs it. Do you see where Axe is mostly playing neutral? He's mostly dash dancing under a side platform or yeah. fighting under a side platform. And, and looking for a big reversal. When he gives the low platform, he's like, I need to be on that side of the <gasps> stage. He could have gone up after oh, I think. Yeah. I think that could have been it. He could have yeah. kept the pressure on at least by staying on the top platform. Yeah. Messed up. Well, Fiction still with a bit of an advantage See, Axe, here. Axe dash dancing in the, in the under, yeah. under the side platform. <laughs> he's got platform. that little side no! bump. Oh, he went in. Okay. Uh, tech chase? No jab, jab reset. No jab no reset. Jab he's going to combo off that. What's it going to be? Thunder? That's not going to KO. No, Fox is too, Fox, Fox falls too fast, but he's but still he's off stage. Oh, the short is Oh, oh, no, no shine. Oh, oh my the god. Back, right in his face. Doesn't get punished. Oh, the T-Jolt! No! The T-Jolt! Oh, the, 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 the double, the double no tech. That the sucks. T-Jolt and the down are not being tech. Dang, dude. Whew. Haymaker, he's just yeah. letting him yeah, fly. Yeah, he's at looking the end. for he's looking for that one big opening. <laughs> Swing and I love that. that yeah, no, I'm just it. Yeah. it. And it's backed up. I respect to get Haymaker. Yeah, dude, and it's backed up by the fact that like Axe is so good at this when, when it when it when it turns into a scuffle. He's like really good at getting reversals out of like he'll like throw a down smash in. Pikachu is a good a scuffle one. character in general. Good scuffle and yeah. Axe on top of that is a good scuffle player. Right, yeah. right. Like Pikachu can't really approach. That's why like the mid range is so tough for Pikachu, but the close range is fine. Yeah, once he gets in. Wow. Ooh. The spacing. <laughs> he actually could have done another down tilt, I think, if you wanted. Yeah, probably. The spacing was that good. Yeah. Oh god. Not a good trade for Ooh, wow. the tech chase. Mm -hmm. Not going for that many jab resets, wow. I'm noticing from nice. from yeah, get that just oh, forward air. Air. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he's trying to take the jump with forward air. The yump. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's a huge wow. reversal. I swear, like, 70% of the time or more that Fiction, like, is like, you know what, I'm going to approach the corner, what's the worst thing that can happen? Like, he dies for it. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened the previous game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did that running <laughs> shot. is like, no. <laughs> And that's the whole thing we were talking about, man. Like, it, like the the way to show you're a better player. Like, the better player is the one that can just exist on the stage for longer with their opponent. And when you know when that final exchange goes down, like they don't feel like they have anything to prove. Yeah. They don't have to. They don't have to go in and make a play. Sometimes you're tempted to just run in when nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. Barely. Oh, oh Axe is going to kill you off that. Yeah, absolutely. Axe has, so <laughs> has so many mix-ups off the... smiling. He has so many mix-ups off the throw in the back, right? Like, he'll do the forward throw, and then he'll do the jabs. He'll do, like, the back throw and the T-jolt. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to take into account as you're recovering from the Fox's end. Yeah, it is. It's like a different option almost every single time from X. And Tail Spike is like, it's just, I mean, it's like a Shine Spike. Right. You just die. So. And, the, and Pikachu's forward tilt when he does that upward angled one. Oh, yeah, it's it, huge. It's huge. Downward angled covers the ledge really well. Oh, that was really scary. Can he down tilt this? Well, oh, did he? Did the DIN push Pikachu back a little bit? Because of and then he DI'd out, so he didn't and then go then he up. Yeah, that was really smart. I think he could have even oh, DI'd nice. out and then down tilted, actually. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought he, he was going to do. Stage, yeah. Right, yeah. All right, if Fiction takes oh. the stock now, he's he's pretty much like he can up smash that. Yeah, oh, he didn't though. go for it, and then he decided a second later. He needs his stock soon though. Oh, he's getting really out of hand. Yeah, yeah, if he grabbed off that. Axe, oh, and the axe waits him out. Oh, that's gonna oh. KO. Wow. And the perfect percent. Fiction's on the ropes. Yeah, yeah he's on the ropes. Haymakers. Haymakers he's kind of started throwing yeah. some of his own. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's hard to do against Pikachu though. Some hail marys. It's actually true. It's difficult. Oh, whoa. Oh wait. Dude. Damn, Axe's SDI has been on point. Yeah. yeah. Out of all these drills, out of the uh, up throw up air. Yeah, he's just got to go for another back throw. You can shine that? Oof. Oh, <laughs> oh it's that extra. <laughs> you'll that take it. Look at Axe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, hell yeah. <laughs> that's the, uh, dude, that's the ESAM. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Except in, in that game, you make it back because right. it, uh, it stalls you. Because it's a... Oh, my God. Something Th things are happening. Get the tech chase. I actually want to see more drill up till than drill grab from... You don't... Well, I think he wants. What it, the oh. thing is, he wants to push him into the corner and then wall him out. That's why he's shining. Yeah, that's his goal. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, that grab is so the good. Pivot. The pivot grab. Oh, oh, oh good trade. Bear sends him if he's going to a very nice way. Wispy blowing him into the corner. Oh, smash. oh yeah, wow. that's gonna come in firm. Wow. Fiction okay. actually There's doing a, a really good job on this last dog. Like we we're talking about, just like staying centered and walling out Pikachu over and over again, right? Yeah, no haymakers, right? He's just he's actually just playing neutral. Mm -hmm. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Is it oh. too little, too oh. late? That's the only question. So close. Axe know. has to be intimidated. He's got the 69 percent. Oh, we knocked him out of it. Oh. That's the that's <laughs> the difficulty Pikachu has, right? When you're fighting against this type of neutral. Yeah. This oh I gosh. like oh, this. That, I, that was awesome. 
Oh, just barely clips him. Oh, go oh, high. Good angle. He got to plat. Yeah. Made Still the tech alive. chase fall oh, up harder. Good oh, crash in the shine. That's a yeah. crucial oh. tech from Axe as well. Oh, he thought he was going to get like a tech chase situation. Oh, wow. yeah. he got him. Good he read from Axe. Yeah. I think he thought he was going to get the hard knockdown. That's why he waited a little bit because he wanted to see the tech after that hit. Yeah. No one talks. Like it, I don't know. Like <laughs> He's talking about how Fiction talks in yeah, tournament. Yeah, yeah. No one talks in tournament. But they're having a good time. Uh, Fiction's now. like, I wish this guy would stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so over this. Yeah. Taste of his that's own shit. That's what you medicine. get, though, yeah. <laughs> Axe is Talk, looking good. Talking tournament is that's actually good, the guys. Ryan Ford. Yeah. What's hey. up, dude? Hey. I had good recovery, and I had bad movement in critical situations, especially like last stock games, stock like one and two. He almost stole game two, also. Um, I think. If I had a Pikachu to practice against, I would probably do a lot better. I feel like he actually has to play, like, I respect Axel a ton as a player, and I think, but I think he has to play really cheesy as Pikachu, yes. just because it is Pikachu. And I think, like, because I respect him a lot, I don't take that into account that, like, no, he literally has to grab me, or he can't do anything, or, like, oh, his Nair is actually not safe on shield if he's crossing it up. Like, so I think I over respected both Axe and Pikachu, but it was still a, a fun set, and I think that um, if I analyze it, I actually don't think I'll have too much problems with Axe, assuming I don't get cheesed in the future. I think I can, it's, it's very, it feels very, very doable if I learn a few things. But yeah. It was a really fun set, and it's fun freaking out at his crazy stuff he does, dude. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good job, it, he has such a good mentality, good attitude. like right yeah. after a loss, how many people are really willing to come out here and just yeah. show that much respect for their opponent like that, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. be so vocal about it. Right. And you know, you know what was beautiful about that, what, the way he just said it? He actually basically said, here's, the, here's like a, the, 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 least, uh, the least generous interpretation of what he said was like, Axe just cheese me lol. But it's <laughs> like, even though he literally <laughs> said, like, he has to gimmick me, right. it, was, it was a very like, how do, how do I put, you know what I'm trying to say? It was it was real. It, it didn't yeah. come from a place of salt. It was like no. He was just oh, telling it how like, it is. Yeah. He was telling it how it is. Yeah, right. Yeah. It didn't. It was from his perspective. I, think I just hate hearing it called cheese because I don't think it's cheese. I really don't. Cheese. But yeah, cheese is. You and, guys and, talked about the definition you know, of cheese like two days ago, right? If they yeah. yeah, if and if they define it that way, I wish I don't know. Cheese just has so much negative connotation to it. Yeah, it does. It's usually reserved for players that cheese, are bad and get away cheese. with things. Because cheese to me means gimmick, right? Yeah, yeah cheese to me means, means they, they didn't know you could do that or whatever. And they are otherwise bad without the cheese. Yeah. S is the implication sometimes. Yeah. Is sometimes, the implication, yeah. 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 yeah, sometimes. I think what he was going for is like he has to make – he has to do he something that doesn't quite work if I'm playing perfect. Yeah. Right. Like he has to make some weird play yeah. and like rely on me to kind of mess up yeah. a little bit or something. I think, like I think him saying that he knows – he understands the limitations of Pikachu and he understands that that is one of the win conditions that Pikachu has to get. Yeah. in order to really make this matchup work out. That's right. So I think it's more respect than anything else. Yeah. yeah. All right. But we're going to go into Hacks. Hacks for IBW. Wow, 39. Nine. Hacks, while he was watching his match versus Leffen, was already talking about how he's going to win whoever's next, uh, beat whoever's next. I mean, That's interesting. I mean, because Hacks we were talking about how against Nunn, there was a point where Nunn was recovering on the right, and he chose to run to the other side and practice ledge dashes. And, wow. it's, and he said that the reason he did that is because he has to make sure his tech skill is on point for the next set. Wow. <laughs> That's hype. Wow. Yeah. That's Dude King did that one time. Remember he that? did that in the middle of the set. For uh, the next game. H-Box. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and it worked. <laughs> and he, was, he was down four stocks to one, and he was uh -huh. just like, I'll just do uh, some tech skill here. Dude, yeah. um, I got to tell you, though, I remember uh, I was talking to, so Levin was asking IBW for advice against hacks mm -hmm. before their winner set at Genesis. So this is the one Levin won pretty cleanly. Mm -hmm. Uh, losers again, hacks uh, beat Leffen. But this right. was before their winner set. And IBDW like, told him basically, okay, so hacks like, doesn't know how to deal with full jumps. Hacks is super grounded, which is true. Um, is it good at playing the full jump game? And IBDW was like, yeah, I fuck up hacks for free. Okay. No, it's actually true. H uh, hacks did not beat Cody last year. Cody was 4 0 on hacks last year. Oh, okay. There yeah. you go. I think he's got hacks. I think his style is a natural counter. I think hacks is a. L can be a stubborn player. Mm -hmm. I think we all kind of, you know, for sure. right? Yeah. He likes to. <laughs> I think, question. yeah, that goes without question. <laughs> I think Hax's ideal is a very grounded form of melee, mm -hmm. and so and Cody is like Cody's default playstyle beats Hax's default playstyle, and Cody is down to be more adaptive than Hax is. Mm -hmm. So just from like a philosophical standpoint, I think Hax comes into this with a disadvantage. But Hax hits like a truck, and 
we did talk about it and how Cody is looking to specifically counter Hax's grounded playstyle with the full jumps. Mm -hmm. um, and so I know Hax has had that on his radar, like, okay, if I want to start beating Cody, this is something I have to adapt to. And that's what, and he's trying to cheese me, quote unquote, by doing that. So I know he knows about it. This is an interesting dichotomy of Fox playstyles. These are Definitely. two of the They're players super who, different. Yeah, are super different against one another, so. Thing though is uh, when Hax gets his hands on you, man, he really, his punish game is absurd. And that was one thing IBDW uh, said to Leffen too, was like, yeah, like, just remember though, like his punish game is really crazy, uh, but yours is crazy too, so it'll be fine, was basically the gist of it. I, I think that was about. the big difference yeah. between Hax and winners and losers mm. at Genesis. Right? Yeah. So it's how much he stepped up that punish game in the Fox Ditto. It's insanity. Yeah. Nice. Crouch cancel. Oh, up there there, huh? Mm. Up smash! Oh, he rids the jump! No jump though. Hex doesn't give it to him. That falling up air sets up so well for so many of the Fox combos, right? It's kind of the, the bread and butter right now. Oh, Ooh, yeah. He won the snuck race. in. Yeah, Hex loves, loves the ledge. We all know it. East Coast. <laughs> East Coast loves the ledge. That's what Mango always used to say. They love the ledge and they love Battlefield. Oh, they love <laughs> Battlefield. Hex. Really loves Battlefield. <laughs> yeah, he's, on, he's on another level, even for an East Coaster. <laughs> if you yeah. play him in friendlies, he literally do infinite stocks Battlefield. And yeah, that's, that's, his, that's the only way you can play. That's his favorite way to play. Are you serious? Like, no, it's not an actual four stock match. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think that's a good way to practice. Things, Interesting. Right? Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Nice. And he. Oh yeah. wow. Goes for the nair out of it. Oh my. Jeez, look at that Cody angle. angles. Yeah, mm. Cody has been hitting every angle all weekend. No edge. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, I wonder wow. if Hax was reading a short trade. Wow. It kind of looked like it. Oh, oh okay. he could shine it anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the problem with Battlefield. That would have been such a swaggy shine. I know, right? <laughs> he went lower. Yeah. yeah d dipping low like that is kind of tricky, right? Because then Fox still has an enough time to just dip low and get the second shine. Mm hmm. Odd. But, you know, equivalently, they oh can my. return to the ledge. Uh, yeah. Up yeah, smash? Yeah. He missed, missed the input. It. Gets the nair. Yeah, made that a little trickier for himself than he had to. Very even. Very, even. very, very even. Wow. Oh my god, the reaction on the tech with that little JC shine. Yeah, that was insane. Only Hacks really goes yeah, for that as a punish. Definitely. Wow. Most people would grab, if anything. That was like and he's insanely consistent at following it up, too. That was like it's a so hard to hit that second follow up uh, attack angle. on the shine. Yeah, there he yeah. Nice dash dance. And he dash oh, dances yes. out the full jump. That was so nice. Misses the, the dash JC grab. Mm -hmm. Ooh, push off. For the second hit. Ledge, Hacks yeah. Hacks got some angles too. <laughs> yeah, for as real. It turns out. <laughs> he, was well, he was talking about how the, the it's nerfed. He you only has forty he only has forty eight angles on the box versus he said thousands theoretically on uh, the, the controller. Yeah, also that's, is that just to make things fair? fair? That's yeah, a, that's, that's a, it is an it's intentional, like an intentional trade nerf. Yeah. By the way, okay. if you're interested in getting a, a smash box by hitbox, uh, those limitations are not there, so you can actually do some really almost ah, what they ah. call cheater angles. <laughs> that you can't reliably hit on a controller. <laughs> hey, they're That's they're notch controller yeah. angles, really. Yeah, I mean, the, the I notch controller a, gives you like yeah, access. You That's why Cody's angles are insane. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he uses notches. I still hate that, but yeah. Yeah. it is what it is. He actually doesn't <laughs> like it either, but he says as long as everybody else is using it, which is yeah. a lot of the top box players use notches now. He's hard like, I'm going to use it too then. Yeah. Hard to enforce. Like, no one's going to be checking your Really hard to enforce. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, he'll get a grab on that. Wow. Oh, that was tricky. But not covering the side B. Ooh, he went for the. I like. I respect the forward smash. Just, just to make sure he doesn't go to ledge. Making yeah, making reads in that sort of situation is really uh, respectable in my opinion. Yeah, especially oh, when you have all the momentum whoa. on your side like that. Wow, that and was good. And he covers the high angle. Did Hax intentionally come down with that high yeah. nair on like the back of his so. shield? It was yeah, kind of looked like yeah. it looked he did like delayed he was, nair, yeah. yeah. I can't tell if that was a shield poke or a shield drop. Caught him shield drop. Because yeah, he di the nair so too. bad. Because he di the nair so bad. I think what was going on. Yeah, he was either trying to shield drop or he was trying to wave dash back. Mm. Yeah, because he definitely other, was holding left. Yeah, I think he likely dropped shield for yeah. in some way there. Right, and the reason Hax does delay nair is because the frame data is better than back air. Oh, oh really? Shoot. Yeah, nair's a little bit More safe stun? on shield. I think it's like. I think it's like similar amount stun, but Nair just you you recover faster. Yeah. Bear's a little more landing line. Oh, oh Hacks oh, doing that. Oh my god. Oh, you almost got a single hit there too. The yeah. Coverage. Oh my. Look at this. <laughs> oh, Hacks, Hacks with the, the full actually, hop fading yeah, Nair. Whoa. Dude. Mm -hmm. be a little Cody technology. <laughs> Beating Cody at his own game. <laughs> well, if, if I'm being real, that's the crush originally. It so, is. Yeah. It really is. A little late. 
That's the tough thing about dipping so low oh, to try wow. to cover that angle. Deleted. Buffered fair. Later, yeah. bud. Ooh. <laughs> That's so funny. One of them standing oh, still oh, and no. just dash dance. Yeah. yeah, totally. Oh, we used to add that down. Oh, nice. That's good. so smart. That's you really good recognition, right? Yeah, you have, yeah. You have, you have a decent amount of time to be able to react and uh, get back to ledge enough mm -hmm. fast enough. Oh, we got the crouch cancel, it. Yeah. Wow, just in time. That's going uh, to clean. Was that forward air? Ooh. How, did, how did he stay alive? That must have been forward air. Or another crouched aerial. Mm -hmm. Did you Whoa, see that the smash up on the plat? That was oh. sick. Smash the eye and up tilt. How did he get to the plat? That's got to be two inputs, right? Oh my god. That's crazy. Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> Nair is the punish. I love that for <laughs> Hats, Nair is the out of shield punish yeah, he does there. <laughs> he loves Nair so he much. He loves Nair, dude. Oh my god. He gets a lot of good pickups off of it, especially at like lower percents. It gives you like a little. Whoa. Yeah, you can do a couple Nairs after. A little shield standoff. It's that J Man tech. It yeah. is. It really is. <laughs> right. Oh, oh he missed his aim. count on one of those per set for Hex. He's been missing a ledge dash a lot. He has. Yeah, Whoa. he's been talking about how he needs yeah. to get a ledge dash. Oh, oh, oh that was so good. Choice. He got antsy. I think he tried to maybe even ledge dash onto the stage, which also would have given him the ledge. Oh good boy. Crash cancel. Oh, he's too slow. Covers it. Oh, that's uh, a sick oh, angle. That's a sick yeah. angle. You yeah. want to clip right onto that platform. Dude, these guys are recovering so sick. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them have been getting hard reads in order to close it out, right? <laughs> yeah. When yeah. they actually call the angle out yeah. is when they get it. Yeah, that's a, so that's a big part of the Fox Ditto, like, edge guard recovery game is, like, when you can up B and land on the platform, because that's when you, because Fox will try to do, like, ledge hop bear and then bear the high recovery, but if you land on the platform, get your shield up, mm -hmm. then the second bear's not going to hit. You're just going to shield it. Because there's yeah. so little time. There's so little end lag on so that. So little, exactly. Yeah, the shield comes out right Right away. Oh, big uh, opening here. Chase. Oh, oh, that was so smart. Wow. <laughs> big down I, tilt. I like that. Yeah, after getting crouch chance with a jab. Oh, we knocked out again. Oh, the fair. Oh, but the DI away. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. I almost feel like he was overcomplicating it by going He overcomplicated right it. There. He could have regrabbed. Nair also would have been better. I think anything that gives you a knockdown right. is more valuable. I think it could have been maybe an unintentional. Maybe it was going for Nair. Could, could, been, be. could have been. Could be. Or at, he at, didn't read the percent. At those percents, True, those, good point. Yeah. At, sometimes if they DI in on those forward airs, though, they can get a re-grab or something else, mm -hmm. right? But that DI away, I think, it just took away everything out of that forward it's air. Still, if you're going for that and with the hopes of a re-grab, it's still an overcomplication. Yeah. You just yeah, want to get yeah, the yeah. knockdown. Hax is so good off the knockdown, too. So. Yeah. Or directly go into the re-grab, because I think he could have done that as oh, well. Definitely, yeah. This is the third game on Battlefield. <laughs> yeah. Good call. Yeah, that's yeah. what we said before the set. East Coast <laughs> Fields. These fools love this stage. Tri State Field. <laughs> Yo, you trying to go to Bats? <laughs> oh, no. Bats? Dead ass. Bats? Dead ass. Bats? Bats is old. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. That was weird. By the way. I think the number of like side B recoveries this whole set is like literally less than three. And yeah, the I've been fire foxes all day. Yeah. This is super weird to me. I, I've always said that like every fox is either side B or up here. I'm a side B, uh -huh. so I would me never too. recover like this. Yeah. I do the I like the short and non-shortened mix up. That's like my mix up. And then up you get the high low. It's it's still a 50-50. It's just a different wow. 50, 50. Tove, I'm on board with you 100 percent on that's this. Dude. Dope. That's dope. That's why what, we're. I love it. That's why we're commentating. Probably no. There's, there's <laughs> no. There's top fox. Yeah, because I'm going for mid shortens and dying for it all the time. Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. Oh, all right. Stuck in shine. Stuck Cody in shine. does get the follow up. Is that gonna kill? Not quite. Close, but Ooh, laser land almost fall. gets him all the way up there. Jeez. Who's gonna hard read the Firefox first? Because you can just jump out there and hit him. If oh! You hard read it. <laughs> yeah. He got the jump read there. And Cody playing super well. Yeah. Nice. Cody just falls to ledge. A lot of the time you can sniff out a double jump, but uh. Top players are onto that stuff. Kind of They're not up. doing any panic options. Messing Ooh. up the tech chase there on the platform. That could have been a big opening. As Cody did such air. a good job fighting in the center with that full hop and then immediately just holds it, right? Dash dance. He knows he's got the the lion's share of the stage. They do such a good Look job. Look at him just keeping hacks on the back foot. Mm -hmm. They do such a good job with the hard knockdowns. With oh, the that's, nice. that's a stock. Oh, yes, yeah. He did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very clean. Very clean. Look at this big two stock lead. There, Cody. yeah. Hacks was so far away there, he couldn't even get, like, he had to do the full up uh, so mm -hmm. Cody had time to cover everything. Definitely. Uh, again, stuck in his shine. A lot of times you do, like, shine and get another, be able to act out of it and continue the edge guard mm -hmm. or uh, push him off stage. Oh. Oh. 
He's, he's wow. the smash the eyes on the <laughs> That's drills. crazy. Yeah. He's popped out every time. Yeah. No edge okay. cancel. Finally a side B. Great tech there chase. Dude, they're so good at reacting to tech in plays. And it's funny you say that. He did the side B and he got hit out of it. True. Or he got punished for it. <laughs> That's what he gets. Oh, oh he could have <laughs> run Should've off. Should have upbeat. He could have run off and uh, Armada shined him. For sure. Nice. Yeah, he's going to keep it going, though. He'll have another wow. one. Okay, he does go to ledge. He does go to ledge. Good stuff to code. That was a sick edge guard sequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cody's on game point. Is that JV3? I don't think he took any percent. That was a JV3. Oh, that was confident and convincing. Yeah. Two words that start with con. <laughs> <laughs> con man Cody. I might have to congratulate him after he wins the side. Hey. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Thanks. <laughs> if he wins the side. I concur. Oh. Alright, your turn, Bish. <laughs> yeah, on the spot like that all <laughs> Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you still thinking? He's still thinking. He's still thinking. You can't get with it anyway. I got there's nothing. It's really funny. This is quite the yeah, conjecture you put me in. Well, that's not what that word means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it a question? Isn't conjecture a question? Conundrum. The word you want is yeah, conundrum. Conundrum, conundrum. Yeah. conundrum. Right. conjecture means like, uh, like a guess. Yeah. You'll conjure one up soon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> yeah, you're actually getting confounded is what's going on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, yeah, I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game four. <laughs> Ooh. What a bit. What a that was, bit. That's a dumb bit. I love word bits. Yeah, word play. Word bits. Oh, we're, oh, shit. We're not nerds at all. I swear. No, it is. We're cool people. We're cool people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. This is such a... <laughs> they just traded places in the corner three times. Oh. And then Hax makes the, the ledge side. This, this set is so much more emphasis on positioning and, like, neutral. Like, the left and Cody set was so much more punish-oriented. Yeah. You guys notice that? I feel like they've e these guys have agreed to a certain way of playing. They're like, okay, we're each going to do Firefox angles off stage and try to cover different ones. Yeah. In yeah. center, we're going to try to just hold it. The other one's going to try to fight his way in to yep. get him off stage. Yeah. We're going to try to combo up across the platforms, push out at high percent. Mm -hmm. No I no cheesy back throw setups. Right. I think, yeah, that's yeah, the, the, the fix. Yeah. I think uh, Hacks in particular is like the king of stray hits. And so he plays in that style where like, what he's looking for in neutral is like, Low risk, moderate reward aerials that every now and then he converts into a huge reward. And then um, and then Cody's kind of playing off of that. Whereas with Leffen, like, Leffen and Fox did those just kind of hits like a machine, so. Yeah, and here's Cody, like, Hax has to make something happen. I think um, he definitely can, but oh, that was, oh, that was so That's terrifying. So scary, jumping off See, but like, all that, right? Like, Hax has all that pressure, like, Cody, and he's looking for, like, nares and shines that aren't really going to do anything except kind of like bully. Okay, so that- oh! oh! Wait. Big opportunity here. That's oh, he got it anyway. He got it. He got yeah, it. Yeah, that was so sick. Yeah, Does he have another mix up here? Oh, All okay. Right. Dude, the coverage. You, usually you go for up air, so going for narrow like that and getting the drill and sending him back off stage was such a good mix up. Mm -hmm. Dude, the drill was filthy. Yeah. Just hits him a little bit. Ooh, called wow, him out. Nice, yeah. All the way through to the bottom plat. Or Yes, the bottom plot is the stage. It's been, <laughs> wow. <laughs> this has been like three successful punishes on Cody's landings now. Yeah, dude, he's playing really well over Ooh, against like Cody's vertical style now. Oh, uh, careful. Oh, and it did send him off. I thought it might send him back to center. <coughs> Bloop. That is beautiful. First Armada simple. Shine we've seen? Hax isn't really that much of an Armada Shiner. No? Yeah, he does a lot of those like just back airs over and over again, mm -hmm. right? He sets up for that more often than not. Staying closer to stage with his Yo, this is actually Hax's last stock. This yeah. is actually Hax's last stock right now. Yeah. Oh, stock. Nice. the reaction. Oh. Keeping it close. Same thing with amazing tech chase follow-ups, right? This mm -hmm. time, going straight for the KO option. He's so confident with it. We're even on last stock. Hax needs this to force a game five. Yeah. Wow, look at those nares. Getting the hard knockdown, but not getting the tech chase. Oh, what an idiot here. Yeah, look these the nares in ah. center stage are doing <laughs> so well. Catching so IBDW safe. as soon as he goes mm -hmm. in. Yeah, oh. he's the hitbox generator. Oh, oh, he, oh, got, oh he got his He jump. got deleted. Wow. Cody. Oh, the deletion. Yo, does this remind you guys of anything? Maybe oh. Last Summit? Cody Schwab. Cody Schwab. Spicy jazz. Popping off on right. Sunday. Sunday Cody. Sunday Cody. Dang. Is, uh, Sunday he Cody Sunday. Who's he facing? A oh, loser of Zane Pluck. Loser Plup. of Zane Pluck. Wow. That's rough. That is tough, actually. Yeah. He needs Pluck. I mean, we're at that point in the tournament, so this yeah, is yeah. the top eight, it's top eight so of Summit. It's so top eight. What else yeah. do you expect? But you can't expect to have any easy opponents. Yeah. No, you can't. The head shake. 
like every fox of this tournament it was who has the best C game. The best C game. Yeah. No one's playing that well, but we're all playing like pretty shaky. Luckily, flops really good when you're playing badly. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, we're not playing badly, badly for tournament play, but it's definitely, like, off. There's a lot of nerves, a lot of tension. Because a lot of us are, like, pretty close now, you know what I mean? There's, like, we're all, like, kind of right next to each other in terms of, like, how good of a year we're having. And so there's a lot of, like, oh, I want to prove myself. I want to be this guy. I want to be better than this guy. Yeah. So it's, like, really, like, nerve-wracking, all of these sets. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've played him basically since I started playing Melee. That's the first time we played on a national stage. Uh, some unfortunate flubs, a lot of SDs. I noticed that whenever he starts playing badly, his ledge game just deteriorates immediately. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. like, that's what I mean by C game. It's like, I laser land if I feel like my ledges aren't doing well. Yeah. And that's like so much safer. It's like, I'm not going to get killed for it. Yeah, you adjust I, for your C game. It's like super easy to get two or three Galind, you get a shield out. It's not a problem. So it's really hard to like, his play style is like so hard to like play like 100% of the time. Times, yeah. right? he but needs... it's like, I'm actually shocked at how good he is right now. Like, yeah. Compared yeah. to a year ago. Well, I was actually going to ask you because you've played him a lot, way. you know, locally. I think you d haven't lost him since 2018, right? Uh, Something like that. So our record's pretty bad right now. Mm -hmm. I think it was 13 and 2 before this set. That sounds about right. The yeah. last oh, two years, three years. Mm -hmm. wow. But this was like, this was the first time where it felt like I didn't, I was like abusing like his habits, but he still could have very easily won. Because mm. before it's like the way his play style works, it was so easy to like kind of just pick out like two or three things and be like, okay, like I'm just gonna beat him for this. But now it's like, it's so good at that. Plus he has like more adaptation that it's like way harder now. So Definitely. I could have very easily lost that set. Definitely. I used to think like, oh, free, but no. Yeah, I like, he's like just as good as like the other Foxes right now. Mm -hmm. the top 10. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy I won, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff, man. Cody, yeah. did you feel like, um, in terms of the flow of this, like, the way the set went overall, like, it felt like both, like, you also, like, comp contrasting to the Leffen set, it felt like that set there was more of an emphasis on positioning and stray hits. Do you think that's just because the way Hacks plays? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's such a, like, he has this little, like, micro dash chance zoning aerial air, air. crap, and I'm just like, yeah. How the hell do I get on you? It's, it's like, like double use, fading back short so up nair and then like a full like, nair I'm sure forward. you're able to tell. I use platforms a lot because it's like yeah. you yes. literally cannot contest them on the ground. Like you yeah. will get walled out. It's just not possible. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you have to like be really platform heavy and like aerial heavy. And I'm trying to like weave my way in and out of him. Mm. Nice of him um, not to take you to FD then. We both hate FD. Uh, <laughs> we hate FD. It's tri-state, baby. We, mm. we, every set, <laughs> the last like 10, 11 sets we played have been all battlefield. But uh, Sounds about right. Yeah, just happy. I think I play loser Zane and Plup. Really wish... I just want to get the H box. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. He wants it. Let's go. Yeah, Let's go. Rematch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Summit happening again. I'm, uh, nice. I'm happy. I was really struggling in the ditto like early in the year, so I'm happy to win like three dittos against like really high caliber foxes. Yeah. 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 The highest placing fox in this tournament. Ooh, are you the highest playing yeah, fox? Well, yeah. Fiction Danny. Yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was... Wow. Oh, my... I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Oh my. Fiction Feels being really knocked out and... and uh, that's amazing. Hacks and left. Congrats, man. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Really good. Before we get into more of this top eight here at Smash Summit 9, we are going to cut to a quick commercial break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You can buy the uh, Mango White Claw uh, 83. team beer shirt. <laughs> it's actually 83. 83. So about 83. 15K off. Of it. Okay. Maybe I'll a little, 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 little more than 15K off. Of it. The more. top three uh, biggest payouts have been all summits. Look at that. Four. Oh, nice. Five? 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 The five biggest are summit. Wow. summit of five. the top ten. Uh, yeah. Six of them are summits. Can we search for That's Evo crazy. Japan Ultimate? Is that? Can we just? Is there? Can we just find? No, I meant on that it's list. It's that controller has no value. It's priceless. It's priceless. It's, priceless. it's, priceless. it's a uh, one of a kind. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's number. Yeah. It's zero. It's number zero. Yeah, exactly. Right, right, right. It's like okay, how right. when Mango doesn't show up the locals, it. they still put them on the PR. Right, yeah, right, right, right. It's the exact oh, same thing. Really cool. Awesome. It's one of one. Mm -hmm. The only controller of its kind. Sure. You can't put a monetary value on. All right, we're going to go game one, H-Box versus Mango. And uh, Mango opting to go with a Fox here, actually. Just kind of interesting to see. Up air was filthy. Yeah, Mango playing um, mostly Falco this week. Yeah. This is pretty much the only matchup we see as Fox in these days. Dude, look at that. Shout out it's to so Mango's tag, by the way, 24. The, the way he set that up actually was super Chess filthy. Man. Yeah, huge shout outs, uh -huh. definitely. R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, the way Mango set that up throw upper, upper was filthy. He caught a full hop out of the corner with a full hop drill of his own and then was able to get a grab on the side plat from it. At the perfect percent as well. Uh, just dirty. Oh, drill oh. up tilt. Oh my god, Mango is cooking. I think the forward airs are also such a good like mix up in terms of the combo tree from Foxes and on Jigglypuff specifically, because you could get a lot more like re grabs and continuations that you might not be able to do with like neutral air or something, right? So it's cool to see that being mixed in 
a little bit more. Definitely, definitely. Do you want to hop on the sticks, Void? <laughs> Void's munching. He's got some lays to work on. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> You're always welcome here, Void. We love you. I love Void. At I, really some. I it's love just, Void. I, I get so happy. When yeah, shows up. yeah. Void came up and he was like, I think I'm the second best Marth main here. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, Mango has slowed down a little bit. HBox has been able to create the space he likes on the side platforms. And uh, look at that. Nickel and Dined him up to about 120 before he finished that stock. Just typically, typically how these sets go is uh, Mango starts off really aggressive. Hungrybox slowly adjusts, and mm -hmm. then he starts, oh my God. Then he starts oh, having more back. control of the pace as yeah. the set goes Definitely, on. definitely. Yeah. It always seems like, oh my god, it's kind of unwinnable it's game one. Yeah, and, then, and, then <laughs> and then it goes to game five like every time. Yeah, every and it's time. like the craziest <laughs> game five. Yeah, we're not ready for it. Yeah. Mm, oh, there's that low mix up that HBox, he, that's one of his favorite. Oh, no way. Did he kill wow. oh, 75%? That's, that's, air exactly. grab. that's so brutal. Again, it's on pace to be that kind of similar yeah. type of Fox We've seen these, that we've seen. Oh, that up be so good. Like, I could almost guarantee the next match might even just be the exact opposite. Yeah, we could see a three-stock in H-Box. <laughs> yeah. Or it'll be like a very, very close win for H-Box, right? Those are almost time. worse yeah. for Mango, right? Because yeah. yeah. he, he takes his time, he plays it all the way out, yeah. and then just barely I think Yeah, I it. think he'd rather get washed than totally. be that close and then it's, just barely lose it's it. It's less of a momentum killer, I yeah. feel like, when he actually gets three-stock than oh. when he loses last stock. Can you see those fadeback He is finding these grabs the, so well. And the, the taunt at the end. The edge cancel, the taunt at the end. So good. Actually, talking about that, uh, I was... Uh, talking with Hacks about his set versus HBox at Genesis, mm, right? right? If you remember that huge combo, he was up 2-0 two, two in the set, and he did that huge combo with the double forward air into up smash. And we were both thinking about how if he didn't do that combo, he wouldn't have been as aggressive and as, like, he was so happy after that, right? So he just started going ham. So you almost want to, like, make sure that whatever you're doing to m get the 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 advantage in those kind of situations versus Puff, you have to be diligent throughout the entire set, totally. right? So I think sometimes keeping it close will keep Mango on his toes in order to have him win this kind of this kind of game oh versus Puff. He is finding grabs so effectively right now. And through different ways each time. He identified DI in on Nair to get the the second up throw upper KO in game one. And then the last one he baited uh, dash dance after an aerial that put uh, he baited HBox in a spot dodge with dash dance over an aerial that put HBox grounded. Mm -hmm. It's just like Super sick openings. Yeah. HBox is taking his time look at, right look now. At yeah. Look at this down. guy. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. Mango just dash dancing too, not shooting lasers there. But I, I oh. like that though. I mean, Hungrybox knows that the only way this goes in his favor is if he slows the pace down of the match. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean camping. It just means yeah. that he's going to do what it takes to kind of just put a lull to the match. Like sometimes you have to do that. It's you just have to have to um, have some influence over the pace, otherwise you're just going to get run over by someone. Like yeah, they call that a, a vibe check, I think. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> perfect description. 100% <laughs> a vibe check. 100%. Mango, again, calling out the retreat with an, a falling up air. Second time he's found a KO this game, or this set with that. And Ooh, oh, that going filthy. reverse up tilt? Does he even bait the shield grab? Where did oh, the way! Oh, side oh. step. Yeah. That's like, so I good. Side every time. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and that's what he's counting on, right? Because yeah. first of all, you know he can confirm true out of it, but people are always trying to SDI and buffer. Yeah. So he's waiting for that buffer to whatever, you know, yeah. spot dodge be it or anything mm -hmm. else. Very, very good of Mango to not do anything. And then look at that. The I, next time he gets he crosses him up, he hits him with the backer. I think that's a big thing. Adjusting. That's such a big thing versus H Box, right? Because he wants those kind of like scared defensive oh, options yeah. to come out. Yes. Specifically like spot dodge, roll in, he covers every single time. Yeah, again, understanding his own threat. Yeah. The way he threatens people. Mm -hmm. Super huge. Yeah. An intimidating play intimidating player to mm -hmm. say the least. So yeah. the the do you have a name for your neutral theory, Hugo? Ooh. No, it's just no. I don't have a. I don't. It's not bubble theory. Okay, because that's yeah. that's the name of H boxes. All right. Oh, is is that oh. what he's? Yeah, calling? it's like a neutral. It's, his it's neutral of, theory. Did it's, nobody actually ever tell you what bubble? No, theory? no, they wouldn't tell me. They just kept <laughs> yeah. him and Plug just kept cracking it up. It's like he's not ready for bubble theory. I thought <laughs> told you. So I thought it was a meme about I don't know something stupid. I, had, yeah. I thought at a certain I mean, point I thought it had nothing to do with melee. Uh, <laughs> Dang. It, yeah. HBox it, says you can apply it to anything in life. So. <laughs> the thing is, uh, it, it's interesting because if, if you somehow manage to get this answer from other top players, mm -hmm. they will all have a different, uh, you know, 
concept of neutral and how it works because neutral is such an abstract thing to define or like at least oh how you're supposed to play it everyone's got their own version of it yeah so it's really interesting hearing other top like i'm sure his doesn't sound exactly like mine it's right? similar but there's differences for sure yeah yeah and it's kind of why at least back in the or this is just related it's kind of why as a samus player they didn't really lose early in pools because the I think the makings of a great player are their neutral is their neutral game because it's hard to copy right you see someone do a punish game you could copy that right but neutral it's really hard to copy and uh, because Samus is a tank she would live so many times so the player is forced to constantly play neutral and usually the play the better player has a better neutral yeah yeah and, by virtue um, of how you succeed with Samus yes and uh, so. Hungry Box, uh, very well versed in the neutral. I want to hear Bubble Theory now. How did you bring this back to Samus? <laughs> I, it's just, look, dude, I got a kind of brain. I was listening to you the entire time. <laughs> I, and I was look, like, what is going on? How did, how did you wrap this all Samus the way back to Samus? Samus is how I relate to the world. I'm going to call it Samus Theory. I'm You're gonna just going to call theory. it Samus Theory? Yeah, it's just how I relate to the call world. Call it Salmon Theory. Yeah. Salmon? Yeah, because that's the color you play, right? Yes. Salmon, Samus. Salmon Theory. Oh, man. For the visors, I'm going to call it Visor Theory. I'm theory. seeing the world through. I'll tell you what, Hugo, let's workshop Simmons. the name. We'll come back. Yeah. Around. Yeah, yeah. I'll just call it Bubble Theory. Fuck it. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> All right, so at game three, Hungry Box Mango, Fox Puff, <laughs> the uh, transformation is now gone, so we're back to neutral. Hbox at a high percent. Mm, yeah, high enough to where he, yeah, he yeah, can't do the up throw up air, right? Yeah. So you have to do something like that. And Hbox doesn't fall for the back through F throw mix ups at high percent anymore. He knows that if he just DIs out, like, he, uh, or DIs in it. F throw is not going to combo into anything because of the uh, offstage situation. Right there. Ooh. Nice now, little mang. Yeah, yeah just a little one. Just a baby, baby mang. mang. Just a baby <laughs> mang. It's funny because. Uh, again, nice. Mango's uh, angles, his mangles, mm -hmm. are different from just good angles because, like, like Cody and Hacks will have just like really precise, like perfect angles, but mangos are tricky. Like he he convinces you that you got him, and then you fucking don't. That's what that's <laughs> how, that's how he distinguishes mangles from anything else, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it avoids what, yeah, it's a, a hit. Yeah. It avoids a hit and get you, uh, gets you back on the yeah. stage or ledge. Yeah. Do you remember they, that big argument him and Mutiking had about Mutiking angle. Mutiking angles versus mangles? It's just no. too many syllables for the Mutiking angle. Yeah, well, He's, it was the actually they, it was the same. the same thing that was happening, but their different ideas about it were being applied right. at the same. Time. So it was actually like both of their. Angles. Yeah. I didn't know uh, Mutiking one had like, angles? his own version of angles. Don't ask him about Mutiking it. He'll angles. talk about it forever. He, <laughs> the he, Jason he, angles. he doesn't I like that nobody calls anything Jason yeah. angles. Or he should have gone angles. with the jangles. That's pretty. Jangles. That's <laughs> not bad. That, that could have caught on. Jangles, yeah. that and I bet you he doesn't laugh when he describes it. Like he's just telling it to you as a fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very much so. As yeah. if you should know it already yeah. as well. Yeah. Very even right now. Only 28 percent and. Just look at the the way that H boss can kind of like dictate the pace, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, good damage. A couple oh, more that, lasers. That he's in. looking at yeah. KO percentage. X boss just rolled three times the ledge. So you got to read these, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if I want to fight you right now. When Mango does well against H box, he sniffs out those kind of like rolls. He puts a lot of shield pressure on Jigglypuff, and what can Puff really do in those situations? Not, right? not great out of shield options yeah. in general. You, you'll see like H box do roll, roll, roll again. Dude, Mango hasn't hit Hungry Box for so long. That's what I'm it's saying. It's crazy. He's controlling the pace. Yeah. Oh, that reverse. Very fortunate for Mango. Nice. Hungry Pluck. Box playing so well. Yeah, he, he really is. is. He is. And what a big difference from that game one, right? Yeah. The adaptation as the set progresses. Kind of crazy. Mm. We got another transformation coming up in a moment. If nobody takes a stock before it. And surprising patience from Mango too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, we got 3.30 on the clock. Kind of a long game, yeah. There it is. <laughs> oh, it is the rock. Mango oh, we got another rock screen. transformation. Yeah, the seen. rock. It's going to rise right here. Is this over? I this is going to give Mango mix ups right here. Oh, 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 the up air! That was sick! That was a really smart choice from HBox. This might go on record as the longest Mango Hungry Box game ever. Straight up, can you imagine when they've gone past the, the three minute mark? I, I think a lot of it is that this rock transformation yeah, has come out. Yeah, but Mango's like, usually going in. That's true. I, I don't you know? think. This is scary, right? Do you really think he should go in right now? No, I don't think he should. <laughs> yeah, but, no, Mango but he does. On the, yeah, neutral, does on the neutral transformation, where well, there's no transformation, Mango's not being. It was still kind of slow, even then. Uh, exactly, yeah. 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 Have you ever seen a two-minute 
like the number two right, on, right. A, <laughs> on a mango <laughs> match. Yeah. It's crazy. Not in the the left hand side of the clock, that's for sure. Look how lean in he is too. Like I, mango's super serious about this. Yeah. He feels better than ever. Oh, honestly. wait, Hbox is so low. I mean, he. Yeah, that's gonna be a shine. That was such a bad pound. Why that's does he it? do it in twice? Oh, Why did yeah. he do it in twice? You, yeah, you can pound away, and you can just keep pounding. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, oh what he a gets shark! Deep. Up. Got him. Stored Air reads. Rest. Stored reads. He was ready for the full hop into center. Five minutes and thirty-two seconds. And now this is what game. we were talking about earlier. How it goes a long time and Mango loses. It could affect him. Yeah. We got to see how he he opens up this last game. Those if he all falls behind quickly. It could be it, this could be a three-one yeah. very fast. Those, those hurt, hurt, those hurt yeah. way more. They when do. You, man. When you spend that much time and that much diligence yeah. in the all neutral that, that he had when there was no transformations, None. to lose that kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. Kind of hurts. But Hbox playing phenomenally. Okay. Gonna, uh, okay. Mango di's down. Doesn't jump. As we said, Mango looking to start off strong. Oh. If uh, <laughs> it's a good thing that Hbox didn't di in on that, that would have been enough smash to the face. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's there it. we go. There we go. That was the big thing, game one. Mango got a lot of upper uppers. That's one of his better confirms. Oh. Hbox, of course, amazing at SDI, but Mango's able to time the upper, the jump out of up throws so well that he can get super deep into puff. Sick conversion right there, by the way. Yeah. That was very nice. Not even letting him land after that back air. Goes right into forward smash. A little bit of a risky Ooh. shine. He's like, oh, yeah. Uh, he's, I can't believe you made that call and then you were right. This is Yoshi's story. <laughs> yeah. He had to SDI that in so hard. Oh, a little hesitation there, actually. You were so confident. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah it, was, for sure. <laughs> it, was pre it was pretty low percent. It was, it's Yoshi's story. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go, Hugo. That was sick. <laughs> hey. What a call. It's like I play this game at a high level or something. All right. You play Samus. <laughs> <laughs> Samus theory. <laughs> right, even though it looks like Hungerbox has a huge lead, it's kind of close to No, I mean, he's at up your upper percent, percent yeah. already. Oh, and Mango almost got it off that first pound. Man, yeah, Hbox, just the way that he's playing, right? He's staying on these the right side platform, specifically going off stage so much. This must be frustrating. This is frustrating for Mango Damn. right now. It's got to be. This is like the Hbox of old, this kind of style anyway, Honestly, right? Do you think Mango's being a little too patient? You know? Oh, well, there's a big risk he took. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's late now. He's down to his last stock. Still do it. That is scary. Uh, those kind of like sharking up airs are so. Oh! oh, and he misses the tech, but. Oh my. Oh, oh H box is on top of oh, it. Oh, and he misses oh, the ledge dash. dash. Damn. Damn. H box has been playing out of his no, mind. H box has been playing well. He's playing so well. He's only lost Honest two games this whole tournament. Honestly, you got to give credit, I think, unironically, to Coach Westballs. Because he's been warming him up the entire time. West Balls has a pretty good fox. Typically, yeah. he's like playing like Crunch or West Balls will keep right? you warm too. He, he will plays keep fast. You warm. Yeah. And he's been giving him like pretty solid advice uh, yeah. throughout the entire yeah. time. You know, earlier uh, Hungerbox tried to jump on the couch and West Balls stopped. Him. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's what I was gonna <laughs> say. Too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He was like, this no, guy's gonna, doing his job. You're gonna not be in the right oh mindset if you get on commentary right yeah. now. Yeah, he told It's really funny seeing West like check like Hungerbox. Like, hey, be the voice of reason. He's taking it seriously. Stop that. Well, Mango dips down into losers where Axe is awaiting him. Yeah. So, uh, going to be a tough tester in losers' quarters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hbox advances to winners' finals. Yeah. Dang. H God. H God. Play amazing. Hungry. H Clutch. God. Clutch H. God. Clutch H. H Clutch H. <laughs> I've been trying to workshop a new because we've got so many different versions of his tag yeah. now. H God. Yeah. Clutch God. There's a point during the man Big himself. House. Oh. What's up, Juan? Yo. Hello. What's up? How are you doing? Relieved. You're playing amazing, dude. You You're are playing, playing really so well. well. Yeah. Uh, I think yesterday was a little better, but um, I'm tr I'm trying to like harness yeah. that. But uh, Mango was playing a lot more, as I predicted, a lot more on today. He uh, completely made it so that if I even tried to approach him once, he was going to snuff me out. He's playing and patient. Me with, yeah. More so patient I just, than usual. He that went to stadium and. I mean, Rock Stage came out like three times, so I just yeah. have to, I might have to wait. Yeah. Right. Um, and then on oh, Yoshi's, I, uh, I took advantage of the fact that when you're down 2-1, like I said, you start make, taking more risks because you want to really get that lead back. Yeah. And so he got a little antsy. And I noticed uh, well, Drug Fog is coaching Mango, and I thought the most 
likely thing the mango is going to do to counteract my platform uh, when I'm on the platform on the ground to stay away from the floor is he's going to go up and drill me because if you drill puff shield uh, he can do an automatic shine and I can't do much about it so I take that every time so I said fuck that I'm going to drill first and uh -huh. catch him up there uh -huh. so I kind of gave him a ceiling that he couldn't get above uh -huh. kept him on the floor and then said get out of my zone and then uh -huh. once he was doing that backing off a little bit that's when I started going in so uh -huh. I had to wait for his offense his incredible offense to die down to show the little offense I do have. And yeah. I took advantage of it, I got the kills, and like I said, whoever won that stadium game wasn't win the set, so I'm really, that's why I popped off. I was that's really, really relieved. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's always the scariest match of the other day, always. It's super what methodical, you, man. What yeah. do you prefer playing? Because sometimes the mango will be like ultra aggressive, right? And this time I felt like he was a little bit more passive. Mm -hmm. What What do you prefer uh, in, in this I, match? The more, the more aggro you are, the better, if I have good reaction time. If I'm having an off day, I'm kind of slumping, aggro mango will, like 16 Omi, right. um, but because I was my, my defense was so on point this weekend, I just said I'll take as much advantage as, as I can and just hopefully try and catch him. Um, so yeah. So cool. you noted uh, that you guys were having a bit of the drill battle. So you're trying to like fight over those side platforms, right? Um, is that something that you prepared for ahead of time? Yeah. So the the, the side the side platforms are kind of like home bases for us, and it's right. just like whoever Don't controls totally. that really has the edge and intimidates the other character. Yeah. So if he's on the platform, I'm going to be in the air somewhere over here, and if he's if I have the platform, he's going to be on the ground over here. We both play to our strengths, and so it's kind of like the that it's like a bi layer of just like whoever can make the other one budge first gets the edge guard, starts their combo first. Yeah. Right. So playing him's always a trip. It's always extremely exhilarating for that reason. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm talking really fast. My mind's like... No, yeah, yeah no, good, definitely. Good, um, so, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, I mean, he picked up that early kill with the, the drill to grab on side plat on the first game. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, any kind of grab, remember, like, when Puff's on there, sometimes he's going to jump up, and most other foxes will call out with an empty grab and just catch him. Yeah. But I think Mango's waiting for that on purpose. So he's if, if I wait for grab, he's going to come down with, like, a falling up air, up air. Mm -hmm. And he was still getting some insane kills. That first game, he just completely washed me. So I'm happy the first game was actually a complete wash because right. that would have really woke me up. If it was yeah. really close, I would have just been like, okay, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got <laughs> Same thing, just better. Yeah. So I got yeah. kind of there, yeah, believe yeah, it or yeah. not. Yeah. Right. yeah, so make the most of your losses and just uh, roll with the wins and don't ever stick away from your game plan no matter what the score is. Yeah. yeah. Dude, awesome. Well don't, said. Don't ever sway away from bubble theory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't. I, have, I have a theory on that. <laughs> <laughs> and we got, congrats, man. I know, that, man. I know that reference. Well done. Good job. And we reference. got Sammy on the couch. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? How's what it going? Did, what did you think of that hey, set? Hey, Sammy. Uh, I saw a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. I feel like Mega was hella antsy. Mm -hmm. Don't really know why because I thought he was actually playing pretty hot. But, and I feel like when I'm playing hot, I'm like, okay, all I have to do is, like, keep doing this. Don't worry about what they're doing. Like, I'm good enough to keep winning. But it felt like he just wanted to end it. Mm. I don't know why. It was like, as soon as HBox was on the side platform, he just, like, it was over, it felt like. Right, right. What What's the counterplay when HBox does that kind of, like, platform style, especially <sighs> on the right side of Yoshi's that he did? I don't know if there's, like, direct counterplay to Yeah, it. I mean, there's not. There's, there's all, it's well, I think the there's a lot of direct counterplay. It's just all extremely risky. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think that's what he's banking on, Yeah, too, but right? that's, like, kind of what Mega wants to do usually. Um, I feel like he didn't do too many risky things this set compared to like compared to usual. He was he was playing okay. I was warming him up with my buff, and I thought he was doing pretty well. But like when I was playing him on Yoshi's, like sometimes he three socked me, and other games I'd win. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is bad because like mm -hmm. H box isn't gonna give him any leeway right. at all. Mm -hmm. right. Your puff has leveled up this week. <laughs> yeah, it, it <laughs> You've got You've been playing way so much Fox Puff. I played a lot of Puff, a lot of Pikachu, a mm -hmm. lot of you know random characters, but. Mm -hmm. Speaking of people I warmed up, I played Zayn a ton, and I'm so incredibly excited for this set. I specifically oh, yeah. wanted to be here for this set. Yeah, okay. Um, Zayn looking good in the match. Zayn's playing really well, mm -hmm. um, and Plup watched me warm Zayn up. <laughs> so I oh, think, did he? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. And I think Plup said he personally doesn't think he's playing that well. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know. When I was watching him, I was like, damn, he's sick. So, like, yeah. even if he's not playing that well, he's still sick. So okay. I I'm really excited. And it's always nice seeing Zayn uh, take on challenges that aren't Fox. Yes. Like, just to see how he adapts. And remember and how good he is, right? That it's yeah. like, this is Marshy. It's not Sheik. a matchup thing at a certain point. No. Like, you get to see that it's not a matchup yeah. thing. Yeah, it's so sick. Especially oh. the strides he's made in that Pikachu matchup, right? Like, yeah. he, Oh, that's insane. Yeah. It's great to watch him grow. What are the things you're watching out for in this uh in this matchup, Sammy? Uh I mostly feel like Marth can't kill Sheik ever. So it's like Marth's winning a lot of situations, but as long as Sheik doesn't do anything that gets her killed, this is gonna happen and if he gets one hit off stage, like Mar Marth's dead right there. See? Right. And like Zane cannot do that to him no matter what. So Zane has to play on point the entire time, and Plump has to play on point for the situations where he it's 
kill or be killed, essentially. And the rest kind of matters, but like not too much to me personally. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, so how is Zane going to close this out, you know? That was a good situation reset. Ooh, I like that, that a lot, yeah. yeah. And that it's was good. like so hard though, right? Like he had to do so many things right. Well, so is there any danger in, so he set up with the dare, right? Wow. And that said, that uh -huh. said Sheik low. Is, is there danger in taking ledge there? Was there no, that, there, there wasn't no danger done? in it, but I think Plup could have just held down on the dare and not gotten popped up. Oh, I see. Not even get set in the situation yeah, to begin yeah, with. Exactly. Uh, yeah, avoid it. Oh my god, Plup. Ooh, that seemed a little shaky. Yeah. Can I ask a couple what, uh, thrown out grabs. What specific things were you uh, getting Zane prepared for? Nothing particular. I was no. just playing. Just playing him? Uh, okay. He did ask for a little bit of advice, but um, he I didn't like offer anything on my own. Okay. Oh, all plump miss. That's a huge miss. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. I was watching out for the forward air before he gets grabbed ledge. Uh -huh. It's good to see him being able to deal with Sheik's recovery early, because that's typically the question, right? That is the question, right? Yeah. It's like, can you deal with this? And I think Plup doesn't really OMS attack, right? No, Not like Face Roll or Spark. Yeah, his strengths with Sheik uh, typically come from elsewhere. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, a lot of like, platform movement, quick, speedy Speed. choices. Yeah. 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 Let's see what he gets here. Nice. Ooh, I like that a lot. That's yeah. a big percentage. That's the ideal situation for Sheik to get that up tilt there. Mm, staying oh. outside the the, the down tilt, yeah, that was great by Zane. He's converting this hard. Oh, oh that air dodge was so gosh. good. That timing. You want to do it as late as you possibly can, like that. But uh -huh. always run the risk of getting caught oh, when you dude, do that. Zane's Did he get gotten, his jump? Oh, dude, Zane's gotten destroyed from the ledge every time. Plump keeps, keeps getting with this shield drop there. Mm -hmm. And it, seeing Nair's, uh, Zane's Nair being punished like that with the down tilt is kind of scary too. Yeah, he, he yeah. does do that sometimes in the neutral like that, and just getting outright beaten. Yeah, it's it is scary. really scary for him. Oh, I was thinking maybe he was waiting for the stand so he could get up tilt, but he goes for Dolphin Slash. Gets a really weak hitbox on it, too. Yeah, I'm Seemed a bit hesitant. Oh, that trade was crucial. Yeah, yeah. That up tilt would have been bad. He had no jump. And this is kind of what I'm saying. It's like Pulp's at 160. Zane's slowly dying right now, you know? Oh, great oh. roll by Plump. Perfect oh. option. Yeah. And oh, my God. He's just barely B. getting out. Yeah, side B is not even going to net uh, an up tilt right now, especially with that DI. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 88, sure. though, Yeah, but man. how much damage did he put on that's in that lot. struggle? And that, that's kind of how this matchup feels to me, at least. Mm -hmm. Marth has to be so aware of getting grabbed now. Yep. So Which, aware of pretty much slap off stage into easy edge guard. Into easy edge guard, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, Zane's got the neutral for it. Nice by Plop. Yeah, not getting a second grab. Man. The recoveries from Zane have been pretty solid, too, that dipping timing. low like that. Absolutely. Oh. Oh. Preemptive counter. He's been throwing a lot of counters out today. I didn't even mind that counter. Oh, <laughs> I would have hit that a million times. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think he just did yeah, slightly early. Yeah. Oh, my God. He jumped out. I can't believe it. Oh, that's so risky. Oh, oh nice. nice drift defense. back. Yeah, that was great. But Plup, Needles. Yeah, Easy. That's it. Nice. And I like the way that Plup was playing with that lead, too, the way he did the double kneels on the platform, like really not pushing it super hard because that's what Zane thrives on, right? Absolutely. And I think Plup's doing a good job, like, not – we haven't seen Plup extended to the corner a single time trying to, like, chase Zane's dash back, you know? Yeah. So I'm curious to see how he plays FD because Zane has so much more space. That was really good SDI on that up there. Uh -huh. You have to to get out of, like, anything on the stage. Yeah. Oh, no jump? Oh, my Beautiful God. fade, just barely outside. Dude, Plump's drift is so good. It's insane watching yeah, it's him. It's hard to do that with Sheik. Yeah, any other Sheik, I guarantee you, would be, like, already comboed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he... I don't know why he did the dash. He had a grab set up after the air dodge. Good mix up from Zane doing that earlier upbeat to knock him out like that, getting back on stage. Ooh. All right, I don't like going for the double jump right there. You give it your positional Ooh, advantage so when you do that. Yeah, so Full close. hop up air is typically how you will cover from above. Nice And then stall. if you trade, you can still have a recovery. With your double jump. Yeah. Oh, that was oh, sick that was by so Plum. Good. Yeah. yeah. Does still that go? Oh my. Still had enough wow. time to get the yeah, grab. Yeah, the That's tag crazy. that was great by Plum. Man. Oh, the patience. Yeah, the patience. And he has pulled needles, so Zane has to be very aware of that. Mm -hmm. Zane tried to call out his wave dash back into the corner. There's the up tilt on get up. Yeah. Pretty hard to time, honestly. You have to wait because Sheik, yeah. when she first lands after that, is crouched. Yeah. So the up tilt was straight up miss. You have to wait for a stand animation. But if you wait too long, she gets her shield It's up. a really tight timing, to yeah. be honest, yeah. Oh, the mix-up, and Plump wins out on that situation. Yeah, he's been getting another grab a lot of times, uh -huh. but Zane tries to change it up just a little bit. Okay. 
fair. Oh, oh this is scary. Okay, that, only three fairs. Yeah. Pump's DI is really Oh, that was so fast. Oh, my God. Could have just taken ledge. He's going to have to rinse and repeat a little bit. Oh, and I think he got his, oh, I thought no, he got his jump back. Didn't quite get it. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> oh, he clipped on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the scary for Zane. And you know he had the stock, right? He forced the the vertical up B, which has no drift on it. Uh -huh. I think a big reason why he missed that is because he missed his uh, ledge dash. Oh, right? Great so crouch shield. So it kind of just messed up his timing a little bit. That His ledge sense. grabs are so fast for him. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, the little dash. And the oh, fast great forward. grab by Plop. Up air, nair. That's great. Has him in the corner. Ooh, <laughs> whoa, mix up. <laughs> yeah. Mix up. <laughs> and I think Zane's dead. Yep. Uh, yeah. That one needle pushes you far enough away. Is he jumping too early? That time, uh, I don't like know about that jump. It it's tough, too, though, when you dip really low. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. want to open yourself up to the back airs. And yeah, the back airs and also <laughs> the needles. diagonal needle, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Pick your poison. yeah, it's definitely a pick your poison. It's back there, I like that. Oh. Ooh. Good damage. Yeah, yeah. this is a oh, lot of damage. Oh, he charged it. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. little and they charge. crouched another one. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that oh, time he just wow. waited. Okay, because Zane's been doing dash back, dash past, and attack from behind. Yeah, Throwing out F smash a lot on that. Plump's mixing up his jumps so well. If you notice Zane oh, play like a worse Sheik, he grabs every Sheik landing. And here he's too scared to versus Plump. Oh, again oh. with the. He just comes through. F smash on the other side. Oh, oh and he tips that one. Yeah, no Alms attack from Plump. That's big. Mm. Oh. oh, it doesn't send him off, though. He's yeah, been good doing recovery. a oh, oh, boost grab! Oh, wow. oh, my! What a grab. Caught him. We'll get another. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right. Oh, works out, though. Yeah, still yeah. plays it up. And it's still tough for Marth in the corner after that. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, if, oh, Plump, if Plump wins this game, this is a really hard set for Zane. Definitely. Oh, oh my. That yeah. DI. What a mix up. I think he was DIing that to do the offset tag, right? That's why he dipped so low, uh, oh, almost getting to the ledge. Hard to say. Yeah. Oh, the down tilt. Zane's spacing around that CC so well. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you had that reaction too. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, the crouch. Dude, I've never seen Club Crouch Tech Chase. This is great. Ooh, another one? Okay, oh, try to go for the fair. So scary for Zane. Grab. Down oh, smash. Okay. I guess lasting hitbox, right? Yeah, he didn't want to miss time it. Mm -hmm. I think this is it. Yeah, because he'll get the grab here, and yeah. there yeah. is yeah. no way Mark yep. can get out of that. That is such huh? a good edge wow. guard sequence that Plup gets to do, the way he just gets onto stage like that, turns around, uh -huh. gets the grab. That's hard to deal with. And that's 2 0 for Plup. Yeah. That's almost Very impossible to so deal with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once you go on stage, it, it's literally in God's hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, Plup's hands. Like Plup's hands. Yeah. It's in Plup's hands. <laughs> All right. Get the run back to FD. I Luckily, I don't think there's. Well, actually, Dreamland's going to be terrible. I it's think Dreamland's going to be hard. It'll yeah. be, I don't, yeah. It's not un It's not unwinnable by any stretch right. of the As far as like. Uh, as big counter pick stages go in oh. matchups, Dreamland isn't like the massive sheet counter yeah. pick that some other characters Because Mars' advantage is the edge guard. It's never going to be like early kills. Oh! Oh, oh. oh wow. my. Wow. The multiple jabs were such a good choice there. Yeah, Not only that, Hugo, but on Dreamland, Marth actually can live for a much longer time. Mm, that's yeah. true. It depends if the Sheik hits their edge guards, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. If the Sheik's on their stuff, I think Marth's dead regardless. And so far, Plup has been showing his edge guarding has been phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. It's been better than usual, I think, which is making a big difference in the set. You get another oh, back throw. Boy. Scary for Marth. Like yep. that. Roll. Oh, he did it too early. But yeah, that, that could be another stock, you know? And that... Can oh. can she get up attack reverse Marth right there the way some other her get up attack is terrible at reversing. Right right. Oh the down <laughs> the run of down tilt keeps working. Oh shield the shield eye. Yeah. That was a really good shield the eye. Crucial doesn't quite get the tip. Yeah, He's but good timing. Down smash. Yes. Yeah, wow. Good yep. call. Yep. Yep. He was based for it. That's a call. Yeah yeah. 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 <laughs> he he knew that's the flow chart. Mm -hmm. I think Zane's edge guarding has also improved a ton. I'm sure through playing Plump many times. Oh the nice reaction. Reactions. Reactions. Yeah man. Damn. This is tough. Whoa. Oh, oh the oh. scramble. Okay, super <laughs> scramble. <laughs> Waits for the spot dodge. Dude, Zane I feel like Zane, what were you going to no, say? No, I was going to say he hasn't been getting the big combos Com that I was about to, to say the yeah? exact okay. same thing. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah. That's the reason you picked this stage. Yeah. Dude, Plump's DI. Do you see that DI on yeah. the board? Yeah, he was Plump's down and out. Plump's defense has been phenomenal. There's no way he was getting hit there. Yeah, all, the best he can hope for is like setting an edge guard sequence, and Plup has also been doing a great job on his recovery. Absolutely. Oh, great oh, show man. grab. That should be a stock. Oh, oh he goes for up smash? Yeah, he thought he slight That's a read, right? He thought he slight DI'd. Okay. It's hard to tell. Oh, great. Oh, Back that's a mix yeah. up. He has not done that really at all. Wow. Nope. He's been all grab ledge, punish on stage, but. Yep. Imagine doing this to Zane after Genesis. And he's, <laughs> been, and he's been playing so well, too. Yeah, he's been playing yeah, well. Yeah, he's actually been playing outrageously. Plup is on some. Yeah, dude. So Plum is playing the tip. 
Oh, the oh, needle damage. No. Oh, the oh, and he gets the other Wow, and that tech, too. Poof damage. <laughs> Great up air oh by Blob. God, look at this that. is looking awful. Oh, this is looking no. oh that was so oh. good. Blob. He's going to roll yeah, up. The roll yeah, up. Is over, <laughs> that's the over a three 100. stock. A three stock with the 3 0, the over 100 getting him the, the wow. final edge guard there. Plop kind of beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> I just, just want to hear what Plop says. Just a little. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us while you could, Sammy. Yeah. I think this is Thank the kind of thing that yeah, yeah, yeah. sets Zane off for the rest of the tournament, though. I think he's going to be a powerhouse. I have the losers. Tiger kind of situation. Yeah. yeah. He's been awakened. It's like do, one do of those. Do you want to talk? So. Yeah, I want to hear what you thought. What I thought? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I was just, I just had to read on him. You had to read? <laughs> it wasn't like that complicated. I just understood his defensive options and got Yeah, the reads I feel like you were so, you had like a 75% like a success rate on like right? offensive. It's actually Once crazy. I like got that center stage boost grab, I was like, all right. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> this game's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes just that feeling, you know? So yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to go warm up Fox. All right. Yep. Okay. Good luck, yeah. dude. All right, good luck, Plop. Yeah. Well, that's that's bucks. I got a right. quick fact for you guys as well. Let's hear it. Plup's been at every summit, right? This is the first one he's made a top three. <laughs> really? Never made top three. He's in winners' finals here. So winners, winners' finals. finals. Oh yeah, we got Ooh. Florida in winners' finals. Okay. Wow, yeah, Florida oh. finals. Dang. All right. Unfortunately, I'm being asked to warm more people up, which is why I haven't been on the couch. But I mean, have fun, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure they'll put someone else on. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Thanks yeah. for coming while you could, Sammy. Awesome. Yeah, it's always great to have you. Yeah. That guy's putting in work. Yeah, he's been commentating uh, tournaments lately too. Yeah. We had him at Genesis at some time. But he's warmed up like people for so many characters between the Puff, the Pikachu, yeah. his Sheik, his Fox. He just plays all these characters at such a high yeah. level. And they're just the like Void a camp. DJ 2.0. It looked like Void was on was at the mic, but he was actually <laughs> sitting no, no, no. like. DJ plays all the characters. And then, look, I'll, maybe not for Bowser. <laughs> Void camp. <laughs> the Void camp. <laughs> I love it. We should put it on him and see how long it takes him to notice. Look at that jacket. What is that, what is that Ooh, expression? He's looking at jacket. looking at some crazy memes. Boyd's always got some some uh, sick fits. He's he always does. got some jacket I've never seen before. I really want him to Let's this. go, Boyd. He's got some uh, oh. some pants. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Just noticed this. Look at that smile. <laughs> That's great. Smiles I want to protect. Yeah. Boyd. Boyd. <laughs> 50 pictures of People Boyd. People I want to protect. <laughs> Boyd. Yeah. Man, that's a, a crazy tournament we've had so far on this top eight. Um couple of things we might not have expected. Plup H-Box in Winner's Finals. Not strangers to this uh Yeah, yeah definitely not. Like, no. but how do they do it? How but do they do uh, it? it's been a little bit for Plup, so it's really good to see him playing well again. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, Mango Axe, that's always a classic. Yeah. It's in IBDW. So we got a lot of good sets. Tall coming. test for Cody. Yeah. But he's gone through them throughout this tournament. I feel and like Sunday, Cody. I feel like the foxes are going to watch Cody that. Sunday. The foxes are going to watch that last set, right? And think how <laughs> they want to switch to Sheik, yeah. right? I feel like watching. Not well, I mean, if you're practicing Sheik versus right Marth, you're practicing Fox Marth. So, oh God. so Cody, <laughs> Co Cody was actually saying is. he he was actually <laughs> saying that, the, and these kind of players think in the long term, right? He was saying he wants to be able to take a set out of uh, off of Zane with his Sheik in like 2021. So he's mm -hmm. willing to invest that whole year. In Into order, that matchup. right? Because I think it's a it's going to be problematic for him in pretty much every right. tournament, right? It's only going to get worse. It's only going <laughs> to get worse. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Dane's yeah. going to be there. He's going to be waiting. He's yeah. going to be waiting. He's going to be sitting, looking pretty, mm -hmm. with his beautiful Golden Gardens yeah. jersey on. Yeah. I mean, all it's going to do is it's going to force Zane to get even better at the Sheik matchup, which is like, well, and he'll he'll have some innovations. You're, you're there literally for sure. never going to have strictly a character answer for Zane. Yeah, because he's just going to figure out the next one. Yeah. So you're just going to have to figure out I mean, Zane. He, he's made insane adaptations. You know, a lot of people have theorized different Marth adaptations in different matchups over the years, but um, Zane is the one who's who's taking all of those different pieces of the puzzle and applying them all in, at one. Yeah. We, we see it in Pikachu, where he has brought Axe to the absolute wire. Oh, that's yeah. so close. To the absolute it's wire, especially so at this close. very tournament. That yeah. game five, he was up two – was he up three stocks to one on that last – I think it was like a, a high – it was either – Two stocks or three stocks to one, where he had a huge lead. He was up 2-0. He was up 2-0 even in the set. The reverse 3-0 for Max. Yeah. 
I, I think we're at, I, I really like Melee where it is right now because I feel like everyone is close enough together in terms of skill mm -hmm. that these top eights are like very Up varied from tournament to tournament, right? Totally. We have players like Hacks coming out. We have like Shroomed in top eight at Genesis. Yeah. It's crazy. Like old yeah. school players coming back. Right. Well. Fiction. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's all like three of those guys are examples of who had previous peaks and now they've and not only gotten back to those peaks but surpassed yeah. them. Yeah. I was talking to Hacks about it. That's he was insane. saying he was saying how he had to like relearn everything right back onto the box. Yep. <laughs> and he was saying, God, imagine if project. he didn't have the hand pain, he thinks he would have won Genesis. And the trajectory, <laughs> but but it's kind it's kind of crazy, crazy, right? I mean, you crazy can't extrapolate the you can't trajectory extrapolate, that yeah, far. You can't extrapolate that hard. <laughs> but but, uh, but he there's a world, there's a universe where that happens. What do you get? Fourth, third? He got a really fifth. high placing. I think you have fifth. He might have got fourth. Because fiction was fourth. Bit. Oh, yeah, was it yeah, picture? Yeah, yeah. 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 But okay. before we get into more of this top eight action, we are going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. What is up with it? Welcome back to Smash Summon 9 Top 8. Holy Ooh. cannoli. How do we get here? Let's recap. Where are we even at? Are we top winners six. or are we losers? Top six. Six players left. Wow. Yep. I can't even count that high. <laughs> It's been a long day. It has, it been, has a been a long day. day. It's been a it's long weekend. Mm -hmm. It's been a long weekend. It's it like, has been a long weekend. Wait, so this is fa day five, right? If you include media day. Zero, yeah. 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 I mean, I feel like media day is almost more serious in some ways on Thursdays because Thursdays you have all these events that you're forced to participate in. Uh -huh. Whereas like media day is like, all right, time to warm up, time yeah. to practice. You got to grind. So, yeah. So it's, a, it's definitely like, I mean, that's kind of the thing with Summit. It's not like any other event, really. Where like you ha you can definitely burn yourself out just because there's so many good players. I want to play all these good players. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it feels like there's not too many. I can play all of them, but then you end up playing one person for th four hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> and you're salt, and you rematch them the next day, and and then next thing you know. Yeah, next thing your hands you know. kind of hurt. You're like, oh my god, I've been playing for so long. Yeah. You realize you haven't got any sunlight in this venue. You've been inside <laughs> yeah. all day. Yeah, this has definitely been the least. I, I don't know about you guys. The, the older summits, I feel like there were a lot of a lot of times people just kind of be kicking it outside. I'm not kicking it outside very much this weekend. Well, well there's no door. We can't see outside. As far as the players, the Katov, I think they came to practice this week. They I think came to yeah. I feel like because it's earlier in the year too, it's like the perfect practice event. Mm. That's how how I try to see it. Makes it's sense. like. You can, there's so many things you can try out now that like will last the entire year. Whereas usually some it's more like you know late spring, ah. middle spring, or summer, or late f towards or like the end of the season. Yeah, like it's, it's more like either the summer kickoff event or like late spring, like the big spring event. So I think this one is a little bit different, especially because Dennis is kind of close. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe people like intentionally grind out a bit more. Mm -hmm. But I actually feel like the people doing well now are the people that practiced a long time like a lot last year so maybe they didn't have too many things that they like i need to practice these things versus the new people it's the you know mango zane axe hbox ibdw mm -hmm. uh, obviously all players that grinded a lot last year i think mm -hmm. the one standout is plup plup yeah. arguably did not plup, play that yeah. much last year but yeah he's been he's been playing really really good after like a whoa, lukewarm whoa, beginning whoa. he lost a hacks yeah lukewarm beginning for sure um that's the thing, right? Has his path... Once he's hit the actual bracket, I don't think he's actually fought a fox. No, he's had a good bracket for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think that's pretty uh, like obvious. He kind Pikachu of Marth. arguably lucked out with Mango not taking the set too seriously. Mm -hmm. Where um, if he had only won one game, if he counterpicked him to FD, then he would have played me instead, which is a fox. Much harder bracket um, for him, And then, probably. yeah, even if he won, he would have run into H-Box. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's um, he's got him in, in finals. But, yeah, I mean, you can't really fault him for being, you know, 3-0-ing Zane, Genesis champion, oh. and beating um, Axe as well, who's obviously the previous Summit champion. Mm -hmm. right. So it's not like he's had an easy bracket, just, a, you know, one that favors him slightly more. Slightly, yeah. 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 I mean, at this point, right, most of the top players can take sets off the other top players, so... Yeah. I feel like this one is definitely one that can go both ways. Mango's slight Mango edge last year. Slight edge. Two to one. Yeah, but it's definitely like a very explosive matchup. I feel like whoever whoever takes momentum usually does really well, and it often comes down to, in my opinion, how much Axe can get those crucial gimps. Mm -hmm. If he gets those gimps, he takes all the momentum. Mango can often start, like, almost not throwing away, but he start losing his composure just a little bit, mm -hmm. trying to make up the space, and it makes it a lot easier for Axe to play it. That was a big factor in the Fiction versus Axe set. Was, so that was the last opponent Axe mm -hmm. beat. 
And uh, a lot of Axe's gameplay was like, especially on these smaller stages like FOD, Battlefield, Dash Dancing, under the side platform. Yeah. Because like, as soon as he gets one big stock, like obviously if you go like nickel and dime toe to toe with like Fox or like a space animal, they're kind of, they're gonna edge you out in most neutral yeah. exchanges. But if you get that one stock, it swings the whole game. Yeah. And the that's kind of what Axe needs. The big thing that with Pikachu is that the back throw is arguably the best like gimp throw in the entire mm. game. Oh. It because Pikachu rolls so far. You can get grabbed in the middle almost of FOD and still be in a position where you can't double jump back on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Ooh. all right. Yeah, here we are, game one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one interesting thing is that Mango never really seems to crouch cancel against Pikachu. Um, mm. Generally, I would say that crouch casting is very, very strong in this matchup because unlike Fox, Shine actually leads to a full damage combo. Right. Fox kind of struggles uh, using Shine against Pikachu because of the great Tekken Place animation. It's very, very hard to recover it. But I feel like Mango may be a bit too aggressive and like aerial in the beginning percents. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, right, Pikachu's multi-hit aerial, the forwarder, is a little bit of a gimmick, right, compared to, like, Fox's yeah. drill. Yeah, if you hit them grounded, it's definitely a gimmick. Like, you can 100% uh, shine it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, which makes Crash Cancel that much better. Yeah, yeah. he's super be high. Dead here, but... Yeah. Oh! Oh. Still got okay. It. Yeah. This should be it. Yeah. yeah. Good edge guard by Axe there. Yeah, that started with, uh, with just a sort of up air out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I would say the two things that people that Axe changed as he's gotten better, you know, like progressing from uh, maybe, you know, like out of top 10 to like maybe arguably top five level at, at points and winning some yeah. is that he's gotten a lot better using defensively up air, like turning his back, mm. using a little bit more forward air every now and then just to mix it in so he doesn't overuse Nair and going for these back throw games. Mm. I, I right. would say those are the three things that really, really matter. Um, you think he used to up throw more? He definitely used up throw more, 100%. Like, mm -hmm. he would be at this percent and get a grab under the platform, and he would be like, yeah, I'm going to up throw. Interesting. Oh, I love that he wow. nared instead of up smash there. That had way better kill potential. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't quite get it. And just another thing, it's like, Pikachu can be by the edge, and like, yeah, you won't get every grab, and technically maybe Falco doesn't have to approach, but you're in no danger of dying since your recovery and ledge dash is so amazing. Right. So Pikachu can kind of, you know, like, play the game that Sheik does with, you know, when music in place, um, but without the risk of Sheik's recovery. Right, yeah. That said, Mango's doing a really good job just avoiding any big gimps and, you know, winning in solid neutral. Yeah, he's been he's been sniffing them out. Yeah. Good grab, though. Oh, wow. All right, gets the down tilt. Gets probably, the down tilt. Probably caught him jumping there. Yeah. Mag's got a really good at uh, closing out stocks with down tilt, I would say. Something I thought about before I played him is like, like he plays a little bit different now at high percents. Ooh, Thunder Jolts. Wow. That, yeah. that was the, the back crucial throw. Yeah, that, gimp. that is yeah. the crucial gimp. Uh -huh. Even though he grabbed him near center stage, it ended up yeah. completely like a gimp. Karoosh. Oh. oh nice Expecting the spot dodge, I think. Oh. Mango, one of the Falcons that tends to shield a bit more than he spot dodges. Yeah, yeah. A little bit counter meta in that way, where everyone's expecting the spot dodge from every Falco. On like wake up, right? Yeah. Damage. Oof. Yeah, this is big damage, especially against a light character such as Pikachu. Oh, yeah, look for the down tilt. Oh, F smash. Mango's had great luck with F smash all yeah. day today. Yeah, it's just like one of those moves that like. Ooh, oh, that kill. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah, me. F smash is definitely one of those moves that like. Well, I I think you're gonna be here. And like, if you're not, I can hold down. It's hard to punish it. It's hard to punish is a big, is yeah. a big part of it. It's safer it, than you might think. Because the general option you want to do against it is shield. And if you power shield, like you barely shield, you're too far. And a lot of characters can't really necessarily kill from it. Especially Pikachu with bad grab range. Can at most get an up smash, but at 10%, what's that like going to do? And not if it's well spaced, which yeah. goes so good at. Yeah, pretty solid uh, game one. Pretty convincing win, even with that. Yeah, uh, even with, even the with game. that game. Exactly. Yeah. Mega's doing a great job avoiding grabs this set so far. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Even though he was on the side platform, Cuts the laser yeah. Yeah, barely caught him there. Yeah, Axe probably mis-inputting a ledge dash, and he does that sometimes, but generally it's really hard to punish, but Mango, very on point there. The tech in place, yeah. Axe was not ready. Nice approaching down air. And Mango's just playing super, super solid. Like, he's winning neutral really, really hard. A lot, yeah. And he's not getting the massive combos, but he's never getting hit by massive combos for the most part either. He decided right. to just trade Nair with forward smash. I love to see that. 
Yeah, Mango, that's like one of the things he'll do is like kind of oh, mixing in nice. undershoot and then like either undershoot and overshoot or undershoot and then punish with you that. trying to punish yeah, with like yeah. an up smash, yeah. Really common cool. Mango option. Yeah, that was big. Mm. Ooh, he went big for greedy. That big was, tech though, right? Yeah, that was Axe's tech chase right there. I'm surprised he dropped that. Yeah, that could have been a big swing. Whoa. Right, chill back here. Oh, again. Ooh, a down tilt again. Yeah, down tilt. Maybe it feels like Axe needs to start respecting his like space a bit more at high percents. Both the up smash and the down tilt, just like quick, like low range, but pretty fast options that Axe hasn't been baiting out yet. Ooh, Whoa. Wow. The Tries chase down. So <laughs> aggressive. That's where like your execution really matters because it makes it so much harder to dash out and punish it when you're really fast with the wave phones. Yeah. Nice Whoa. bait. Really, really good bait. Yeah. Is that a miss L cancel on that back air? Um, I don't think so, but it does have significant landing. Like, oh, oh no, 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 that no, was no, risky. No. Yeah, that was that like was Pikachu greedy. belly flopped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So backer has a landing hitbox. That's why Axe does it sometimes. Like pancakes. And another F smash. He's letting them rip yeah, today. He I'm really loving is. It. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Was that that was an error, right? Axe is not the kind that of player. An that. error. A weird error too, Wait, though. Was he going for ledge? I, I, mean, I think he. I, 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 I think it was just like pure. Like didn't Accident. expect to hit the button. Because yeah. if he did, yeah. he would have went the other way. Like usually, right? If a fox like gets a type out of nowhere, they won't cancel it. But if you're inputting, you kind of think, thinking I'm gonna s laser or shine. You can usually see that shorten. Mm -hmm. And I expected for the same thing to happen with Pikachu, right? Like just upbeat the right, the, the other way. But I think we just completely didn't expect to hit anything. And wow, starting out with a tear to death. Yeah, yeah big gimp. That's yeah, how it's got to be. Mixed up that made it pretty confusing. He went super low yeah. before getting that up here. But Mango. yeah, Axe on game three. <laughs> uh, Two down smashes in a row. The uh, yeah, go previous ahead, Summit champ fighting for his life on Fountain of Dreams right now. Yeah, Mango is making this look super convincing. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny seeing Pikachu's down smash just beat. <laughs> he turns around and just grabs him. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Pikachu's oh. down smash just beating the dare. Wow. I'm confused. Yeah, yeah second. Well, that one made more sense than the last up ESD, yeah. but uh, still. Yeah, not, not a good look. Not Axe, right? No, you don't see this from Axe too often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not Axemus Maximus. Yeah, let's hope keep he cleans it, it up. Yeah, keeping it up, though. Oh, like, that three laser was two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gets the down smash. Super crucial to get those down smashes. You get Falk out of CC oh, percent. Laser was wow, but that down air was a bit too early to actually link. Oh, another down smash. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here it starts. The platform, yep. Oh, look for the up tilt. Oh! I like the idea. <laughs> so many hitboxes. Yeah, I mean. It was actually safe. Yeah. Um, it just lasts so long that mm -hmm. maybe if Mango CC'd or just dropped right away, but he was like, yeah, I'm going to shield it. Oh. Wrong way on the. Oh! Oh, not quite. Oh, yeah, he gets wow. the up air. How do you find that in the magnifying glass? Yeah. That's <laughs> really hard, too, especially like. Down tilt usually doesn't almost kill, and then it's also Pikachu weird like fall speed. Mm -hmm. Really good knowledge and, and, there. And from small Mango. hitbox too. Yeah, How exactly. Like crazy tiny, up tiny. Yeah, that was game sense. Great stuff by Mango. Game sense. Ooh. I like that Ooh. word. I yeah, that's what it is. Ooh, the oh, punish. they're both out there. Oh, oh and Mango wins the race. Race to the finish. Look at that comeback. Axe was up a full stock pretty much all game. Yeah, Mango, always good at scram scrambles. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that was definitely one he won. Tie game. Crab, though. Tie game. All right, Axe. Oh. This may be Axe's last stock at Summit. Yeah, he started off dash dancing into a new oh, galaxy. No. <laughs> oh, that's a lot he of damage. Though. Oh, my God. Damage. Yeah, I feel 69. like... 69. Oh. oh. This has been a huge pun. Oh, oh my is God. that it? God. That was an my actual, word. like, zero to death combo where he... It was like a brief reset. Brief middle. reset, yeah. He like fell kind of into just like advantage state and then and then he just picked it, it right back up. It was a up. really, really good punish, honestly. Oh my god. I feel yeah. like um, Hex kind of suffers from that a little bit. He doesn't stall well. He doesn't stall invisibility well. Uh, like, why did he get hit by that Nair? Like, yeah. He had, Pikachu has he was a, definitely dash P dancing. P Pikachu a definitely has galaxy. a like a ledge stall. Invisible. Yeah, ledge stall with up B and amazing ledge dash. And Falco is a spacey, so like you want don't want to go near the edge. Look at that smile. Fuck Fox. What's that? I said fuck Fox. I'm a Falco player. That's how I'll die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bird gang. Don't you, don't you Bird forget gang. it. Go, go, go. Don't you ever forget it. I like Falco. I think Falco's a dope character. Mango moving on. Going to play yeah. the winner. I think Falco is 
I don't like fighting Falco with Fox, but every in every other sense, I like them. Right? I'm actually the same. I know way. exactly what you mean by that. I'm actually the yeah. same thing with Marth. I actually am a big, big Marth fan. Yeah, when Marth I think fan. about Marth, I think he's so cool. When you play Marth, uh, yeah. I actually am. Different I'm, story. I'm actually dead ass like straight up backwards with Marth and Puff. Ooh. I love fighting Puff, but I don't like Puff. Yeah. So, I, I, and I don't like fighting Marth, but I love Marth. Ooh. Conceptually. Huh. I lose, it's because I'm worse than Zane, not because the matchup sucks. Oh, the fiction. Uh, all right, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. all right. That, was Cody, that was Cody, by the way. That was Cody, by the way. This is a new world. This Let's is go, a new Cody. World. Look how quickly I really, things I, I change. I like that Cody says that, but I also know that he doesn't truly believe Dude, it. Dude, what if he back him? <laughs> <laughs> what if he back him? You, you think he doesn't believe that? He's just saying it. Sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. all you like, need like, is like, a fake it till no, you make yeah. it. Put, yeah, put a big smile on your face, right? The most important thing is 100% believing in yourself. Yeah, and... The hard matchup makes it harder because you lose Battlefield and you're like, well, I have to win on FD. Now you lose again, I have to win twice. But even FD. worse is thinking about it, right? right. Even, even worse, worse is like, as soon as you think about it, well, then you're then you're probably just gonna lose yeah. game three. Yeah, <laughs> you're exactly. not even gonna exactly get to game right. four. Like, so. yeah. the, the problem is is that the matchup is mentally hard as well mm. because of FD. FD always being there. Yeah, you feel the pressure. You have to win. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a when you win like he did. He won the first game, right? I guess right. he destroyed him. And then he barely oh, they loses FD, but he lost FD, right? And then Dreamland was bad, and that's how yeah. it can be. Um, that's how it can be, yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I, I hope just, I, I hope just Cody just sticks it in, yeah. like sticks in it. It would be just the greatest upset ever, and it'd be the greatest conclusion to our Fox complaining weekend. It would. It would. <laughs> it, would, it, would, it, would, it, would, it, would it would wrap it up this in a put nice an interesting bow. bow on it. Yeah. yeah. Like I hope everyone realizes that I want nothing else than Fox to win. Oh, yeah. totally. Yeah, for totally. Sure. Yeah. But you know, we'll see, man. We'll see. Real uh, quick, let me let me catch my breath a little bit because we only have five players left. So Mango is going to move on to face the winner of this next set, Zane versus IBDW. Mm. And over on the winner's side, we've got Plup and Hungrybox. Not the top six that I expected. No, Plup definitely making a surprise appearance yeah. today. Yeah, and in winners still. I think still. this could have been, like, if Zayn was in the winners instead, everything would have been, all right, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It yeah. would have been normal. I completely agree. Well, let's see. This has been, I mean, Zayn has oh. been doing so well in this matchup recently. There's so many yeah. boxes here. He's definitely been prepared. He's beat me, Cody already, Cody and already. Fiction in this specific matchup. What do you think about Cody in the Marth matchup, by the way? He used to love it, he said. And he was one of the, like, the last summit, right, when he did well, <laughs> he was adamantly saying that it was Fox's favor on any stage, but not FD. Hmm. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> he came up to me. Oh, he he's said, like, dead. Ooh. Nice. Okay. That was really good. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, Cody's playing hot. Yeah. Yeah, the sure. movement looking really confident right now. And Cody's just the type of player that can definitely, <laughs> like, he has kind of a set game plan. And it just uh, because it's offensive, people don't recognize it that he does kind of the similar things. But when he when it works, when he gets the momentum, it becomes so hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. Like he jumps in oh. at these awkward angles with the full jumps. Mm -hmm. Really, really good at CCing. Um, you know, in some situations where other people would like maybe try to roll, he just like double shines instead and like yeah, I'm just gonna try to hit you any way I can. Right. He's actually swagging on him right yeah. now. Yeah. Those down smashes oh, are that's oh, it. but the tipper. Yeah. Easy reversal. Nice catch by Zane. Nice confirm. The down smash is at the ledge. He's like trying to get the um like he's trying to beat the Sakurai angle, right? Because you have yeah. to have a have a hitbox Ooh, out. Nice. Not have a hitbox, but you know, yeah. be doing something. Cody playing really, really on point right now. Um it'll be interesting to see if Zane can like bring it back. I definitely think this this is oh, super doable. It's one hit. one grab away. Yeah, totally. But he's not been hitting him. Oh, oh. yeah, he really oh, no, has no, no, not no. been hitting him. Good wavelength but that back was, on. Yeah, all of that grab. was really nice. Alright, what's conversion? Wow. Big up air. Oh, Zane. No. Good slide oh off God. DI. Oh, wow. Oh. Messes up slightly with the down tilt. And he gets it. Okay. Yeah, how did he, sorry, how did he mess it up? What could he have? Uh, is it he, timing? He just, yeah, he just did it too early. Like, there's no way Fox could get there that early, so he should have just it. waited slightly. Um, but that actually is a big deal. Like, if. Oh, 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 wow, that should be. Speedy Gonzalez. Wow. Landing that falling upper to begin with is really, really hard on <laughs> Zane. <laughs> and the yeah. follow-up. Yeah, and the follow-up is beautiful. I love that everything Cody's doing is either an overshoot or an undershoot. Yeah. Mm. Not just a shoot. That's something not, just I a <laughs> not just a shoot. <laughs> That's something I noticed against um, when I was playing a lot against Zane in friendlies. That, like, you know, doing these mid-range mix-ups where you slightly fade away just isn't good enough against the uh, man Marth. with the sword. Yeah, because yeah. he has the sword and the big grab range. Giant so, grab range, So yeah. even when he thinks you're going to go fully like fully fade forward with an air, if you don't like overshoot it, he might just grab it anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah totally. It, slightly fade back, still going to grab you. Wow, that 
That was awesome. Wow, he actually the punished the Nair. Yeah, he snuck under it and over it just oh, no, 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 a no, second no. before. That's going to uh -oh. be a dead. Oh, that should be maybe dead. he could have gone straight oh, up. Oh, he messes oh. up, but he still gets it. Yeah, yeah. dip too low. And now one grab Very away. important stock here. Yeah. I mean, this could likely be oh. the set if Zayn wins. No jump? Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, that was that was that was in my opinion an SD. Like he, yeah. like getting He's hit by the down smash. That's fair, but he didn't even make it. Right. Mm. Interesting. So now we have the FD pick quickly. That's I'm not sure if quickly. if I was Zane, I would wait a bit. I would definitely wait a bit. Let it simmer. Yeah. Let, let the broth simmer let, a little bit. Like he he messed up that game. Like yeah. He's been he's been playing a little bit off. Like that's, yeah. take take a sec. That's your that's your thing, I, Bobby. You've yeah, been talking about that. that. I noticed left. You took you took breath. a sec in one of the games, and I thought it was thought it was really good. The right call, yeah. I think generally like just a uh, sec. Yeah, just a just sec. a beat. Just a hair. When you, you know? have when you have the counter pick chance, like why not think about it a little mm -hmm. bit, or maybe just think about not thinking about anything. <laughs> yeah, mm. don't get in your own head. Mm -hmm. Oh, short of upper. Huh. Doesn't get anything. Yeah, maybe just full jumping and shining him. Yeah, full mm -hmm. jump and shine would have been the right call there after short of upper. Mm -hmm. Already a big deficit in percent, but percent doesn't oh. necessarily matter Whoa. that much in this. In, on wow. this stage. Not too much, yeah. Le Levin, you ever approach with uh, short hop reverse back air like that? <laughs> no, <laughs> but. That was fascinating. I mean, <laughs> did you ever think about it? <laughs> this is one of those things where I know that both me and Cody, when we see those, we're like. He kill me with a miss input. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You know what happens thing, when right? I miss input? Yeah. I die. Oh, I die. Oh. Oh. That was actually. Oh, oh, he fought her after Illusion had finished. I've never yeah. Seen it. Me neither. Yeah. And it looked like the bo like weird bottom he, hitbox. I think he air. tried to dash and he just miss inputted the dash and then tried to fair, like run a fair. That was so good. Ooh. Yeah, he did. Um, baited yeah, the third out like Shoulder's Guard and then yeah, immediately shined him. Yeah, that was sick. This is an interesting percent range because Marth kind of wants to grab, but it's not a big deal if he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And this is when you kind of oh. want to represent Shield as Fox. Make him mm. think, like, yeah, he's just. Ooh, oh, dude. Beautiful grab bait. Doesn't yeah. get any much from it. It's tie game. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no that's anymore. a mistake. Fortunately, Marth doesn't get a guaranteed kill with this no, percent. Yeah. It's yeah. actually kind of. That's why it's a bit more okay again, grab, but this yeah. is an annoying spot. This is an annoying oh. spot for sure, yeah. Yeah, that's kill. This is closer than you might think the matchup would go on FD, though. Yeah, yeah. Cody's totally doing pretty well. Him. Cody's playing honestly amazing, but yeah. <laughs> sadly, <laughs> he's still behind, but evens it up. Evens it up. Was that an F tilt? That must, <laughs> have, been a, that must have been a miss input. Must have been. Zane looking flustered. Yeah, actually. And Co Cody's playing what like, did you, so did you, hot. Did y'all watch this play versus Plup? Uh, I watched a little bit, and I saw it was really bad. Yeah, it didn't really look he, he like He was doing, Zane's like, full jump it? fares. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, this is... He's he's hesitant, too. He, he won't run up F-Smash. Oh, here, here's the grab, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Cody's full jump drill. Uh, really good right. in a lot of matches, but it can be scary against Marth if there's space for it. Down tilt. Oh. Calls it out with an F-Smash. Yeah. That's, that's it. And that's all you need sometimes. He was playing mm -hmm. shaky, but he got a serious to death, so... Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no, that he was messes up the CC grab. That was, yeah. a, that was a kill, basically. That was really risky from yeah. IDW. Oh. Oh, he's oh, he tried oh, to set it for the Duraki. Whoa, whoa. He thought oh, he, he, did, he thought he had he? the Duraki set up. That's yeah. why he did uh away. I don't just know why he shot a laser. He did away <laughs> way on the stick. That was yeah, mistakes that on mistakes, confusing. actually, with yeah. that. Yeah. He might have tried yeah. to like press away then up up B. Yeah, or Shine. Shine's the obvious one. And now how how does he come back? This is exactly how the blast set went. Yeah. Can he change? Okay. Oh, I heard a Marth. <laughs> yeah. A swish. Zane tried to do the drop down fair. F tilt. F tilt. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but coming for Zane, I feel like it says a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It looked at wow, me like maybe he missed his run or something, yeah. and he was kind of like, all right, well, at least uh, mm. if I'm holding this direction, I may as well hit A. Ooh, you yeah. gotta shine that out of shield if you wanna punish it. Ooh, nice up B. I, I love yeah. those. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And. This is right on track for Zane. Yeah. The FD momentum swing. It yeah, Looking a lot like their last yeah. set. Mm -hmm. But I, I still feel like Cody is playing a bit more on point than the last set. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. if the stock might not necessarily reflect it. And he wasn't able to down smash that one. Yeah. I got to say, the edge guard flowchart has not quite worked out for Cody yet. Like, he's been going for I feel like that's one of the things that every Fox is really hurting. And that's one of the things that I feel like when each of us watch a Sheik set, we're like, That'd be nice. That'd be <laughs> nice. Right, like, right. Being able to get those like fall off backers and just killing Marth when he's off stage. Mm -hmm. Especially in tournament, I feel like people mess it up so much, myself included. It's like, 
you want to hold on and you want to roll late. But what if he up beats early and it gets mm -hmm. stage spiked and died zero? Yeah. It's so scary. It's, yeah. it's, it's risky for sure. Just having that comfortable thing where you can kind of just, you know, down tilt on stage and be like, I'm still covering something. Yeah. Yeah. The jabs, you know, stuff like that. Wow. Okay, easy edge guard, but ends up giving me a two stock lead. Mm -hmm. Nice light shield. Really good mix up. Zane usually holding light shield and then jumping, but not this time. Mm -hmm. He's still alive. So no double jump here. This is sadly not a totally to free, yeah. but well. Nah, it was yeah, kind of pretty dead. Free. It was kind of pretty dead. He can actually, he cannot be outside of the light shield range, though. I, I see, I see. Yeah. And he was at the range where it's almost SCP can air dodge, so he should be dead, but it's not brain dead. dead. That was Sick, risky. Yeah. Yeah. I can't with believe. That shield. Yeah, I kind of can't believe Zane was ready for it though, in, in, in a weird way. Quick. Oh, nice. And you get nice and early. Oh, oh, oh goodness. What a confirm. Strong, yeah. The two piece is so strong for Marth at the mid percents. Like, mm -hmm. a space. That fair. might be it. Yep. Oh. No, oh, my God. He's, he's doing some stuff. A little bit more, but. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What yeah. a decision to forward smash there. Yeah. It. I feel like it would have tippered on like straight forward and that angle. Yeah. yeah. So he was at the angle where he probably couldn't have sweet spot under it with downward angle. Upward angle would have been too high, so yeah. he could have up tilted maybe. Yeah. Um, Even after that. Smash, so so that's kind of the mix up. If you force match, you cover all kind of low uh, angles, but you're vulnerable to high one. Mm. Um, oh, what attack! But down tilt is the reverse, where you can go straight <coughs> at Marth if he down tilts. Mm -hmm. But if he goes high, then you have time to cover it instead. Or I mean, Marth has time to cover it. Mm -hmm. All right, game four, IBDW down a game. This I like, is yeah, I really set like, point for Zane. I really like the decision oh. to go to Yoshi's. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that nice. was sick. Oh, nice. and Randall nice. almost. Oh, oh, lead. Maybe one more row. No, 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 no. There's that using okay. the invincibility you were talking about left there. Yeah. He's be more careful. Kind of lazy stall. And, oh. Nice nice, 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 yeah. nice. nice. Oh, oh nice. ah, that's a yeah. good follow up. Shine. Yeah. Oh. He can kill him. Okay. He's going to get more damage. That was really, oh. really good damage building so far. My kill? Second and only? That's yep. gonna kill for wow. sure. Yeah, wow. wow. This is like definitely uh, what Cody needs. Yeah, quick two stocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the problem with Dreamline is you just give him so much space, and I feel like especially as A was a little bit flustered, you know, maybe not playing 100% mm. on point, giving him that space that he can comfortably like dash dance and fair and down to in place, like mm -hmm. might have helped him get back into it. I love the running shine grab approach actually because the, right there, right, he's spaced wrong with the shine, but the grab punished Zane trying yeah, to come in. Yeah, and Zane also is a person that will uh, just CC in neutral, and if you're true crouching, shine grab will always connect on Marth. Right. I guess most characters you want to do like shine air instead, but that doesn't connect on a non crouch casting Marth, so you don't want to do. Mm. Wow. Good DI at least on the force smash. This. Sh well. This might be a kill anyway. Yeah. Reaction. Living. A little See? bit too early. Still so, uh, has jump, has jump. Oh, oh the shot guy kind of helped. Definitely Maybe. Helped. Definitely yep. helped on the timing. At the same time, Zane also just like dashed back, so I think yeah. he was definitely looking for a high recovery. And I'll throw up yeah, there. I, Very close. I don't think the fair would have covered, but he might have. Oh, oh, that wow. was sick. Randall just going for Cody. it. Yeah. More than anything, I love the confidence. Mm -hmm. I think it's. Yeah. Yeah, he made that decision on a dime. There was no hesitation. Zane, oh! Zane is getting... Nice. Zane's getting ran over right now. Yeah. Zane's actually getting run over. Games one and four have looked the same. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, but Zane not killing him. All right, Zane's oh, no. in... Uh, Zane's in... We're going to game five mode. Okay. Zane, Zane, Zane. We're looking oh, at a game five yes. here. Wow. Three oh, stocked. <laughs> yeah, that he was... a uh, reverse three stock. He got three stocked the other game. I don't know what's going to happen. They, I mean, this is the thing I don't that is always going to be good for Marth. That, I mean, for Foxes versus Marth. Mm. Regardless of how the matchup is, it's a volatile one. You can right. And we went right into it. Uh -oh. Oh. That's no a bad start. No breaths being taken. Yeah, this is honestly, to me, almost as bad as FD, personally. Mm. Um, the edges make it really hard to recover. Beautiful timing on that one, though. Oh, the and good awareness. The side platforms are so again. small that you can't really go to the sides to slide off without being afraid of getting tippered. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. And then the transformations, while they should, in theory, maybe be Fox favored, because you can just stall them out for the most part. Uh, it's, it's not only, as big. Of yeah, a, it's a only deal. really fire, I would say, that's heavily Fox favored, and that's only one in four up here. Right. Um, on rock, you can st stall on the side. On like mm. grass. Grass and uh, windmill, you can still, you know, like kind of fight normally. Right. Oh, nice. Just looking. He hits it every time. Wow. wow. What wow. great, great move. Zane really, Zane really turning it on. Yeah. yeah. These guys can zero to death each other back and forth. Yeah. 
Yeah, and this is the hard part. Can Zane? Oh, oh. a little bit, a little bit too fast. Do you think? The antsy. Yeah, this this might, maybe yeah, this thinking that he wanted to miss tech, but I don't think that's gonna happen there. Yeah, a little antsy. IBW like everything that counts right now. Yeah, it would, especially anti considering the opposition even wouldn't have killed. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, dude. Yeah, is this how it happens? You have, you have to turn it on. Where in that first game, like everything was a clean overshoot and undershoot. Cody's not running as far in as he needs to be to connect these running shots. Yeah, you really need to win the majority of neutral changes if your punish game is going to be weaker. Yeah. Do you remember what stage game one was on? Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. The bigger stages seem to be. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is like. This is basically FD for, for the most part. Like, you can't really use the side platforms against Marth because Nair and Fair and Upper all cover it so well. So, like, what really is different mm. here except for a little bit of the punish game? Not much. Last Not stock. Much. I mean, eh, doable, but... <laughs> this is hard. Rough. Yeah, this is hard. This is extremely hard if Zane plays at mid-stage. Mm -hmm. Mid-stage, all he really needs is get, like, mid-percent, oh. and then any tip or fair will lead to tech Oh, no wait jump. a minute. He's gonna make it back, no problem. Oh, maybe. He could. Here we go. He needs both hits. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And second and only. No. Wow. Oh. Okay. The fourth right. three. Good game. Oh, smash kills. So that's something. Take, yeah. yeah. If it takes three tries, it takes three tries. <sighs> yeah. You can't think gone. about like, oh, that was so stupid. I should have killed him the first no. time. He kills him the first time. Like, no. Pick it's it just up. Just the matchup. Oh, it's just the matchup. Yeah. Zane missed an up tilt, and I feel like it was IBDW's oh. chance. But dude, no one soft up airs oh. like Zane does. Yeah. Incredible. Damn. They're hugging and it out. Yeah. I'd love to see it. Yeah. Zane really getting it together there. Wow. Zane as a played Fox good main, enough. As a Fox main, it's hard not to think that Zane just played good enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, you know. It I looked mean, a little bit like HBox playing a Fox that doesn't know the matchup. Where like, yeah, I mean, I'll lose this game. I have it. I have FD. I have Pokemon. And then in those games, he really just turned it up, and it made it look worse than it actually was. Like mm -hmm. that was a game five set. Yeah, potentially could have been last hit if things went a little bit different. A little mm. bit different. Yeah, totally. The FD game different. looked winnable. Um. FD looked winnable. FD yeah. looked winnable, but Dreamland and Pokemon did not. They didn't, yeah. They yeah. didn't, yeah. yeah. But then but on Cody's side, he ran over Zane on Battlefield and Story. Yeah, those yeah. didn't look winnable for Zane. So, yeah. This was Sammy Singles. I think, yeah, and I think one big thing. Yeah, this was Sammy Singles. Yeah, I wish yeah. this was a best of 11. I think Cody would have won. <laughs> three stock, three Sammy stock, singles. three stock. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I do think something that I guess – Probably should be labbed, or at least just practice more. Is probably the edge guard flow chart because it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't the, see any the, down the, smashes. The edge guard, the edge guard flow chart is definitely one thing that Foxes could be better at, and especially be more comfortable in tournament. Like, yeah, that that the fact that that even happens should be an indicator. Like, you're not completely comfortable. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're always going to die sometimes when you're edge guarding Marth. It's just like if you pick options and they're not completely invincible. Mm -hmm. You're gonna die. Mm -hmm. Any stall is frame perfect to be completely invincible. So right. you, you you are going to die. The thing is, you have to make Marth believe that he can't hit you, or that it's yeah. not worth going for the risk. Mm -hmm. There's definitely ways. And you have to mix up like, okay, well I'm at a hundred now, so I can do this risky edge guard and make him believe I'll do it any time. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, you you right. can definitely fool Marth into believing that things aren't exactly as they actually are, and you know. It only needs to happen once for that set to change completely, right? Right, mm -hmm. within the context of a given set. Yeah. I think this is something that, that sort of thing you described is something that I think, I mean, it's a totally different matchup, but I think HBox is very good at making those sorts of plays. Yeah. Uh, like against Fox, for example, right? Like uh, representing certain options, um, like the way he uses Pound, for example, in the Fox matchup. Exactly. Obviously, I, you can die for doing a Pound. Yeah. But he doesn't do it stupidly for the most part. Right. He does it when... He's nothing else knocks down when he probably won't die from a, like a backer. So you at least have to shield it, predict the angle, and then up smash. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And he, yeah, he represents it to make you scared. And then like he knows to use it more during clutch situations, right? You know, things like that. There's definitely a lot of mileage you can get out of that in that matchup. Um, as I said, it's definitely like a rough matchup for Fox, but it's by no means unwinnable. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think people, myself included, sometimes don't give enough credit to Zane. Like. Zane mm -hmm. is the one that makes it look that bad. But right. Like Z we yeah. felt like Zane wasn't playing on point, and he still like three stocked him, like two games and two stocked him mm -hmm. one game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even uh, though towards the end of the set, do you feel like he was coming? He, a he was definitely coming alive. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. That mm -hmm. last combo of the whole set was kooky. Yeah. That. The inside hitbox of up air it felt and like forward for air. A sec and tip. If just for a second he was back on net play. <laughs> yeah. 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 Got to post this on Twitter. Thinking about the next skit. Yep. Yeah. Yep.
All right, we're going to kick into a short break. We've got a... Four players left. Four players left. Wow. We're about to go into winner's finals, Hungry mm -hmm. Box versus Plup, so stick around. What is up with it? We're back with Smash Sub at 9. It's our top four players. Oh. What, what are you guys thinking about Hungry Box Plup? They played, right? They played they, early they, this they weekend. Won. It was bad. It was bad. 3-0. Oh, oh, shit. Ooh. But HBox beat everyone 3-0. Yeah, he the was on some Mango, shit in pools. He beat Mango 3-0. Um, I really feel like in pools, the puff advantage, like mentally conserving a little bit, really, really benefits. Ah. And like you have to go all out? Yeah, you ha you don't have to go all out against, oh. you know, There's a problems. Fox because you can kind of, you know, y you know how the matchup is, right? But puff... Usually, what the top players do is that they warm up against a puff player. They do this whole ritual. I have to play lame. Don't get tilted. Mm -hmm. He's gonna plank me. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many things you have to do, and I feel like you can kind of get away with some of the nerves when you lose that first set. Like it wasn't enough for Mango to come back from getting 3-0'd, but he did play a lot better. He so, did. Uh, I definitely think it's possible that Plup could do the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, generally, these sets tend to go like either last dog, last hit, or. Hbox destroys them. Yeah. Yeah. This is game one. I think we're going into it. Winner's finals. Mm -hmm. With Plup's Fox. Yeah. Back on the big stage. Yeah. Plup's Fox. Oh, Ooh. yeah. That's that telegraphed, but still great pound, right? Like, you're at 12. You're at around 7 to, like, 16, where pound will knock over low. And you, Ooh. like, always miss the tag. Oh, yeah. my God. Nice. Wow. He went straight for him. Oh, big up there. Calling out the movement. Yeah, that's a good sign if you can get an up air like that. I feel yeah. like that's what Plub does when he wins this set. Like, he's calling he's out shooting. movement and yeah, he's he, moving real fast. Yeah, he he's, like, moving in, in a fast way, but not, like, very horizontally. He uses a lot of jumps. He makes it, you know, he makes Ace Brush think, am I going to full jump or short hop? Like, a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and then he gets sometimes under him and gets those up airs or falls on top of him with an air. And I think that's generally how Plup's like victory conditions lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no jump here. Let's see, yeah, a little bit greedy. If he had jumped like a second later, it would have been a lot harder for Jigglypuff to survive. Would have been like a true like 50-50. Oh, mm. like no shield right now. Oh, wow. nice. Yeah, nice wave lands on the platform. Plup. Plup's Fox is definitely the best Fox around platforms. Yeah, Plup. That's kind of his thing. His cheek too. Yeah, like for that. sure. Knows his way around the platforms. Yep. Like, he, he's the, definitely the best at launching his attacks from the platforms. Cody's good at, like, jumping onto platforms, getting right off. Mm. But Plup's, Plup's willing to stay on the platforms and just, yeah, this is my home. Come at me. Ooh. Makes sense. Beautiful shine stall, side B call out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, HBox is right there. Yeah. All right. So one back air away. So grab, grab up uh, wow. is not really a kill right now. Generally, H Park looks for a weak nair or a backer here, and then goes for the pounder grab because that then that hit will kill. Mm. Yeah, you get the jab reset. Yeah, now eight percent pound territory. Yeah, just stalling a bit. Yeah, pound. There it is. Yeah, and it's oh, oh no, wow. the grab. Even with that little gap, mm. uh, he didn't didn't hit the uh, the smash. Oh, line. nice oh. backer. Ooh. He had the di mix up, but mm -hmm. it wasn't enough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh another pound oh, at eight percent. If it was two percent less, it would have gone lower. All right. Yeah. He said Again. Oh, Ooh. nice wait. Really weird air dodge, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he still gets back, though. Yeah. The 
bait. He's trying to launch those attacks with the shield. Platforms, like oh, you said. taking a lot of damage. He's going to start getting knocked down. And he, I don't know when exactly, but around yeah. now. He's going to look for the up tilt oh. here. Oh, no punish! Yeah. Gets it back here. Oh, oh missed ledge dash, and that's it. Turn winner. Oh, oh misses it. Wow. Still gets it. Nice yeah. box. It's just so difficult to deal with Hbox when he's going from side platform to ledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like that's where f half the game is taking place. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. You don't want to be in that angle, but if you're not, then you're usually struggling to launch an attack yourself. Um, what Fiction, me, and Armada seem to do well, I know Fiction studied Armada specifically, and one thing I saw that he picked up is that you stand, he, if Hbox is on the platform, you stand not under your own platform, but slightly in front of it. So where he can't like wavish off back air or yeah. pound, you should catch him slightly before that, where he has to make a little bit more of a risk. Hmm. Um, and you stand there and you up tilt, you throw out Nairus. I okay. think that's generally a better game plan. Hey. H-Punks is so good at those. Um, re recognizing when the Foxes want to go for drill and jumping. If you jump, drill basically has no hit stun. Uh -huh. So you will you will get up thrown. Um, question is, will you DI? And usually you're holding down to shine, so no. Yeah, right. Fastest throws in the game. Really good shield pressure there by Flop though. Gets the weak Nair. h was trying to dash grab. Um, still not quite sure what he does with dash grab, but... Um, that could have been, been rest on that falling up yeah. there. I actually thought for a long time that it was just better because I was like, well, Hbox does that one. It must be better. Like, yeah. Well, as I it mean, turns out. Might, it might have something to do with the bubble theory. Ah, uh, the bubble theory, yes. Uh, of course. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He could have CC'd that one. Ooh, yeah. Could he have gotten a, a true punish off yeah, CC'd that Yeah, because Puff wasn't like in full drift. When full, Puff is full drift. He's just like short hop backish while moving away. It's more or less impossible to get a punish. Mm -hmm. um, that one, though. But that one, he was, you know, falling slightly um, slower, and it, it was possible, but, you know, you're, you're not always ready to CC, uh, even if that would be the case in an ideal world. Right. All right, so H-Box planking, ledge stalling out the uh, invincibility, I mean, the bad the stage. transform, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at this stage, it's, like, really hard for H-Box to... Outside of a back throw, or maybe a pound, he can't really get anything that will really lead to a kill mm -hmm. uh, because of the tree being right there. Oh. But yeah, this is the good thing about ledge stalling. Like, your opponent always has to be afraid. When is he going to attack me? When's he going to come in? Yeah. If I ever miss a laser, yeah, you get punished. Oh. Puff movement is clean, though. Yeah. He, he's moving. Ooh. I say that, and he gets grabbed. Yeah. Trade yeah, but it's, it's an okay. It's, it's an okay one, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, it's really important for the fox to be more okay with getting grabbed once you know they will also die for it. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, that means the puff is still at a lead when you're a zero zero stocks because you can't punish the last rest. Right. But um, it's a it's an okay like I'm I'm not thinking the puff's going bad because you get hit with that grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Barely beats up there. Yeah, that was a big nair. Felt like he maybe could have gotten some off. Yeah, I don't like. And this is a big game. Okay, so Plump's got a little bit of a lead, but you know, if he, if he loses this game, this is this is one grab for kill for each. Yeah. Definitely. Losing this would mean he'd have to win on FT twice. Yeah. yeah. Or Dreamlight. Dreamlight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of Plump's neutral is like. I think you were basically saying this, right? Like running, kind of running under Puff, and like in a in a spot where you can yeah. throw out those safe arrows he that Armada likes to do. Ooh. That's oh, yeah. your rest. He gets Again, it. Again, it's, it's okay. okay. Be a trade. It's, it's okay. It's oh, okay. the platforms would go away. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's fast enough. Hbox felt he needed to go for that reaction rest. He doesn't always go for those. Yeah, it's very easy on the Pokemon platforms because they're so small. They're so short. Yeah. So it was a solid one, and it's very important to throw it in every now and then, right? Because showing that your opponent that you can't take the place. Yeah. And then it's easier to cover the relatively easy, you know, tech rolls. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Plup kind of launching himself Whoa. in the corner. <sighs> I don't like this play from Plup. He's so he's one oh, hit away. Oh god! Yeah. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I can't boy. believe he's alive. Oh. Tech chase. I mean, rest won't. Well, okay. All right. Thanks, All right. man. He, he survived the situation. It's kill percent for her for both right yeah. now. One yeah. grab into a pummel will kill. Yeah. Need one laser. Oh. Oh. oh, almost used the platform. It's almost genius. Mm -hmm. Weakener up smash is what I would be looking for right here. A little bit less telegraph than the grab. Oh, Ooh. wow. Yeah, looking for the grab. Oh, oh and a shield poke. Oh, nice. 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 And Plup ties it up. Winner's finals. Yeah. Huge game. Huge yeah. game. Colossal game. Don't forget it. This is for a $65,000 oh. prize pool. It's probably bigger than that now. Yeah, Last I, I saw, we're at 68. Thank you so much to oh everyone supporting God. the shop. 70 Gs. Yep. Crazy. BTS.gg oh. slash shop. Smash by <laughs>
Yeah. Well, let's see. Um, so generally, Dreamland is definitely a very hard one, especially if you get rested, it feels insurmountable sometimes. Mm -hmm. But Plop is very good at the platforms, so we'll see yeah. if he can uh, use that movement. Sometimes, and sometimes having this much room to run around can feel kind of comfortable too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, maintaining a lead is nice here, I would say. Yeah, from the for sure. side. Can I ask a? I want to ask a silly little question. So Crou crouch cancel here, reverse puff. Uh, I. Rarely, 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 rarely ever see, you know, those back airs crouch canceled at 50 or so turn into anything. It's just eating damage. Is there a reason for that? Um, it's because... I'm trying to understand. I don't know what else you could do. Yeah, a lot of the time, um, you just can't really punish it because of too much momentum. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's that he was a little bit off on the read, so he, like, dashed too early, so he got no dash. Um, there's a lot of things that could go wrong, essentially, when crouch canceling. Sometimes you're just running in, trying to get behind Puff, and you happen to hit, get hit before then. And so you're not really completely ready, but it's better than getting, you know, knocked okay, over. Okay, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, that, that, this is a classic h boxing tournament. Mm. Always looking for the light jump, always looking for people to jump in the corner. Yeah. He can stay above there and just, like, full jump back here completely safely. And if the opponent messes up, gets a little bit hasty with a double jump, instantly dead. It's like a raw execution test, right? Yeah. Now, here's the question. If you know he's doing that, if he's that high, can you do, like, a safer option that's fast enough to keep yourself Generally, safe? Generally, you can only really... To like, be safe, you can really only run under. Um, mm -hmm. Problem is, he could then fall down with an upper. Got it. Uh, oh, and he kill. gets close! Oh, wow. wow! I actually oh, wow. can't believe that... That was heads up. That, was, that was some <laughs> crazy... Like, yeah. yeah. That shouldn't have happened, but... For Pop to get that, levels. yeah. For Pop to get that, and then he also got the back air because Hbox got a little bit flustered. It seemed like went mm -hmm. back. Eee. That looked like the absolute last pixel that Fox could grab the ledge. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, oh, nice tech chase. Big damage. Yeah. 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 Two yeah. more lasers or so, and he's kills, kill percent. At 64. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's it. Go. Oh, yeah. and on the platform, yeah. yeah, you got the extra height. Yeah, the extra height is karush. And nice. Did he get a, Did he get a pummel or two? I, I think he got one. Got one. Might not even have needed it, honestly, because mm -hmm. it was on the platform. But yeah, Tachi Real said a lot. Oh, Would he land trading with a falling up or could be a rest? Ooh, nice, grab. nice. Yeah. I would have liked to see Plup use a little bit more like full jump uh, stationary or short up back here. Because HMUX is yeah. definitely going in right now. He's not being nearly as patient. You Probably can definitely wall Puff out with back yeah, airs to it, some degree. If Puff is being predictable with the way she's approaching, kind of like H how is, uh was playing, it can be very easy to just vary your jump height, space backers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as long as you're not getting pounded. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hbox. Run, run that up, Smash Bunny. Just running in. Yep. Yeah. Plup yeah. taking right? the lead in this set, not looking like the Plup that got 3 0 in pools. For not sure. at all. Not what at happened all. to him? Oh, what happened to Plup? Too. What happened to Plup is my question. He He's was on the man. couch He's... on Friday oh. saying something. He was apologizing to yeah. his fans. Yeah, no, honestly. And Plup has historically like had bad Summit tournaments. Oh, oh no. I like the idea. Honestly, if he didn't fast fall, he might have hit the stage. Might, he yeah. might have, but I think Hbox would have But then Hbox might have hit him, yeah, so. Okay, he was looking for uh, roll Two more out. hits. Yeah, just run away a little bit. But rest is still on the table, yeah. of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is almost an even game, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Oh, he went for yeah, it. Did go it's, for it's it. It's Puff favorite, for sure. Jeez. At this moment. Yeah, yeah. 100%. He uh, basically oh, can only oh. grab right now. This Outside is... of that, only up smash is going to kill for a long time. <laughs> right now, it's up smash or back air at 130. He's, he's going to yeah. grind out three more. Oh, but not with that DI. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. H-Box. That was pixels. Oh, my God. What is he doing? I couldn't tell you. He, he, these back airs shouldn't hit, you're saying? No. They shouldn't. There, there's no, like, H -box should be able to if, react if he and applies back. the bubble theory, <laughs> he can easily see that that bubble he was in he's a danger right bubble. inside of it. He was in the danger. This was, was a, like, this wasn't a, you know, wave dash back, moonwalk back. This was... Plop standing on the edge of double jump back here. actually need <laughs> one of you It guys. really is it, was. Is it a meme? What? what? Hey, it's a, <laughs> I, so it's, I can tell you about you it. You can bubble, tell me later. Bubble theory is a branded I theory actually, about I, how to see the game that Captain Crunch and Hungrybox thought up together. Oh, bubble theory. Captain and Crunch? what it is. Captain Crunch. I, I think I, I get it. Like, Just from the way you guys are talking about it, I contextually I put it together. Yeah. I get it. Mm. Hitbox, yeah, it's, hitbox it, it, spacing. Um, if you give, him, give them a lot of credit, it's... Realizing the heat maps, like, oh, how, this is how fast he can get oh, here. Right, and right, And kind right. of imagining bowls. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you're a bit more realistic like me, it's basic goddamn spacing. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we all see... Uh, it's not branded as well, Leptin. <laughs> basic goddamn spacing theory does just does not sell <laughs> like bubble theory. I don't know. I kind of like it. Basic anyway, <laughs> game four, yeah, and Hungrybox one loss away from going to the loser's bracket to face the, the winner of Mango Zane.
Yeah, yeah. Oh, why? Oh, good smash, yeah. Yeah, you need that. And I think on this stage, he can't KO with the up smash there, right? You need up throw up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now up smash will kill for sure. Right. But oh, finding it. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's. I feel like Hungry Boss always gets the second hit if so he gets much, that knockdown. So yeah. much of this match is who's walling out who. Bad lit jump, but still lives. Again, going in, like, he's rushing getting back to the stage. Mm -hmm. Like, definitely not playing um, safe here. Hbox isn't. Interesting. Um, gets the upper, though. That was nice. Yeah, he's at the percent where one backer will start hitting off stage, which mm -hmm. should probably lead to a kill. Weird grab. I don't. I don't know what that was. Yeah, Plup's really missing the shorter side platforms. Yeah. 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 He's doing those uppers like as if they would hit, but they. Ooh. I guess he might be trying to bait a shield drop, but like Plup like doesn't him. have to shield drop. Yeah, she can just too. go in the air. So, do you guys know if Plup is the only character in the game that doesn't live longer if they jump? Because Hbox never jumps when he gets it. Oh yeah, when he's like flying away. Yeah. Yeah. This he just lets go of his controller. I don't get it. I I'm noticed sure that. that. Doesn't she blow up in a puff? When Maybe she that jumps, it, it could that might, that make might her hurtbox bigger. She may die. But I feel but like yeah, it, most characters I feel like most other jump players your momentum, right? You want to yeah. do something, yeah. I feel like that would still apply. <laughs> yeah, you, I feel that way too. Because you're definitely moving backwards. Like you, you, when you yeah. jump, you stop that. This <laughs> came up one time, and we talked about this like, at some other tournament, and then like Ptas tweeted at us, and basically I forgot the whole exchange. Cool. <laughs> but we did talk about it. I don't remember what the outcome was. The information's out there. Yeah, it's out P -test. there. Yeah, yeah I'll check my DMs if you DM me. We, we talked about this. Yeah, He's well, a little upset that he tweets at us when we don't yeah. look at it. It's hard. 67% up throw will kill. Yeah. But is doing a good job now. Mm -hmm. Just camping it out on the set platform. Mm -hmm. um, not letting Pluff really play what how he wants. He's finding all these stray hits, just putting on a little bit of damage by a little bit of yeah. damage. Yeah. Big back here. Oh, oh. Even if Pluff finds up throw up there at 69, I feel like yeah. Smash Guy is so... Smash Guy is easy, yeah. yeah. This uh, pretty you're easy. You're going to have to learn the double hit. Oh, oh wow. Uh, I mean, second hit only. That was yeah. kind of cool. Let's see if that oh. was kind of cool. Can he oh. grind out? Oh. Big whiff. Yeah, a little bit hasty again. Yeah, another yeah. one. Looking like Mango. Here. Right? <laughs> Isn't so, like, it feels like so much of game four was Hbox running into stuff because he was down. And yeah. then this game, or game three, and then game four is Pup oh. running into stuff because he's down. Oh, oh Interesting. Wow. Oh, down tilt on shield My and God. then a turnaround up tilt somehow, somehow yeah. catching Hbox. very late on the punish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Barely gets the up tilt on time. I'm just surprised Pup would go for the up tilt at all. Right. Alright, and yet, yeah, nice side platform. Hbox grabbing the edge too early there. There was nothing he could do to cover uh, the side platform right there. Yeah, the high option. Plus, this game four, go ahead, dude. He just has to hang on to the stock and get yeah. as much laser yeah. damage as that, he can. This is the important. <laughs> Not a great near coming off the yeah, platform, I gotta say. Oh, I can't believe that missed, but okay. Hungry Box, <laughs> he's too can't consistent. Escape. Yeah, he is so is, consistent. His yeah. weak reverse forward air uh, edge guard nowadays mm -hmm. is too consistent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's that it's the um, lasting hitbox that really helping him out. Mm -hmm. It can cover even if you pass fall, and if you don't, you get the weak hit reverse. Oh, oh. To, oh. almost gets punished because he dash traps, but not quite. Jeez, up smash. That's a big, big up smash. Good damage. Yeah, it's 18 damage. Like it might not do as much as any you know it at two piece, but it's the most damaging single hit thing mm -hmm. you have. Yeah, you'll take it. And Plop is down to scrap. Okay, yeah. I like that yeah. back here. I feel like this is exactly what people do, though. They win a game on Dreamland, and they're like, yeah, next one will be easy, so I'm, I can just scrap. I have another mm -hmm. counter right. another game, And then H-Box comes alive. Awaken Box on oh, game five. No. Oh, no. No rest of shield. So Puff's get up, oh. like, Mystic animations are actually, like, the hardest in the game to punish for some reason. Yeah, I right? Puff Fury, hello? Yeah, hello. <laughs> Crunch, hello. <laughs> we deleted those bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Not let's jump. Not like mm -hmm. yeah, oh, tested. fast fall living. This is possible, but it's gonna be real. He has to play so clean. Yeah. But I think run away, make Hbox wa want it. You know, yeah. Hbox is not immune to these. Like you know, he also wants to finish the game sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes oh. he gets camped out. Have I've you seen, seen his Twitter Plus after going playing in. Ultimate? He gets, oh yeah. He gets really tilted when he Wait oh. a minute. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Oh, he gets oh, the damage, he, though. This he looked good. damaged. This yeah, I love that he turned it into... I'm stopping... Oh, that's oh. it. Oh, did he want that nair? Bad DI, bad DI, bad DI. I mean, you're, you're there's no way he wanted that nair. You're saying Plup loves to scrap, but that's where it finally bit him when he was trying to fight Hbox under that platform. Oh, what a... I really feel like he shouldn't have side bead. Like, if he had just he committed, committed so hard to harder, shine, right? Yeah, he should have jumped out, like, all right, he's going away, I'm going to jump back. Jump and then back, jump, yeah. Jump, jump back. Jump, jump and then again. look for another shine. Yeah. Right. 
That was definitely the. the he like, double jumped out, and so he kind of had no choice. Yeah. I think he, the play I would have gone is just straight up like jump out, fake, fake it. The second time too, and expect an air dodge. Game Bad. five. Is this how it? Yeah. Game five starts. Nice. Gets a tech chase. Damn, we're on battlefield. Game five. I'm battlefield. Sorry, we're not Love on like versus Yoshi hungry box. FD. Yeah, he already lost on that stage too. Dude, I think what? he doesn't like FD, but Yoshi's would be better, right? Yoshi's is. Well, I think yeah, he just likes die. battlefield. Yeah. But uh, dude, the ceiling is so high here. H box goes here against boxes. Yeah. When I beat him on Dreamlight, he's like, sometimes he just goes here instead of Dreamlight. That's how much he likes the stage. All right, well, you know, hey, man. It can definitely still work Bob's out. Gonna do Bob's, Bob's going to really do what Bob's going to do. Bob's really comfortable on the platforms. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see for sure. Uh, nice. Calls out the, the wave line on the platform there. Yeah, I do think his combat style of, like, run under, like, sharp platforms is... Yeah, he's not... It works here. As you can see, he's not really retreating to the other side of the platform. That should yeah. be it. That should be it. Yeah. Not this time. And this is this is a turning point. Mm -hmm. If yeah. he gets hasty with the kill here, yes. it, it'll, it'll be a stock two stock lead. Hbox is probably looking for it, right? Yeah, looking for Plub to be a little bit antsy. Oh, oh wow. wave dash back up tilt. Yeah. Tie landing. game again. Yeah, that was like that was the dope. third downer landing he had done, and Plub re recognizing that. Mm -hmm. All right, pound percent. Look at it. Oh, pound percent. Yeah, Plub knows, right? Like he's onto that. Is it possible that Plub could end up in grand finals? It's, it's possible. possible. It's possible. Absolutely. Oh. The jab reset as we say that. The chances dramatically went down. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Five seconds later. Oh, jeez. Oh, Rex runs away. Yeah. The nice thing about running away is if he grabs, yeah, you at exactly. least buffer DI. <laughs> this is one grab away from being even, though. Oh. Yeah. If you really think about it. But Ooh. Ooh. Can't punch that, right? There's nothing, like, clean there. Yeah, it's, maybe it's back a, air or it's something. It's an awkward but spot, but, like, you mm -hmm. get back air at best. And it's such an awkward pound. Like, mm -hmm. why would you pound there? Mm -hmm. that it's You're hard. never ready for it. Can you up smash it? In not, a strong too high. Not, not strong hit. That's yeah. right. Maybe a weak hit. Okay. And then what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. HRS can't pick him out. This is what he always does this. Like, he will feign being aggressive, you know, two two games. And then game five, mm -hmm. he just purely oh. goes for timeout. What yeah, a wow. That was huge. What a find. Yeah. I got to say, Plup's playing really no, nice. He's staying in this. But he did not look like he was getting phased by, like, the, the tempo oh. shift. No, yeah. he wasn't. No, no, he's just keep playing his game. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, Plup's, Plup's attacks yeah, from the now platforms. Now, Hbox not as confident running away anymore. Like, just getting that one hit is so... No. Got a DI. You got a DI. He was trying to shine for sure. It wasn't the percent mm. where you can technically shine out, but, no. like, the <gasps> risk reward is so... Oh, no, is no, this no, no. It? This is it. This is it. That's it. <gasps> no, it's how not. Is it that, oh how is that not? It's God? not. What, oh, wow. it's it's so what just it. happened? H-Bots dropped the edge guard, got hit by up B, and no. now we got a real oh, DI. No, you got a DI. Oh. You got a DI. That was intense. Wow. Oh, you hate to see it in such a, like a s simple drop. Uh-huh. Right? It's yeah. just like such a simple thing. It's yeah. just like, oh, come on. Got rested, I think, three times that oh. match. Yeah. Played so Once well with the jab reset that. rest and twice with up throw rest. Oh, the I'm not going to lie, that was stinks to watch. It stinks to watch. It stinks to watch. It stinks to watch. It stinks to watch. You know what? You know what, though? Let's look at the silver lining. It could have been Sorry, a replay of pools. I got lazy with my aerials on shield at the end. I know. <laughs> it's fucked up so much. It's okay, I man. think it's easier if you play Yoshi's because you don't have to fall as far before you do the back air. What? If you play you, oh, she's you just like, the backer kill? Yeah, 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 and then you can like when you do those fall jump falling back airs, they will always be strong u yeah. usually. But I still think I you made want, like I wanted, I wanted more space. Yeah, that's the only reason. I just felt I more comfortable dash dancing, but yeah, it didn't work out. <laughs> you play way better than dude. in pool stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. Oh well, oh well. You can do this shit, dude. I, I'm still very like impressed by his mentality. Like yeah, Plump, yeah. When he lost at Genesis, I remember. It was the first Genesis after Ultimate came out, and then he just like lost the Winter Finals last hit, and he's like, "I don't play this game anymore. I don't oh, want to play this." Like, yeah. he, he was hitting the gutter, like, "Why don't I just play Ultimate?" Yeah, and like, I'm I'm gonna be real with you. Puff does that to me too sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I, I might hate on Marth, you know, get spotted out of shine by Falcon, and cry my eyes out, but nothing makes me want to quit the game like Puff does mm -hmm. after a rough loss. But so for Puff I mean, to be in decent spirits, yeah, we always impressive. come back, right? Yeah, yeah, so, we always yeah. come back, and so he's still in the losers bracket today. It's really, really important to realize that, you know, he's still in. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. He has, a, he has beaten both people in Lucius Semis oh. 3-0 this tournament. Yeah. He's in a great spot still. Um, so yeah. He's just got to keep his head up. And I think for Plup, yeah. like, after having a rough early season, it's, um, you know, it's still a good performance, even oh, if it gets yeah. third. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And, and, you know, the way he's playing. Right? Yeah. What's up, Juan? What's up, Juan? You are sweating. <laughs> literally. Yeah, you're literally. You sweating. are a sweating. It's hard. Yeah. 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 I dropped the last edge guard and I thought it was yeah. over, and then uh, I just got a grab. That's the best he's ever played against me in a very, very long time. Oh my so God. Uh, he's playing incredibly well. Uh, I had, I'm not really too sure what to say. It's <laughs> crazy, crazy fucking set. Yeah. Um, yeah. Spaghetti on both sides, but really good players on both sides and punishes. So. What are you going to do between now and uh, when you next play? Uh, breathe for a second. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Just stay warm. Just move my fingers around. Uh, I know I'm in grands, but you know, it's still another set or two sets of play, so I gotta make sure I'm, on st I'm still on it. Yep. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do my best, and I'm in a good spot to win, so I'm gonna make sure. Mm -hmm. uh, do my best to do it. Do you have a prediction for who you might face? Uh, I think I'm gonna rematch Plup. Yeah. If he keeps playing the way he is, I, th I could see him beating Zane again. Yeah. 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 All right. Oof. Good stuff, yeah. Juan. Thanks. Good stuff, Good luck, Juan. Man. Yeah. You That's know terrible. that how long is the, so how long bad. is your hunger sated, Leffen? I remember watching you win big, big, big tournaments. Yeah, and like, how long do you stay you, full? You win, <laughs> and then like next week you're like, I want to do that again. Right, <laughs> right, right. And then you're back in. Like, like logically, oh. there should be no reason, no goddamn reason to try this hard to yeah. fail the majority of yeah. time. Yeah, like. Yeah, even H person. Well, he gets second, and he, get, he, you know, he's the best player. And even when he gets second, he's demoralized. He's sad. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, yeah. I remember when when you beat our you it, beat our motto, right at Evo uh, seventeen or eight. The one of the, yeah. He was crying, 18. man. Second place. He was had tears in his eyes. Yeah. And yeah. It's like brutal. Second place hurts the most. You were that close yeah. to having uh, it all. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Like, it's we're all crazy. We're all yeah. Crazy. We're all crazy. <laughs> we like, really are. Like, but I love that. I, I, I like that it's six, 18 now. 18 people who are all crazy for Melee. And then mm -hmm. so many commentators, so many people on the side. Yeah. We're all crazy together. Mm -hmm. so, so many fans on, <laughs> online supporting our shop. Yeah. Bringing the prize pool yeah. for the weekend at $68,000. They're all crazy, too. Yeah. They're all crazy. Yeah. You guys are all crazy at home. 67000 for Melee. That's, uh, that's 67, seven, nine, How many years has Melee been out now? A Close to 20. It's, it's 20 yeah, the 20, 20 years is next year. Like, yeah. how many Next time? November. How many years has people said that Mayo is going to die this year? Like probably, yeah, probably so many out. times. <laughs> yeah. So many times. I remember 07, 08, hearing and, that the game is going to go away. I YouTube King is going to end competitive Melee. Yeah, the robots like, are taking good. over. Yep. And somehow Melee is a solved <laughs> game. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it feels like this year is just beginning. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yes, I, think it this, is. I think this year is like, you know, supposed to be one of the best years for Melee ever. I think, yeah. it, I no, think I've it's going to. I've been so inspired since Genesis. I actually felt like at Genesis, I was just super proud of like all of us for keeping it alive. You know what I yeah. mean? We've stoked the flames. We've we've built a hearth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a little ember every once in a while, but nowadays we've just been building and building. You mm -hmm. got people like Nez Mod God in the scene. Yeah. We never had controller nerds. Yeah. No. We've got all kinds of we nerds got now. Drunk Fox just doing teaching. Coaching. Yeah, right? Yeah. We got coaches. There's all different kinds More of nerds. Than ever. Isn't like, that dope? There are mm -hmm. new fresh storylines too, so it's not stale at all. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not stale like, at all. It's fresh storylines and Although, you know, Mute King Armada, not present. You know, they're still around. They're still around. Oh, yeah. Armada's over there. There's no, there's nothing that, like, we didn't <laughs> lose <Armada>. them. <laughs> they didn't leave because it was, wasn't was good enough, you know? Right. They still love Melee. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think dope. that's so cool that, like, it, it can really be, like, you know, almost like a regular sport where some people retire, but they're still around the sport. That's right. Yeah. Um, well, wow. He, and here we have a new blood, Zane. Zane. That's right. You know, one a of documentary the kid. Yeah. yeah. Oh played the game God. for five years. Oh, that, oh my that God. And versus Mango, who's played it for, what, 15? 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Long time. Yeah, that is, isn't it? And they're fighting here on equal ground. Mm hmm. All right, let's see. It's so hard to get down from Zane when he, he's under you. Yeah. Like, get that big old sword. <laughs> that big old sword. Yeah, Bobby, like, seriously, if you notice anything that you guys, like, you know, talked about or labbed up, whatever, like, feel free to point it out. I'm noticing if I was Mango, I'd be mighty angry right now. That stupid up tilt. <laughs> it's so hard to get down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, so, something interesting is Zane actually, like, we all talk about it, that um, Fox Marth is annoying. Uh -huh. And actually, Zane, I asked Zane, like, you know, tru tell the truth. I'm not going to play Fox against you anyway. What do you actually think about the matchup? Because he would always like, eh. It's like, probably 6-4. But then I was like, wait, you think Falco's the easier one, though? 
So, so he, he thinks this matchup is easy. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, he, yeah thinks Falco, he, he thinks Falco is easier than Fox. Mm -hmm. He thinks Fox is 6-4. Oh, it makes me so huh. angry. <laughs> Easier but, for he has just, so many for traps. That's like Marth. if you move forward, if you attack right now, then yeah. like you're gonna die. Yeah. So you have to like avoid all those traps and weave in and out, yeah. and be able to still get your openings while not getting caught in his little. Yeah, his I would say lips. the hard thing is getting the big openings. Yeah. Once right. Marth has you at 50, any fair, any nair is gonna lead tech chase. Meanwhile, Falco, I mean, he gets shine dare combos, but they're all like very specific. Like this one led to the platform. This one led to an edge guard. Good job. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's not nearly as set in the way. Whereas, like, when Marth hits you, he only really converts the first part. The rest is just kind of like, just plugs in into his uh, flow chart and mm -hmm. it gets going. Nice power Yeah, and shield Zane's there. flow chart is nuts. Yeah, like, Mango yeah. was Marth also. Has, go ahead. No. <laughs> Marth has so many. I feel like his moves have such good hit stun and his sword's so oh, big that you almost have, you have, like, so That's many system. different choices. <laughs> It's like you got this yeah. huge buffet of delicious food. But, uh, uh, yeah, and it's all delicious. Yeah. yeah. And it can but really I feel like Zane sometimes. Yeah, and he's really disciplined and, like, it just seems like he picks the right moves. He's always got a plan. He's not just kind of swinging. Mm -hmm. The thing I was going to say was when I asked oh. Mango about this matchup, he was like, yeah, the thing that, the one thing that also really sucks wow. is when Zane starts power shielding like every other laser, it gets Ooh. so annoying. What a turnaround. That was a turnaround. That was a big yeah. turnaround. He died at 60 and then. That was it. Dude, it Falco, I mean, Falco, like, Marth definitely hits really hard, but Falco can do it, too. Uh, he definitely like, can. Like, sometimes you get that one opening where you're like, oh, I'm Especially going to, I'm going to after town. after knockdown percent, like, after, like, 45-ish, yeah. mm -hmm. you can definitely kill him off one hit if you're good. Yeah. And Mango is good. Yeah, you did, it's extremely hard to zero to death, Marth, but you can definitely two or three piece him. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Yeah. Because that's kind of, sometimes oh, that's oh. what Marth gets, right? Like, yeah. a lot of the times, Marth stage, is two wow. Oh, what oh. happened? Lost his jump Zane. earlier, I think. Oh no! What happened? Oh, this would be a Joey. huge upset. If Zane is definitely looking FD. different for, than mm -hmm. than he felt like doing pools. I feel at like at Genesis, at pools, yeah, yeah. Oh, slow. oh I, I guess it was so low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. He was like not even touching the wall. And as we say that, he's already back, basically in the lead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Big nice mash. mash. That's yeah, such a good mash. Yeah, I thought he was gonna. He's up dead there. if he doesn't get that mash. He might be dead right here. Yeah, he might be double, dead. Double, double pummel. Mm -hmm. He should have been able to mash out of that. Yeah. A little, oh. Whoa! Still Pixels. Gets, still gets the no, tech chase. Pixels. Good stuff. Yeah, it's it doesn't matter. Yeah. Red I ledge. would say that's honestly the most demoralized part is that when you technically get out in this matchup as either Spacey and then they get the tech chase. Oh, yeah. That's so and you're stupid. like, ah, I could see the light. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly the feeling you're talking about. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that was so clean. <laughs> this patch that was started so off fast. even enough, and then Zane just ran with it. Yeah, I feel like man. people are already building the Reddit post about why we need to ban a best of five. <laughs> like, this That's is, been Bobby's thing I've forever, I've been saying right? that for a lot of years. Yeah, yeah. Bobby's literally been saying, I, like, I we need to ban a best of five. It's it like, just why not? feels like it would be better melee. I feel yeah. like it, I feel like there would be a lot of... A lot more sets where the outcome is a determined mid-set. That's yes. exactly yes. the... Yes. Um, and... I think this is fine, personally. Like, this is okay. But like it really sucks if Zane, Zane wins that first game and then wins the like, first Dreamland game. That's when it sucks, I think. And yeah. uh, when you just feel like the other person doesn't really, shouldn't really even bother, you know, save your energy for loser bracket or something. Mm -hmm. But these are the rules that we have today, and bo everybody's agreed. <laughs> yeah, everybody's yeah. agreed to them. Or they, or, well, or they haven't thought about them. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. But what Look at that bullying. Did Mango oh, pushes Zane across oh the my whole God. stage. Yeah. A lot of shield damage, not a lot of actual damage. No. And but Zane you know. wins the encounter anyway. The encounter. Mango yeah. said Zane, Zane is going to be a problem. Zane is going to be a problem. Yeah. That's, uh, I, yeah. I mean, I've said that since, like, the first summit where Zane did well. I played so much with him, and I knew that, like, right away, like, when I told him something, like, you're so stupid, why don't you ever approach? And it's like, all right, I'm going to try approaching. And it's the worst approaches ever, but he started approaching. Yeah. yeah. When I told Jason to start smashing up, he's like, did nothing. He's uh, like, that's too hard. That's actually can be done reliably. That's a super powerful story. Yeah, I mean, somebody willing to try and to suck at something. Like, if you're not willing to suck at something, you'll never get good yeah. at it. Mm -hmm. I've always respected Zane for so always b being willing to implement new shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. While still, like, and he does it well. Where he like, he's not too eager to learn new stuff. He doesn't implement 15 things. He implements one or two new things. You can't every implement tournament. 15 things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you can't. Oh, oh this shit. is. 
Zane's playing <laughs> so important now. Yeah. That, yeah. that tipper killed at 20? Yes. Yeah. You're trying, okay. to, you're trying to slide off. You're trying to that he's dead. Oh slide off. What oh, was Jay. that? That was like a homie save. Yeah, it, it, that's a big deal. That's a two stock difference. Yeah. Yeah. The when he didn't even need to up. hit him. <laughs> the air dodge was going to, you know, he didn't make it back on stage. Ooh, jeez. That's yeah, a really good. rough. Even with that, this is yeah. looking like a two minute, like a minute and thirty second game. Yeah, yeah. I'm like smash and splash all over again. Yeah, oh, if God. this pace continues, Mango's gonna be dead in ten seconds. D E D dead. And this is Mango's counter pick too. Yeah. Oh. The small space not working out this match. This Zane is just catching him with everything. Yeah, I think Mango's kind of yeah. He's running into it. He's running into it. He's running into it. Yeah, he's running into it. Yeah, he's doing like the fastest option that can yeah. possibly lead to a hit. Which is like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to game four. Right We're going to game four. What if we didn't? <laughs> what if we did? <laughs> what, if, what if we just don't? Oh, DI yeah, makes him again. Honestly, and he just got outplayed a couple times and got punished really, really hard. Really, really hard. I think he'll probably go back. I need three stocks somebody he with just a has two to not swing. Get hit those few times and then Dream not maybe? get punished. I guess he that hard. Might. Yeah, they're taking just a sec. Yeah, he's going back. I think this is Falco's best stage in the matchup, either this or Battlefield, because it's a really big deal um, when you're like on top of him. If he doesn't have a lot of room to dash back, it, it actually makes a huge difference because yeah. it like cuts out like half the mix-ups. But that Dreamland is like there's so many more mix-ups. Like every time you approach him, he can dash back, and he can't dash back until he's at the edge. And then Zane, which most Mars don't do, sometimes he'll literally dash like off of the stage and he'll like fare over you and then like oh. empty like that. It's yeah. actually crazy. I've like overshot down airs and airs in the corner, and he jumps like <laughs> off stage and like. Backflips over me and then like fares me down tilt me. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, misses barely the missing. That's a big deal. Mega with a oh. you know pretty sizable lead at this point. Oh my god, he found that what? last pixel on Yoshi's story on the left side. Yeah, that was so incredible. Yeah. I oh, hate Zayn's really dash, good but I respect there. it. Nice. All right, tied up. Tied up in game four. Mm -hmm. Mango fighting for his tournament life. Yeah. It's do or die time. Gotta watch out for the power shields, Mango. Mm -hmm. Oh, that fair was something. <gasps> wow. That's how safe Marth's up he is. Yeah. He'd rather just do that than double jump. Yeah. Again, charging into the corner, and Zane is able to dash all the way back. Even with that forward smash, he's still off stage, so it's like it's not bad at all. Ooh, oh, nice. If he tries to slide off, he's dead. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Getting back to uh, mid stage. Nice. Oh. Nice. nice. No jump Good decision. Right? Yeah. Randall. Randall. Yeah. Nice. nice. All right, so Mango with a slight lead. Slight lead. I want nothing more than a game five. That's all I can ask for. Yeah. More than a oh. billion dollars right now. I want a game five. That's I don't know about that. Oh, he could have side to the ledge. <laughs> you take the billion? He actually could have side to the ledge. Take the billion? Take the billion? Yeah, I take I the take billion. <laughs> yeah, Zane, Zane wins 3 1. I'm taking the billion. <laughs> You're uh, right. Oh, that could have oh, been a down air. Good ball. Wow, oh, movement. Dash. Both players oh! moving. Crazy Ooh. movement. Randall. Oh, what a ah. nice. Down smash? What's he doing? What a nice I've Randall. Never seen someone opposite tech Randall. How did he get out? Oh, oh, no. He got stuck he in the tumbles. shield. Randall, big difference there. Yeah. Might have decided to set. Back air. Nice. Nice. Smash. Waits a little bit to, yeah. Very, very this last stock. So this could be Mango's hit? last stock here at Summit. He's rolling into the stage. He just grabbed four times in a row. He doesn't want to mess around with the ledge. Zane fairing oh, off the platform is giving full jump so air. Much Look grab. at that fair. fair. We'll get How did grab. he grab there? How do you get out? Zane misses up. Big drop from Zane. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Overshoot. Mango gets a big opening. Oh! oh what was that yes, three piece? Yes, yes, what was that no, three piece? He's dead. It's that, a game that, five. That was clutch that as fuck. Might be oh one of the God. sickest combos I've seen today. Yeah. That, that was definitely freestyle. That drop, that drop, drop, through, drop through forward air, forward smash. Forward smash. Wow. Three that was nothing he could have done that amazing that point. Yeah. yeah, that was fire. Mango won the game five. Using Randall, even though Randall had, like, that was the timer of Randall, too, where, like, he has technically appeared on the screen, but you have to be looking for him to even notice. Yeah, you do. And on your last thought going for that back, that's scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Oh, oh no. nice. Weak down there. And he Mango's so good on game five. Yeah, yeah even bro. this tournament. Where does jump go? I actually I don't, don't remember. Yeah, I don't either. I think he maybe like delayed one of his aerials a little bit. These oh, wave those dashes, dashes they're crazy. Hard. Those were like Luigi wave dashes. Just, I mean, not really. Luigi. <laughs> Shout I mean, to he his went. Not sure. Oh, oh wow. my! Oh, the Mango oh, Classic. Right and now Zane, Zane oh, fighting shit. for his tournament oh, life. He's got shit. two stocks left here at Summit.
He's got to do the Zane stuff now. Easy, man. The player who yep. won Genesis from winner's side. Oh, did that <gasps> far enough. Mango just getting the, the mix-ups. Oh, yeah. No. And Mango's just like not fast falling. He's drifting an extra yeah, little hair yeah. in. Yeah. It's a little oh, thing. Wow. That should be running. Oh, God. That's, oh, that should that's be not this. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so much damage. Back, but Mango's... He, he needs one grab to be in this game. Yeah. Yet, but invisibility is not easy to survive. Mm -mm. Look at that. Great double jump. Yeah. Bait. Oh, oh big God. Bait. That's the risk. Oh, sometimes. that match! Oh, such a good match. Oh, oh he got that deleted. angle! That just sucks. He that did get deleted. Suck. That just that sucks. Just sucks. Remember when he that lost the Genesis due to the rock? I think yeah. I feel like he might have just sealed the deal with Rock here. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar, honestly. Uh, like, it didn't technically decide this head, but like kind of did. This is hard for Zane to the corner too. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, okay. Wait, just a minute. Hey, this is Zane. Oh, Mango, air the Mango air dodge. Oh, and he. Yeah, he got that there. weird pop up thing. Damn it, Mango's uh, back Mango's in. On him. Yeah, Mango's He's on him. He's not letting up. High angle. And you he have missed to the hit jab. Uh, yeah, you have sucks. to hit that. That's that's non negotiable. I think it's not even doing a short mix up, and like it, it's not even mattering right now. Oh my god. No jump, I don't know that's that's gonna hit. Yeah. Mango got a knockdown off of that choice. That's it. Okay. Yep. Alright, this is definitely doable. We'll see what happens in the next five seconds. He needs seconds. to drive visibility. Throws him ah. off. That's a free hit if he gets on stage. So close. He's fighting in the corner. Oh my god, what are you doing, Mango? <laughs> what is what he doing? What is this? That's oh the question. No, he drops the combo. Oh, nice uh, bait. Zane's got a grab. Tilt. Oh, his, his, his flow shot is not working out right now. Yeah. No. Oh, oh my god, what Mango's a, on what him. Yeah, that so that might be it. That's not it. But One more hit. Lasers, though. Okay. Oh, oh, that's oh, it. Jeff yeah, forward that. smash. And Zane out at fourth place here at Summit. Mango's going to move on to face Plump. That was a great set. That was a great set. That was a great set. Wow. Mango just straight up turning on after the oh, first. After the first Yoshi game, Mango played amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, he got gamed that one time and he had to make a comeback, but Jesus. Oh, shit. I gotta get out of here. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, thanks for having us, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. I love you, Bobby. See you around. The Pokemon Stadium game was. Mango that was so on point. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Those Luigi wave dashes. <laughs> right? Bro, that was he crazy. Right? Soap on his like, heels. <laughs> I've never seen wave dashes like that. So yeah. I don't think I've, I've <laughs> seen Mango, like, move that well in a game yeah. five situation before. Mm -hmm. Like, he was. He wasn't getting like you know weird quick kills either. He was just playing solidly throughout the entire game yeah. five. Yeah. Um, right. He got the first kill with the downstroke. Well, that's just an edge card, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That third stock was brutal though. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess we could feel like maybe a little bit from Zane. Maybe that little bit tinge of a burnout as well. He could was be. definitely like he had moments today, but I feel like throughout the rest of the weekend. It was just constant. He was constantly playing well. Mm -hmm. Today he like had some games where he played amazing, and some games where like, "Hey, what are you?" The plop set. Yeah. No. And yeah. in fact, Mango brought this one back after that SD. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. What a game. Especially and the SD on the battlefield set. That. This was clutch. Oh. Such an insane Catches. combo. Oh, and he wild. covers Randall. I don't know how I feel about Zane jumping immediately there. Mm. Where he used I think it was panic. Jumping? I think it was panic. Like, panic, uh, right? I think it was like, oh, sh what was that F smash? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there yeah. was just a lot of. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> so unlucky. Yeah. Stadium gives and stadium that takes away. That, that yeah. was a beautiful play. Like he crossed them up intentionally with an air to give him the uh, chance to wave dash away mm -hmm. and then covered it immediately. Ah. Man, damn. Game three, Zane destroyed Mango. Right, we were on pace for that to be a four-game set. Yeah. We yeah. were. We were saying we would take. We would give up a billion dollars to see a game five. <laughs> That game I five almost made me that. forget that Zane was this close to yeah. winning and moving on. Yeah. That was crazy. That was crazy. We know Hungrybox is surprised by that. He thought Zane yeah. was going to take that set. He was yeah. probably pre preparing for Zane. Yeah. And, now, yeah. and now we get to see Mango Plup. And Mango Plup. That set was not good looking in pools yesterday, but it was, it was a low stakes one. Plup needed a win to get winners, to make uh, yeah. it this far. Mango thought he had nothing to lose, even if he threw. Right. Mm. And, like, based on how they're playing now compared to how they played in pools, too, right? Mango yeah, coming off that set looking really good. Mm -hmm. Plup coming off the H-Boss set and Winners looking really good. Mm -hmm. Both of them looking mentally in it. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. I think Mango really wants to win. You could, you could tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. never. I, I don't think he's ever won a summit. 
He hasn't. Right? It's he hasn't. Armada won the first four. Yeah, I was researching. It's kind of uh, crazy it to was think all about, right? Five, the, the five gods have won uh, every summit except last one with Dax. Yeah. Yeah. Ninja King won one, Armada won four, and Hungry Bucks won the rest. I guess, was there only one other one? Four, five, six? Yeah. This is seven. Hbox has only won one summit. Yeah. Huh. That's kind of... This is summit... No, this is summit nine. Right. So I think no, he's, he's definitely won two then. Yeah. Oh, he's won two. Yeah. He won like seven or whatever. Five, six, he won seven, one eight. versus yeah. Armada and yeah. won one versus me. I remember that. Nah. Mm. Ah. Nah. 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 <laughs> as disappointed as Mango was after his Genesis loss, I can tell he's taking this tournament really seriously. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And we're going to get into him versus Plup right after a short break, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Smash Summit 9. We are preparing to get into Losers Finals, uh, Plup versus Mango. But before that, we have some events that we'd like to announce. Uh, we've yeah. got some new events coming. We're going to check out some trailers for it. Wow. A crossover summit? A Can't believe it. It's just summit. truly crossovers are everything nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You love to see the most ambitious crossover event. In summit history. In summit history. <laughs> that's right. So Ultimate Summit, that's going to be June 11th to the 14th. And there are actually going to be qualifiers leading up to um, Ultimate Vo Summit. So like... Void's happy. Yeah. Yeah. Void yeah. popping off yeah. in the background. Yeah. 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 We did it. Hey, Void, all, you're... All homies can finally show up melee homies. Dude, this, this happened like once last year. I'm hyped. What dream, a dream come true. Dream come true. Void actually getting pretty good at melee himself. I play Void in melee friendlies every you know major that is both games, yeah. or he just comes to summit, and uh, he gets like noticeably better every time. Um, he's good. So yeah, no ultimate summit is actually going to have qualifying events. So it's like a little little beyond the summit circuit kind of mm -hmm. deal. So that's going to be hype. But I think the first one is going to be Phantom, uh, which is like three weeks from now. That's going to be March seventh. Mm -hmm. That's going to be in Australia, Sydney, Australia, and there will be more qualifiers announced around the globe. That's right. The Ultimate Summit will the be globe. June 11th. June 11th. Dude, I'm really hyper crossover summit. Um, December? Adam, we were, we were both at the last Ultimate Summit. That was super yeah, fun. Yeah, that's true. That's you true. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a great time, and I think it's very interesting to like get this you know crossover between the players. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, uh, you know, even if it's you know, different games and like a lot of people might not play both, uh, a lot of people still follow, you know, like mm -hmm. whatever game isn't their main game. So I think it's... Uh, very good and beneficial for both scenes to have, you know, a crossover. Mm -hmm. And we also have some commentators that do both games as well. So mm -hmm. I think it's, That's uh, true. you know, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I'm excited to see uh, exactly TK how Breezy. it all would work <laughs> out. <laughs> TK, TK's helicopter is actually fire. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be here or not, obviously, but I'm definitely at least going to have fun watching. But we're bringing the communities together, Toph. That's right. And you That's love right. I'm all about that. to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. No, let's get down into losers finals. We've got oh. some unfinished business here at Smash Summit Nine. Yes. Mango vs. Plup losers fine. finals. The yeah. winner is gonna have to go the distance with Hungry Box. Yes. Two sets. Adam. Ooh. Yeah. Thoughts. What do you think about how so these guys played? Uh, but it was you know obviously a lot earlier in the weekend. What do you think? Any any expectations going into the set? Anything to look for? I mean, overall, it feels like historically when Mango plays Falco against Plup, it's very, very, like, even-esque. I personally feel like his Fox does better against Plup. Mm. And, if, and if you look at the record, I feel like that's, you know, the character he should play. And if he wants to win the tournament, then Fox is also to play against Hungerbox. Mm. So that would be my way of thinking. But I also know that Mango prefers to go Falco these days. Yeah, I actually so have bad news for you, which is that after he beat... Uh, uh, was it Axe? Yeah, after he beat Axe, he walked up to the microphone and he said, Fuck Fox, I'm a Falco player till I die, and he walked off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, <laughs> so, might be so that's bad Falco. news for, for, that, yeah. for that, unfortunately. But, you know. The thing is, like, he can't win with Falco, though. I'm just, you know, I'm just yeah, saying. Totally. Yeah, totally. Versus no, Hbox, totally. you mean? No, versus Plop. Yeah, you know, he like, can't? He can. Can. He's saying yeah. he can win. Okay. I heard can. That's what you're saying, right? right? Yeah, yeah, he can, he can. Okay. Losers finals. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Definitely two different players than, you know, who we saw much earlier in the weekend. They're both hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both playing really well. 
neither one, like, uh, you know, I, I think both of them, you know, kind of middling placings in their pools, right? Yeah. Like, not the top. No. So that's kind of interesting. But that's how it is. I mean, IBDW is somewhat player from that last summit and first stop going to Pluck. Covered, yep. covered like every option with that edge guard. Pluck beat Zane earlier pretty convincingly, if you ask me. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just playing. I mean, again, right, I think the most important thing I'm looking for for these players is like they both look really mentally dialed in. Mangle, I think, really wants to win, and Plup, I think, showed a lot of composure in the Dage mm -hmm, set and mm -hmm. winners' finals, too. Yeah, we were all super impressed by his mentality uh, when he went on the microphone and was pretty positive about the matchup, even though he lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it was like the best set he's had in a very long time against Hungerbox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. Box said the same. Wow, Nair laser forward smash. I thought it was going to side you over there. <gasps> oh, the read. It was a little late. I yeah. think it was the reaction, actually. It doesn't roll off the tail. The know, reaction toast. It's, it's not so. Uh, <laughs> just do like a spin off series. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. Mango up a stock. That was actually a sick bait. He like crossed him up twice, like plop, like F tilted the wrong way. Mango applying pressure now. All of this actually off of that really slick ground movement. Mm. I was surprised he was so confident to back air shine pressure plup like that, but he got away with it. Mm -hmm. No near out of shield yet. Ooh, a little bit too early on that tech chase. Right. Ooh, I'm going to try to cover some options there. Ooh, she rolls so far. Shine. Oh, yeah. She really does. Ooh. She's got a long tech roll. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Plup is so good with the shield drops. He's like, you really got to respect Plup on the platforms. Like, mm -hmm. the shield drop master. Even, yeah, honestly, even in his set against Hbox, that's something like Leffen was pointing out a lot, was like, he finds a lot of interesting, like, counterattacks on the platforms, even in a matchup like Fox Puff. So, you know, with Sheik, who, who definitely is, like, a character you got to, you know, fear with a, the, both the back air and the forward air. Man, Mango's occasionally getting traded out of his shield pressure, but he's not stopping. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love the fact how, like, you know, like, when Falco's low damage, people tend to do, like, rice, like, full hop nairs to land on the platform, but Mango is, like, challenging that as well. Mm -hmm. Because short up nairs can be better uh, if the Falco's high damage, because then when you push him away, you can, be, you know, be actionable sooner on the ground. But at low percent, you want to land on platform, but Mango's entirely ready for it. That was very good. I wonder what he was waiting for there with that forward smash. Whoa. Yeah, right? Yeah. Could have, like, probably shined again and, like, killed him off the top. Mm -hmm. I think he I think he just thought that he could combo into it. Maybe. <laughs> They're near, 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 yep. near. Great spacing on both their parts. Ooh, oh, the yeah. client, the trade, the aerial trade. Mm -hmm. Oh, boom. Zoo. <laughs> Clean first game for Mango. Ooh. Clean first game. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Commanding. I don't think this is one of those matchups where the counter pick war matters that heavy. Uh, compared to some other characters mm -hmm. or like matchups that involve you know Spacey's Marth or like Spacey's Puff, uh, but it definitely feels good to get the battlefield game because Sheik is strong there. If anything, yeah, I'll say in this matchup the only like strong stage really is like FD for Falco, but Mango is not really a Falco that likes that stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for this particular head-to-head, -head, I feel like yeah, I agree with you. Practically doesn't matter. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Ooh, near near. Wow. No, did he didn't not? even get the reset. I don't <laughs> he think. didn't even get the reset. Right, I, that I need was a weird. replay on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it was no reason. It was like weird platform height. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Mango expected it to be like slightly higher, mm -hmm. but I mean, it worked out anyway. Yeah. Wow, Plump gets what? burned. That really hurts, actually. Yeah, 16 damage. Oh, and look at God. all the damage. Nair turned up tilt. Oh, that, that was so good. He was like challenging Plump in the air and then falling down. He's up tilt. Sheik has such a big, uh, you know, uh, problems getting down. Like horrible aerial mobility and no move really protect protects her from, uh, you know, when she's trying to come down from up tilts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Went nowhere Jeez, from that Mango is. Oh my god. Oh, Plup got a slide off on that platform as well. That's crazy. Mm hmm. Mm. Whoa. All right, Tech Chase Opportunity is going to go to the platform, though. Oh, whoa. That was sick. That. I, ooh. He's yep. actually keeping Eating it going. Oh shield. my god. Wow. Yeah. Little mistake from Mango, but he could have easily landed the needles anyway. It wouldn't have mattered much. Mm hmm. Up whoa. Throw. Grabbed out of the down air. I wonder if Plup expected it since he got the up throw. It looked more like a, you know, mistake, and then. I mean. It was okay for him. It mm -hmm. just looked weird. All right. Mango's in again. Yeah, man. Just coming in with a nair. Wave dashing at him out wow. of shield. Not away, at him. Yeah, Mango, like, is super down. When he comes out of an exchange, like, he's super down to go right back in. Like, oh, he yeah. doesn't put any time in between that and the next exchange. Until he oh. does. Until and he does. And that's yeah. his greatest mix up. Yeah. He's just bullying Plop. Yeah, but Plop got the one grab he needs. No tech chase, though. Yeah. Four tilts him out of his approach. 
That's exactly what Sheik wants. And another grab here. Nice yeah. shorten from Mango into a beautiful ledge dash. Mango's done a lot of shorten to ledge this tournament. Mm. Like more more than we normally see, I feel like. Ooh, wow. That was a very unfavorable trade for Plop. It was like that downer he got on Zane yeah. just a moment ago. Sometimes right. you just jump, you're doing a little short hop, right? You're minding your own business, but you get that angle. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute, 66% off of one grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mango running in and getting hit with four tilt. Wow. Mm. Big nair there. Oh, tournament winner. That is not oh. it. Yes, it is. Ooh, yep. Good stuff by Plup covering mm -hmm. that downer back to stage. Yeah. yeah. You see, like, the strength of FOD. Um, with regards to like, yeah, Plop was having a hard time landing sometimes, but also when he was under Mango, and especially when Mango was on like the side platforms, looked really good for Plop. Plus he can convert the reaction tech chase, which I, I don't think he's the best Sheik at right now, into like, just like straight combos on the side platforms on that stage. Yeah. Here's FD for Mango. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with you. It. Yeah, he doesn't usually go here, but I, I mean, yeah, like you said, really good stage for Falco. No jump here, right? So. No jump. So, yeah. Wow. Plup hoping Mango would miss his stand-up timing there. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I feel like relative to how good like Mango's characters are, this is like arguably his best stage, taking that into consideration. <laughs> because everyone just <laughs> yeah. categorizes yeah. him here over the years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like Falcons with a with, uh, fountain. Yeah, in a yeah. Way. Oh. oh, that worked out really well for Mango. <laughs> and Downer oh, will no. kill. Oh, he's got it anyway, I think. Wow. Nice. And back air oh. could have been opposite tech, so that's why he double downer. Yeah. Yeah. You can definitely also do a back air forward smash, though. Mm, yeah. The thing uh. is, actually, on that back air as well, up to like, I think, 80 or something, you can actually hold down and then like slide oh. off and grab the ledge. Instant fall to ledge, that's right. Yeah. Both Mark and she can do that. Mm. I, I don't remember exactly how long, but I would guess like 60 to 80. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think double downer is definitely the most optimal answer. Whoa, okay. And yeah. let's see if Plup can get something here. Oh, weak dash tag, unfortunate for him. Might Down be it. Yeah, yes. it. Nice and easy. Yep. Mm -hmm. A little baby bait. I feel like Plup is so good at covering rolls away. It's like sometimes when it's like, oh, I might be able to escape rolling away, and Plup is always ready for it. Yeah, right? Well, his boost grabs are really consistent. Yeah. That's a big part of it for sure. Nice read and that's actually, you think that was a reaction? That looked reaction. Reaction, to me. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that was a reaction. Read in the sense that he knew to set up for it. It was a read action. Ah, uh, there you go. Primed. Right. Um. Yeah, and the pop out like really not good DI. It's kind of funny, but it happens. Plump yeah, that's edging right. his way back. I mean, he could turn this around. Yeah, that's Dang. a classic manga. Throw out a laser, dash back, and come back in. Oh. Mm -hmm. Every oh, time. Interesting. Tie nice. game. Tie game. Oh, this yeah, is big. she can definitely cover every. Uh, this is big. Yeah. Yeah, this is huge. Oh wow. That nair wasn't safe. Oh. Slide off. She is actually so boned if you get that. Like if Mango got that down smash, it's like so big if you get she off stage at this percent. Miss tech. Yeah. Damage, but still living. Oh, Whoa, what Mango. was that double jump? Where yeah. are you going, my man? Oh, and Mango meant to wave dash to the ledge. He missed his wave dash there. And and plop. Is that, that going to be... Is that going to cost Mango? <gasps> Three grabs. 70%, 78. He's still living. Wow. Can he make it back oh! down to neutral? Oh, and I'm missing Mango the misses the tech. That's so crucial. Wow. Plop. Plop did bring it all the way back and he is now did. leading the set ahead in the counter pick. If Mango didn't flub his wave dash to the ledge, yeah. I think that that was probably that game. You can trace it all back to that. Yeah. Here we are wow, on story. Dude. The tiniest little things, man. That's melee, though. That's just how melee is. Oh. And Mango, we've seen him on Yoshi's today. Yeah. I actually wonder if he could have done shine up -y. There's a potential. Mm -hmm. Definitely, he's definitely Mango's not moving like he did for Zane. No, not. He's got to. He's got to dial in. Ooh, he tried. He wanted to prevent him from coming in, but she gets so low to the ground. Oh, tournament winner. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's an easy one for Plup. Dude, bubble theory. I'm saying. I'm just surprised Mango did that up B there. That's the type where I do it versus him. He's like, you're never supposed to up B yeah. there. Yeah. He, would make, he would make fun he of me for better, that. Right? He would make fun of me for yeah. that. He knows. I mean, I'm sure he knows immediately after yeah. doing it. He's like, ah, oh, I'm dead. I messed up. All right. 
Puppet the Tech just here. Mango staying on stage. Ooh, Puppet misses the reaction. I feel like sometimes, though, with like players of this caliber, sometimes it's like people believe that you're not going to do something that is considered that bad or that stupid. So like, I feel like you you get away with it more often due yeah. to that fact. Yeah. That people at, at respect level, it too much. It yeah. loops around, right? That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But that is one nice thing about the platforms on this stage for Falco. I mean, Sheik too, but their short off aerials both police the platform so well. Yeah, that's very, very true. Mm -hmm. Randall, uh, he's not stalling for it. Mm. Club ahead. This could be Mango's last game at Summit. Wow. Wow. Max range that on the That really was yeah. max range. Mango fighting to stay cool. alive. Wow. Ooh. That pressure. West Ball's pressure. And Ooh. great patience by Mango to sit and shield there. Mm -hmm. Big pillar combo. Yep. Keeping him juggled. Wow, Ooh. Mango. Looking for a strong back air. He gets the weak one, but now Good we know trade. double jump. Oh, well, he I did a bad refresh, yep. but he ends him. Really it's nice confirm to jump off double jump in air. Yeah, dude, this is so tense right now, actually. This yeah, Club can absolutely game. do this. We saw him come back from worse yet last game. Mm -hmm. so, so. Oh. Again, West Ball's pressure. Club finds an air. That's going to be the stock. Yeah. This is potentially Mango's last stock at Summit. Will Club go on to fight HBox? Jeez. Will we have a game five? Mango Mango's off stage. so fast right now, but he gets grabbed. grabbed. Coming up the platform, Club with the read. He keeps the tech chase going. Oh, my God. Oh, oh this might be it right here. And that might be it right there. Yeah. And that's it. Mango is knocked out of the tournament. It is going to be Plup versus HBox. Look at the mood. Wow. Mango out at third. Plup, Plup versus, versus Hungry, Box. Hungry Box. We haven't seen a Plup versus Hungry Box Grand Finals in, like in a, a year. while. At least. At I'm, least. I'm so stoked to see Plup doing this at this tournament. After mm -hmm. having a shaky Genesis, he's yeah. coming right back to 2020. Yeah. Truly in form. Brand new year. But can he take out the Clutch God? Yeah, the clutch in guard. two grand final sets. I yeah, think I feel he's like that's going to be the toughest but, part. Yeah. 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 This is your final test at Summit. I agree. The, yeah. the level of endurance. I think the what... It's tough because, well, okay, first of all, right, he's jumping in from a Sheik set to a Fox set. Two, you got two sets. And I feel like what you ideally want here... I mean, I've seen him do it, right? The Genesis he won, yeah. he basically was in this situation. Mm -hmm. um, no, he I, came from winners that tournament. Did he come from winners? Yeah, he beat the uh, Hunger Box I in remember. winners finals. Okay, maybe I remember wrong then. Are you sure? Yeah, Hungerbox won the sure, first set. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Right, because uh, Hungerbox and Leffen played, uh, they played loser finals. Oh, what it was was, and then Hbox, wa sorry, Hbox washed Plup the first set of Grands. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what happened. I remember I watched two sets of that. Yeah, it was two sets. It was two sets. Yeah, sorry, I watched two games of that first set, and like I had work the next day, and I was like, all right, well, Hbox is winning the whole tournament, I'm going to go home. <laughs> Damn. And then I stopped for food on the way home, and then I checked Twitter while I was waiting for my food, and everyone was like, oh my god, Plup won. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I fucked up. Oh. So, so you, never, was, you never close a stream at 02, Toph. You never close you a stream at 02. Gotta watch till you the end. Gotta watch till the, till the fat lady sings. And she's gonna sing pretty soon. Yeah, she's gonna sing pretty I soon. Can't, I guess yeah, let I can't that be a lesson to you, already. dear viewers, right? Yeah. Don't count your chickens till they hatch from their eggs. <laughs> How's it go? How's the go? That's perfect. I think Cl that's close word for word. That's how it goes, right? Yeah. Okay. Plot beating Mango. Mango out at third. Zane fourth. <sighs> We've got some. All, all the killers. Are the killers are getting killed. Dead. Yep. We've one only after got one. two it's killers kill left. It's kill or be killed. Mm. And Hungry that's Box. That's all I have to say. I just gonna Hungry Box is a killer, man. Yeah. Hungry Box with killer. two summit titles. Looking for a third. Look or can Plup? Or can Plup, can Plup take, take his, his first? first. That'd be, a, be a, for a new first time Melee Summit champion. Yeah, well, we're going to take the babiest of breaks as we get composed. We get ourselves yeah. situated. Deep breaths. Three seconds a longer in, seven exhale. seconds out. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to Smash Summit 9, and let's get ready for Grand Finals. Oh. Hungry Box versus Plup. Box versus Plup. Who would have thunk it? And hard to believe that four days have passed already, Toph. Every single summit. Every I single summit. I sit down summit. on the couch. We yep. start off the first day, and I say, well, it's the first time I didn't say it because I didn't know how fast it would go. Mm -hmm. But every time since, I've said. They go, the days go like flies. Yeah. 
When you're having this much fun, when playing, you're having this much fun, playing the best game of all time, yeah, four days just go in a blink of an eye. Blink of an eye. Yeah, here some we, people here say we are Neely's again. sick, right? Mm -hmm. Some Neely's people, sick. some people say it. it. Some people say that. Some, pe it's been said. It's been said. Oh wow, we are 68 at sixty-eight point five k k for our prize pool. pool. Yeah. And if you want to contribute, uh, bts.gg slash shop. I strongly recommend right? Right. this. There's a bunch of merch that's super dope. Yeah, Glint. Right what's, here, what's boom. Glint. Glint. I actually know what it means. You want me Grounded to say it? actionable here. ledge intangibility, mm -hmm. which is uh, the number of frames you get. Uh, you know, ledge dashing. Ledge dashing, where you're invincible, you can do whatever you want, and you, if you want to do whatever you want. Be my guest, but this is the official, you know, Super Smash Brothers melee font. Yeah, super soft and comfortable. I will add. That's actually the main sell that you can't really com get communicated in the photographs. Is that the, the merch is all very soft. Yeah, yeah. It don't feels very feels it very is. nice. It's it comfortable. is. There's and a uh, fuzzy. There's a fuzzy jacket too that Scar really likes. Yeah, that one's good. Sixty-eight point five k. Shoutouts to you guys. Yeah, thanks so <coughs> much to the viewers, all the time. I think that you know, are, are we still growing? I think viewership wise, we're still growing. Yeah. Game's been alive for almost 20 years now. The number of hearts that Melee is touching, that's oh growing. Oh, my. That that is that's growing, that's growing every doubt. year, Tof. Without a doubt. <laughs> Let's go. That was fuego. I oh, mean, it's, it's, it's touched my heart for 19 years. Yeah. And yeah. we're still playing it to this day. So. That's right. 19 more years, thing. right? 19 Here's more. To 19 Here's more. to 19 more, man. What's going to happen here? H-Rusters Plug. It's going to be middling. The final love meter of our tournament. They're yep. at 52%. We can play grand finals, I guess. I guess. guess. That's right, guys. Yeah, the two Florida, Florida, you know. Yeah, the two Floridians. Yeah, yeah this is a rivalry we saw a lot in like early 2018. Yeah. Early 2018, we yeah. saw a lot mm -hmm. of Plup versus Hunger Bombs. Mm -hmm. That's right. There was a period where it looked like Plup was, he was making a case. Yeah. I'm not saying, you know, I'm just saying he's making a case. He's trying to make mm -hmm. a case. Not saying anything more, but not saying anything less. Uh, never, <laughs> never saying anything less. Well, <laughs> the thing is, Plub, Plub obviously can do it. I think for him, it's like, with the style he wants to play, he needs to play like a solid like 8.5 at the very least yeah. and needs to not get frustrated. That's like one of Plub's weaknesses, that he get too mad when stuff doesn't go his way. Yeah. And Hunger Box, he strives of that. He can like yeah. smell when you're like getting, you know, desperate, when you're getting mad. Absolutely. And that's when you like start doing these like you know Randy up smashes and yeah, yeah. that's been and, and Puff has been the bane of that. I think it was Null yesterday was saying that like you know oh, oh my god there and he's he dead. Died. That's I your first dog. Finish my thought. Well, he's happy. Off, he's happy for that. Oh yeah. That was How so many good. sets versus Hungry Box start that way? <laughs> that was crazy. Mm, not that many. And you can't reaction textures that one. I think he was too far away, right? Wasn't not, uh, yeah, with rest they couldn't, but he still got the reaction with grab. Yeah. So sometimes you need to make that judgment call when you can't react with rest and mm. when you uh, only can do it. <gasps> Mid shorten! Wow, he Galette, oh! Galette. I thought he was Almost, gonna floor your yeah. up smash. I, I thought reverse backer, but both would have worked. Yeah. But I, th I think he might have thought the up smash was gonna kill, or he felt that he just wanna take the damage. Yeah, I mean and 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 that was a lot of damage. Ooh, that's oh, that's gonna hit! My god, I gotta tell you, Plup's looking hot. He's, he's looking hot, though. fast, yeah. Looking like he came to play. And he's got two sets, so, I, you know, he better be. All right, so right now for Plup, since he has built quite a bit of a lead, mm -hmm. right now you want to get Puff to a certain percentage where rest is off the table for next stock. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. if he does the rest, you get the you stock get trade. trade. So stock about, trade, about 50. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. able to do it, but, um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, like right now you want to make sure that Puff can't rest without, you know, giving up her own stock. This is a huge mistake a lot of Foxes do for some reason. Uh, so I hope... You know, the plop have you know? Yeah, be reading up on about this. It. What do you think the mistake is specifically? Like it playing too risky? Yeah, force too many like uh, exchanges that might not turn out in your favor. Mm. Oh, wow! Man. Just like that, the game is even. He gets stuck in his shine of all the, of all the ways for that to happen, and that was kind of the tale of the winners finals too. Uh, was that? Plup was playing pretty awesome, but there were some pretty, you know, just big, simple drops. Well, game five just came down to a triple rest from Hungrybox. Yeah, Box, triple so up throw if, rest, right? Yeah. No, miss, miss lots of misty eye. If Plup could just avoid that, he'll be in a much better spot. Oh, yeah, Hungrybox, he loves to do that aerial uh, edge cancel on the platform, and it cool. needs to be a new one. Sometimes you mm. can Usually sneak down in. Air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can often uh, sneak in up smash from that. Wow. It's a very underused option that I'm not sure if any Fox actually does. But mm. it, it could be a good way to handle oh, it. Whoa. Yeah, Plup like Plup wants to just go push buttons. Mm. That's yeah. kind of his style. I was actually so Amsa and me are both like we both played DDR, right? 
and we had a fun conversation last time I was in NorCal about like the different top players, how they feel like different songs in like a rhythm game. And he was saying that Plup feels like one of those songs that's just super fast, super stamina, like when you're fighting against him. Because his style is he wants to go in and like just fight, push as many buttons as possible. And wow, yeah, yeah I mean, that game went went by in like the blink of an eye, right? Mm -hmm. All just right, a so blitzkrieg of moves. The mistake that happened there for Hungerbox was like drill, grab becomes true at higher percentage. At lower percentage, you can always bot dodge, you can always buffer roll, but at high percentage, you can grab. And I think Hungerbox misjudged if it was a true combo to grab. Mm. And that's why Plop got the spot dodge and got the up up there. Does he need the um the weird... Hey, there's the... Missed, uh, missed up the rusty eye. Does he need the weird... Like, you know how sometimes the drill sends you in a weird flip? He doesn't need that, right? It just makes it no, easier? No, at high percent, you get regardless. Okay. All right. I mean, it, it might make, like, a, a frame or two difference at, like, you know, the like the sweet spot, pretty much. Mm -hmm. But, like, when the damage is high enough, yeah, no, it works. It works, regardless. Right. Mm. Wow. Not enough DI on it. Yeah, he didn't go far enough to the side. And, and what is it about Dreamland that makes it so hard for Fox to find clean hits? Uh, just, is it the, the layout of the platforms and that Puff has so much space to run away from you? I, I think it's just more that like a lot of openings that barely kills on other stages don't. So you get to like play this longer game against Hungerbox. And, you know, one thing that separates Hungerbox from other Puff players, I know it's many, but one thing that separates him is that he is so much better at making it hard to kill him. Like, mm -hmm. he will fight each stock as it's his last. Mm -hmm. Tooth and nail, right? Yeah. Other puff players, like, they go in and they, like, they almost, like, give their stocks away mm. sometimes. While Hungerbox is like, no, you have to earn this. I used to feel that way watching uh, your peach. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. yeah. This, you know. It, it, you true. need to, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of players have that on their last stock that, you know, now I'm going to fight, you know. Yeah, mm. but yes. having that on each stock is, like, actually more uncommon than it might, you know. Absolutely. Just it's hard to stay in that place in your mind, <laughs> Yeah, you know, fighting yeah. that hard uh, for, you know, for so long. For so long, yeah. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, you can't DI in on that up air. Mm -hmm. And that was just Insane. confidence because with, with the stock lead, Hungerbox didn't necessarily need to rest. He could have gone for four smash combos or some kind mm -hmm. of tech chase, but if he's just um, he's feeling it in grand finals and he wants to right. let everybody know the about it. The way that's been explained to me is that it's a DI mix between pound and up air because with the up air, you want to DI uh, away. And on the pound, you want to DI in so that you go yeah. back, right? And if you get if you guess wrong, basically, uh, then you're gonna get rested, mm. which is oh. spooky. Ooh, I love how he delayed that second there too, yeah. trying to find the upper space. Mm -hmm. No, nice he was guy. looking. I think he was looking for a rest. The way he drifted in, not reaction, but um, but yeah, he was like scouting it out. Plup should just give up ledge here. Armada, what do you think about Plup's positioning? Like, the, the spots that he chooses to kind of dash dance around? It seems like he's kind of dash dancing, like, under the edge of one of the side platforms, right? And he's not really lasering too hard. Is that he, how you like to play it? I think, like, the thing is, I do think people overuse lasers against Hungerbox often. Like, you want to laser when Puff is far away, but once it's, like, kind of close, I think dash dance is just better and make, you know, Puff how do you say, uh, keep Hungerbox on his toes, that mm -hmm. I might go in, I might not. And then if Hungerbox backs off because he thinks you will approach, then that opens up for more lasers. Then you go in, okay. So I, I think like a lot of people have this wrong idea. Ooh, Hungerbox Big barely couldn't make that in time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a lot of people have this idea that you should only camp Hungerbox, but that's when you corner yourself and you basically tell Hungerbox that, yeah, you can come and get me. Mm. So when you add in like maybe 30% offense, that's like, it's much more tricky for Hungerbox rather than like always camp. I yeah. love that you gave us a ratio. Yeah. Just even like hearing it like that, it's like, yeah, just the mentality. It's not even half, but. Yeah, I think 30 is probably mm -hmm. around like, yeah. I would love to, yeah, I mean, I would, it would be so cool to just hear, because uh, I mean, I've noticed that, right? With all the top Fox players, they position very differently. Like, you know, there was this era where, you know, it was like Mango would go all the way in, Yuta King would be laser camping a lot, and then you were kind of in the middle. And you were like the three foxes that could do it, and we would always remark uh, about the di the difference in positioning, right, and how that yields different exchanges, I guess, different encounters. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We we all had different styles for sure, and then we see, you know, all these like newer foxes. They also like, you know, try to find, you know, their style and mm -hmm. uh, pace on how to play the matchup. Plup huge with the platforms. Whoa, run and jab. Plup, Plup's Hard definitely, back air. He's definitely made his own style in this matchup. I love the run up dash cancel jabs. Dude, the speed is is just like. Bonkers it's crazy with him. 
And wow, he, wow. he DI'd out in the second forward air, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. And there right, was this is game three, last stock. Oh. This is a pretty big game. Yeah. Up air will kill now. Oh, but that is that it? No, That's it, oh! This is the rest, and we're going to go to game four with a plump lead. H what? H-Box never misses that I've combo. I've never seen him miss Jab Reset Rest. That looked weird because like it almost looked like you can't really get like uh, the jab reset on jab, but Plop was bouncing up so high. I wonder if that messed with Hunger Box or something. The timing. Yeah, like yeah, I guess. I'm not even sure if uh, Plop was like standing up earlier. I don't think that's a thing, but just looking at it, it just felt like Plop got his shield up so quick. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I oh, thought yeah, might have been the case. Oh, you got him. Yeah. Hunger Boss always go for that one. Mm -hmm. The thing is also, like, you don't nope. even have to DI to the platform in the first place, but if you do, you should always assume he does the up air. Because he doesn't have a reason to change it up when people, you know, always miss that tech. They always mm -hmm. miss that tech, yeah. A lot of people um, have started smash DIing the up air to the side so you don't at least land and get tech trapped for the second, uh, the second one, which would be the rest. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Sometimes oh. you can use DI straight off the platform. Like, mm -hmm. you don't even have to land after it up or sometimes. Right, right. Oof. Wave dash Plum. back, wow. jab. Jab, so fast. smash. That's all it takes to even it up. He is moving crazy fast. <laughs> can he keep it up? Can he, he go the distance? He moves like they do. <laughs> He's actually, Plub is actually playing, like, Matrix level right now. Oh, and then he swapped up slowly. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. missed the drill. That's oh where you're talking, talking yeah. about, Adam, how drill is not completely consistent at lower percents. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's... That's Hunger Box, so you just have to, like, read the mix-up. I think punishing that, that forward smash on the, the platform. platform. Yeah, he almost definitely meant to, like, fall through and yeah. fair bear. Uh -huh. um, that's a super fast reaction uh, to punish that. All right, so that was another thing that happened with the uh, with blood. The blood. burn. Oh, <gasps> that's the shot. Yeah, that's it. Oh my God, is he? He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Is this gonna be set two? Just that like alone that could be. And by Hungry the way, Hungry can bring this back, but he can. But the, the reason this is important too is because it gives oh my Plup God. so much uh, like mental leeway, right? Yeah. If he can just close the set one here, it's like cool. Like I don't have to slug it out in a game five and then reset. No, just close it in four. H box mm -hmm. at sixty percent. Oh, smash! Oh. That was a confirm. I was not expecting the uh -oh. set to go. Uh -oh. Like uh -oh, this. Uh -oh. He can't rest it. Yeah, rest is off the table at this percent. But he's doing attack, a lot of damage. Attack. Hungry Box can totally bring Ooh. this back, but Plum finding an up smash. One of the fastest Fox versus uh, H Box sets I think we've seen in recent history, but it is set one of Grands. We got a bracket reset. Three yeah. one. Two weird mistakes by H Box getting yeah. shined. And was there one other? When he force smashed on the right platform. Yeah. So a couple flubs, but really Plub just playing incredibly. Armada, you notice anything? Wow. The thing is, Plop, uh, Plop has just been so good at like finding kills this set. Like normally, that's you know where it's the hardest part of fighting Hunger Box, but Plop has been on top with like the jab up smashes, uh -huh. raw up smashes mm -hmm. to like re jumps, uh, drift on Hunger Box is like aerial mobility with up airs. So yeah, that will clearly be a key for him uh, mm -hmm. if he wants to win the set two. And wow, we're going right back into it. They had a little bit of a stretch break, and we're starting off slow. A little bit of lasers on the platforms here. Set two grand finals. <laughs> Is this happening? So Plup now at this tournament has beaten ooh, uh, has uh, beaten yeah, Hungry Box in the set. Mango, Zane, who else has he beaten? All the killers. All Axe. the killers. Axe. There's just one more. What a run. Yeah, if Plup does this actually, he's a ledge. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. wow. No, but he gets the smash DI. Incredible that up smash DI. Yeah, Plup's not going to get that KO. Ooh, roll accidental. Mm -hmm. Oh, charging yeah. with the falling up air. Yeah, Plub is down to scrap. And yeah, I think that um, the fact that, I think this is like, because he's still moving fast, right? I think that like the fact that he didn't have to expend a bunch of energy that first set is actually going to be a difference maker. Yeah. yeah. Just given the way he plays, it's like, so, oh, he wanted the he gets a back air anyway. Yeah, quick shield drop. All right, so right now, something that's very important to keep track of is I believe it's 17%. Puff's up air knocks down. So that's when it's very dangerous to be above Hunger Box because he is kind of fishing for these up airs when mm. you like stay above him. Uh, Around like 70% or something, it's more fine to be above again because you go so high up that he normally doesn't get like a follow up. Right. Maybe 75. But yeah, the 17 to like 45, 50 range. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful if you're above him. Okay. It's cool to hear because Leffen was talking about how he's really tracking pound oh. at around that percent, you know, 15% or so. Yeah. Pound and grabs. 
Oh, yeah. So there's a bunch of different things that y'all are paying attention to at these certain percents that you know Hungrybox is fishing for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he has like certain options that are just like much higher yeah. reward at certain percentages. So sometimes you need to look out for the pound, sometimes mm -hmm. the grab, sometimes the up air. And Hungrybox is really good at like catching people's movement. So. Tof, are you freaking out like I am? I'm how, freaking just out. How fast Plup is playing right Plup now? Plup is, yeah, he's just, his platform movement's actually like absurd. I've dreamed of playing like this. Yes. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I think it's really hard. Yeah, he's just like, you know, oh we've God. kind of always considered Puff to be like the aerial superiority character in this game, right? But like, Plup is moving so well on the platforms that he's actually challenging it with Fox. Even on the ground, he's finding shield pressure situations right next to H-Box and back him out of his jumps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those back airs are actually crazy. They're adding up. Oh, but Bay! there it is. Still living. Yeah, tech Great chase tech rest, chase yeah. rest from H-Box. Oh, and he misses oh. the punish! Almost got some back airs there. That would have been something. Oh my god, yeah, that pressure is super fast. Yeah, the good thing with the drill there was that he was still landing behind Hungrybox. Uh, if he landed in front, that most likely would have been a shield grab Whoa. and possibly the game. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, wow. I wonder if he could have came down with like a soft nair and then up smashed. Mm. It's possible. <laughs> eh! Could have done a fourth. Oh, that was too... I think he went yeah. for the second hit up there. Mm, because he did it so early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, game super duel. He's got to find a kill. And like, oi! A little too fast. Pull the trigger. Oh. H-Buck's starting to like spot dodge in these like kind of awkward shielding yeah. by the ledge spots. It's Whoa. basically like... It was a dash ooh, tag. Yeah, that was a big up smash out of shield. I and I usually say H-Box close these. Yeah, that's going to yeah. be game one. That forward air tech chase was actually really sick right there. Mm. Quick reactions from the box to close that out. So H-Box taking the lead in set two. Let's see where we go. Mm -hmm. Stadium. Yeah, Plup is a... Uh, even in the sets he's lost against H-Box this weekend, this has looked like a really good... Of which this is the this is the fourth set they played this weekend, right? Holy shit. Yeah, I guess yeah, they, play, they did play... Oh my pools. god. They played they did play winners. Uh, they played a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, what an it! What a sick recovery! Wait a minute! Oh, oh! Is that gonna be a swing? You know, Hungrybox was ready for that shine spike. Mm -hmm. Oh, he could have gotten some damage, but he did. Yeah. So, um, this yeah. is a crucial game. This game is everything. Scar. Oh, yeah. That's this not game gonna, is actually okay. everything. This game is everything. Yeah. If Club drops this one, he's gonna win two on Dreamland. Yeah. That's you almost never hope. see that. Yeah. yeah. You almost never see that. Great recovery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just shine stalling, waiting it out. And then Plup going back in. Yeah, he's like playing like the, almost like the Mango style, where it's like, yeah, I just want to like, like if if we get separated, I'm going back in as soon as possible. He's going to close the distance. He's going to yeah. close the distance, yeah. And I think it's working out for him, because I don't think H-Box is like super used to it. That's a bit of a dropped edge guard there from Hungry Box. Mm -hmm. It always looks so scary to me when like Foxes try to go for these like perfect ledge dashes because Hungerbox he always positions himself where you can't really punish him and he also uh, he also puts priority on covering uh, tournament winners in case it happens. Mm -hmm. So many times it's actually better to just go for like a mediocre ledge dash and right. like minimize the risk of a tournament mm -hmm. winner. I see. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, like he's not gonna get hit by like a reversal up smash. Right. Yeah, he, he will shield in those scenarios. So if you do get a ledge dash when he's like very close to the ledge, it's much more likely that oh. he's gonna shield. Puff uh, up yeah. smashing Fox getting revenge for <laughs> numerous. Oh yeah. Yeah. A long history. A long history. That's no not wow. it. No, the next one wasn't the strongest yeah. hit of up till, I don't think. Because the strongest hit of up till Okay, seventeen percent. Yeah, right now it's so important not to like get rested. Uh -huh. Like now you just want to like close up out. air, grab, pound up air. Yeah, I'm starting to learn. Oh! Wow! wow. Hungry Box flying right into that up tilt, right into the Tof. danger zone. Those lasers were making him antsy. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Okay, but he's ready with the di. Okay, which is, oh yeah. my god, that edge uh, edge cancel. <gasps> yeah, not really in front. Oh, not really in front. Is. Yeah, it's crucial that he dies off the top there. Now Hungrybox can recover. Mm -hmm. Can wake up. Almost getting like <laughs> hit into a grab right after coming back down. Oh, that's a no punish. Wow. wow. Oh. oh, just barely dodges that pound. Oh, he barely. Yeah, he can't quite get that. Mm -hmm. Puff's gonna look. There's the rest. You got to yeah, be a tie game. Yeah, that's done for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Hungrybox has kept this dead even. This is a huge moment. This is absolutely huge for the tournament. Oh, oh yeah, Hung Hungerbox loves to do these uh, back falling backers, turn around, grab at low damage. Whoa, how did he get under? 
That was sick. Yeah, running up. That's down. it. No. Smash the from Hungrybox. Oh, oh no. Where's Pup going? Oh wow, he clips him with that nair. Super crucial. Yeah. Yeah. If that nair did not clip, <gasps> oh, what is this up smash? The, the wall's getting involved now. How? I, I, I don't know, man. Stadium. Ah, ah, I don't know, man. Why is he going down there, Josh? I don't know. know. Ah, I don't know. Ah, why is he going down ah, there? None ah, of us know. Ah, oh, my God. He, this guy came to play. Ah, Plup. He wants to do it his way. Oh, my God. He almost that SD'd. Air dodge. He almost SD'd. Does Plup want to win? Ah, ah, he's still alive. We hit Nair. Yeah, we're, we're hyperventilating. I don't know what the oxygen levels are in Why this building, actually. <laughs> oh, oh ooh, he's... Hungry box. That's... What is Weak actually is, happening? Is what is start actually soon, happening? By the way. Any strong hit will do it. Any weak hit will do it. Oh, my goodness. What did he hit him with? It popped... Oh! Plop just running at Hungry box. No! Why did... Big exhale. Oh. Big exhale. And wow. The, the whole building just reacted to that Wow. Set. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That match and we're sorry. right back into game three. This is a bad sign. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, people <laughs> of all, you know. If you're a Plup fan. Everyone, this is not a good sign. <laughs> goodness. Uh-oh. Can Plup recover very, from very game? Yeah. That was a sick match cancel back. I don't even know if I can recover as a caster. I don't either. Like he, up till up and right play. Day. Yeah, he's got to play. I don't think I've ever seen a puff at like 200% You got to lock back in if you're club. I there's a world. There's one tiny throw. Oh. There's a world. There's a world. He's going to get this kill. You have to stay in it if you're club. This is the ultimate test. I honestly at this point I feel like for club like I just want to see him want I I want to see him play to win to the bitter end. That's what I want to see. Yeah. If he goes out, you know, I'm I'm super proud of him. Like Yeah. He's so dope. It's a crazy tournament for right? him, no matter what. Oh, yeah, that was a grab. Okay, that yeah, SDI ended yeah, up. That was crazy SDI, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. He was definitely under stadium when he started getting yeah. hit by the drill. And, <laughs> and he then was he definitely was back on not. Stage. Yeah, he, yeah, he kind of teleported. These side steps and rolls from Hungrybox are so annoying sometimes. Yeah. The thing is, people need to get, like, when Hungrybox oh, does nice. one of them, he normally does another one. Yeah. So yeah. It, instead of playing the, like, grab and get spot dodge rolled. Over like, and over. Yeah. Oh, and that's the upper we talked about. Yeah. He's gonna find you, <laughs> right? If you're there you. to get hit, he's gonna hit you. Mm -hmm. Whoa, oh my god! Wow, goodbye, Whoops. Hbox to jump oh, out, dude. Yeah, this whole game, like dodging the pound, actually low profiling it practically. Yeah, that was yeah. like really. He's crouching clutch. under a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the cool thing about that is even if you get hit, well, hey, crouch cancel, no big deal. Whoa, found him. Up smash. I mean, he's still in it, Tove. He's, he's definitely still, in, still it. in it. Yeah, this is good. Um, I almost wonder, though, like, you know. No rest, though. Well, Doesn't want to trade the damage. There was that nice air dodge. Leg dash. Yeah. Big damage. 27, here. 39. Try to convert it to a grab. Wow. wow that's it. No. Almost. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, that was like one, one of the weak spots for Puff, like being underneath her. Yes, definitely. Hungry Box gets all of those now. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. All right, last stock. This could be the end of Smash Summit 9. This could be Plup's last stock, or we're going to go into a game four. Can Hungry Box close it out here? Whoa. No! That was so close. Yeah, that was close. What was that up tilt? How do you get hit by it? I think Jump it tried to shield grab. I, try, I think it tried to shield grab, and it was like just at the start. I'm just thinking about Hungrybox's mentality. Did he pop off too hard for winning that game too? Like Something he, tells no. me he's positioning for the Dreamland games on games four and five, but we shall see. Okay. Yeah, the thing is also Hungrybox is a very emotional player, so like when he's feeling himself. Oh like, yeah, he's feeling know. himself, he's feeling himself. Yeah. Bob definitely had this, he dialed in. I saw this look of like, all right, let's do this, a little nod. Good tech, doesn't roll in, I love. Mm -hmm. Cannot give HBox that roll in. The restraint, the discipline, the awareness. Whoa. This is. Whoa, that was crucial. Yeah. And then go back to center stage. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this is how could have died multiple ways there. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I think he realized, like, yeah, nope, no point going for, like, a upper or whatever. Like, it's not going to kill. 
top platform. Puff does have a hard time covering that one. Slow get up. Ooh. Oh, but it, <laughs> no punish. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. It, I get the attempt. I actually think that's kind of smart there. With that up smash? or Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. You're almost never expecting uh, Fox to like do that kind of option after wow. blood dashing back. Incredible awareness by Pluff that he's going to live that. His down throw, tech chase. Yeah, you have to kind of make a read. It's like not really reactable, right, Armada? No, no, that's not reactable. You have to, that's yeah, it? You have to read. How did Pup live? Pluff live? Streamland. Just like 111. Yeah, that was really. Oh, wow. that's going to do it. No, I've never seen this many dash cancel up tilt. Me neither. In, in a no, single set. Me neither. I've never actually, seen so many up tilt KOs. They're actually, actually popping the bubble. H box. The bubble's been popped, Toph. Yeah. We gotta add that to the heat map. If he can get him to the percent range where he can kill him if he gets rested, that would be nice. It would be a little cherry on top. But, oh, the egg! So fast. Sick angle. So and fast. by the way, Plup has not missed like practically any ledge dashes. Like mm -hmm. for for what you know our motto was saying, I fully agree with it. Uh and Plup's just like, no, I'm gonna do the perfect ledge dashes and I'm actually just gonna hit him. Yeah. When you got it, you got it. When you got it, you got it, right? And the last like, one we saw, that's like Hungerbox, he did default to shield. Yeah, go ahead. Like, not risking, like, getting up smash or something like that. Not mm -hmm. that he was a kill percent there, but still. Oh. <laughs> no second hit for Plub. Taking away. Yeah, he's actually not getting any of the second hits. Whoa! How did he get that? Chasing down the wave dash out of shield. That can actually... Yeah, I don't know. Plub's just making the right call, like, so much. Oh, my God. He's feeling himself. He's yeah. feeling himself. He's actually yeah. feeling himself. Plub is, like... This is, like, avatar mode or whatever. Yeah. Right? Like... Oh... oh, oh, oh. That's, oh, the, that's the sound. James Cameron avatar? That's the sound. No. Oh, yeah. I thought he could down tilt him there. Whoa. No, he, damn it. Hbox ready to turn around for that for the grab. Wow, oh! that was a bonkers angle. That was that a bangle. That was the mind compass had to come out and measure that angle out to Yeah, him. okay. A decent percent lead. J decent, This right? is impressive on Dreamland. This is yeah. impressive. I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Hbox wants to grab. Yeah. 11%. Might need a little bit more on Dreamland to secure rest Get percentage. Oh. Hbox not turning around there. Oh! And he gets the grab! Up throw! Not quite. He's chasing him down. Plump just down. Plump just wants to scrap! Last stock for Hungrybox in game four. Or can we go into a game five? Can Plump take this to a game five? <laughs> Plump's looking like me and Friendly. Dude. He's like straight to the ledge. I'm ledge dashing every time. <laughs> Oh. Except he's uh -oh, not missing big. that tech skill. Oh, we got that, that, that. That's a flub attack. from Hungry Box. It's a little bit of a flub, yeah. Oh, <gasps> big open up. Holy! That forward air. Ooh. Oh, but wait a minute. This could be the stuff. No. Oh, my God. This is looking like a game five. Yeah, but we can never count uh, Hungry Box out. He's, Ever. He's, yeah, he's so good in those type Ever. of situations. Okay, here we go. This is mm -hmm. it. 67 already. So can Hungrybox close it out and take his third summit title right here? Yeah, laser just a little more damage. Get it to where you get that guaranteed KO. Mm -hmm. Sixty-five thousand dollar prize pool. Oh, up tilt so scared there. If he gets shield grab, he's not going to be dying. You got to realize that. That is that it. That's Hungrybox finding that grab. Club. Putting up and showing it was an incredible showing. Yeah, more so than anything, I think I said it. Um, first of all, for Hbox, like, holy crap. We call this guy the clutch god, Toph. For yes. a reason. Because of stuff like that. Dude, yeah, and I think he was really taken to the limit. I think Plup threw a lot of stuff at him that, like, he rarely has to contend with. Yeah. Um, and then on Plup's side of things, right, super proud of Plup for staying mentally in it. I mean, like, he yeah, played. He, did. he really fought to the bitter end, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that was impressive. That game too. How do you wow. play the rest of that set? I don't. And and well, I'm shaking. And well at that. Wow. Congratulations to Hungry Box. Super Absolutely. duper high level play. That's his third Smash Summit. His third Smash mm -hmm. Summit. Wow. And he's taking yeah. a second. Yeah, he's to taking himself a second, here. A second yeah. too. He came down after that. Uh, one of his sets where he was like sweating. Yeah, he was. Yeah. That was a set set one versus Plup. Which is impressive because it's kind of cold up there. Yeah. So it's really <laughs> yeah, it's the melee true. it's the melee that's, that's taking that's taking you your your body's limit up there. That is crazy stuff. I mean, honestly, like I don't think I've seen a fox play that well for that long against Hbox ever mm -hmm. in terms of the speed. It was like, um, and I, I, I so I think for Hbox, I mean, I'm sure he's gonna have a lot to say about it, but I think yeah. Hbox like that was a uh, super impressive 
and kind of shows you just how far he is, you know, he has gone as a player mm -hmm. um, to be able to, like, just take these fox threats coming and just shut them down. Wow. Yeah, wild that he was able to get take that game four. Yeah. Yeah, he caught him with a DI mix up on the up air again. At up the air end. again, yeah. yeah he di probably expected a pound. But mm -hmm. then, yeah, he held him for the up air mm -hmm. and, yeah, hunger box. That's what happens. Is it reactable? Not really, no, no, right? No, no, it's, no, no. it's it's pretty it's fast, not. yeah. Whew. Damn. Congratulations again. Hungry Box is your Smash Summit 9 champion. Mm -hmm. Wow. And he's going to come downstairs, and we'll get to have a little chat. I think the building, the whole venue is going to be supporting him here. That's right. Today, Hungry Box fighting through none, Mango, and two, three sets with Club. Uh, to, yeah, three sets with Club today. Dominated his pool. One a couple days ago. Yeah. Wait, wow. What do you mean one a couple days they ago? They played in pools. Yeah, they played in pools, yeah. Mm. They played four sets this right, weekend. Right, right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Holy cannoli. He did it again. Uh, he did it again. <laughs> West Balls? I, I don't want to take too much credit here, but um, <laughs> I just want to say <laughs> that uh, uh, I just want, at least at Super Smash Con, I want to be nominated for Coach of the Year. That's <laughs> 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 fine. Thank you, Coach uh, West. Big shout-out to West Balls. Uh, he actually... He did an amazing job actually getting me out of my mental funk and sponsor this guy. Also, I'm just going to use this time. Mm. I just want to talk about other people. Mm. Uh, you guys need a sponsor, IBDW. I think he's a phenomenal Ooh. player. Highest rank he's free agent. Good. Yeah. Uh, come here. Give this man a smash job. He'll make it worth it. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I also want to say a big thank you to Danny, my boy behind me, right there next to West, we've been playing since I was 12 years old, and he helped me win today too, so that was good. Coach West. Coach West, yeah. And then one last huge thank you to Nez Mod God. This is the 15 0 controller and Ooh. Smash Summit 9 controller, so yeah. thank you, Nez. Um, all that, all that being said, uh, I know this is probably a shot in the dark, uh, but I'm gonna try anyway because there's a lot of people watching. I really do wish. If anyone from Nintendo corporate is watching this right now, Ooh. if anyone's seeing the amount of excitement these sets can get and everything that goes with it, just give Melee a chance. Even if it's just Ultimate, support the Ultimate scene, support the Smash scene in general. You have people day in and day out streaming, making content, competing, going to tournaments, and we do it all grassroots. We have this like beyond the summit because they raise money and that's great, but Nintendo, I need to say I love you guys, but you are the only one not putting in resources into the scene. Mm. Look at Capcom mm. Cup, look at that celebration. Look at every other game, look at Fortnite. <laughs> this is the step that you're missing. And if you did that, the culture and the appreciation that you guys would receive would be bar none, unlike anything you've received. So I hope you're listening. It's probably a shot in the dark, but please support Smash tournaments. Um, yeah. All right, yeah. That's, that's kind of, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, I, mean. I love it, I love it. Thank you, Juan. And I guess the last thing I'd say before I answer questions is uh, just shout outs to people who've always been there for me. And my mom, of course, because she's just the greatest person in the world. And uh, it's been nice. I've been here in SoCal for three weeks, and I'm going to spend a lot more time here in SoCal. I'm not going to say too much just yet, but I'll be here a lot more often. And thank you guys for commentating. did a great job. And mm. thank all you guys for competing. Thank you for oh, making Melee great, wow. honestly. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. How do you feel about those uh, two sets with Plup? Huh? How do you feel about those two sets with Plup? I think that that's the best Plup has ever played against me in the past. Some statistician can do it. But uh, I thought he was going to win for a second because mm. he kind of bodied me that first set. Mm. I had to slow it down, and I had to get the hell away from Pokemon Stadium and get one win on that stage. That godforsaken, oh. miserable stage. Can we please freeze it? Please. FD kind of pick Frozen Stadium, I, I think. But other than that, he played absolutely amazing, and he deserves top two of this tournament the way he was playing. Beat Zane, beat Mango, so it was sick. Yeah. 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 yeah, he had a crazy crazy run. He went off. <laughs> he went off. Be yeah, I, I don't think like that many people expected it because Pop hasn't not been like super focusing no. on melee lately. So yeah, beating yeah, as you guys said, Mango Zane, Mango twice even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no, he, really uh, impressive. He like did not hit the brakes, right? 
How did what? that feel? You play like playing against it. How did that feel? It, it felt the closest thing to playing a task I can ever play. Hey, you, you sit down for a second. Cause why? Because you're, uh, you're like the I'm the why? loser though. Oh, you're not. But the I loser. lost. The first, the wi the winningest loser. I'm just the first loser. Yeah, you're the Central Florida's sick though. <laughs> Central Florida, top two this Central tournament. Florida. Good point. Um, how are you feeling? Pretty tired, dude. Yeah. How about you? I'm feeling good. Uh, oh, I gotta say one more thing. <laughs> Stop sitting. <laughs> um, in general, uh, I just wanted to say w thank you to one more person. Mm. He's actually commentating. It's Armada. Uh, Armada's been coming to the summit and still playing Ultimate, still streaming, supporting it. And even though he's retired from competing, mm. uh, I just want to say thank you for pushing me to this level today. I would not. I'd be a third of the competitor if you weren't destroying me for years and years. So, to the greatest of all time, thank you, Armada. Aww. Well. Well, first of all, thank you, thank you, and uh, likewise, I think we both learned uh, a lot, you know, you know, about each other as competitors, you know, we always came up with, like, different strategies, how to <laughs> handle each other, whether it was characters, uh, game plans, and, yeah, I think that helped me a lot, not only against, like, you know, learning how to fight you, like, everyone, and I think that probably applies to you, too, so, yeah, it, it doesn't impact, like, only our rivalry, it impacted, like, all top rivalries, in a mm -hmm. sense, I Of think. course, Ben. And uh, in, in general, though, last summit I was not in a good place. I was working full time, got destroyed, wasn't happy competing. I got things figured out now, and I was able to play the way I wanted to for the first time in a long time. So I'm just, I'm just thankful. I'm really tired, really fucking sweaty, and <laughs> really thankful for everything. Well, and congratulations, gonna, my stream's man. on right now, so I'm gonna go to my stream. And, oh shit! Hey. You have your trophy wow. there. <laughs> Look at that. It is a framed Polaroid picture. They got, got the wife who was in there. <laughs> there yeah, they with, do. With Jed and Symphonia. Uh, it's it's a blurry Polaroid of me doing thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, and that uh, comes with uh, some percentage of a nearly $70,000 prize pool. What's the percentage? 69,000 crowdfunded How much? prize pool. I don't know. That's a lot. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Know, I don't know. I can't do all the math. But. Huh? So, yeah, yeah, Cody saying like probably, probably, 20, probably 20k or something for first place. Probably lots of Skrilla. But thank you that, so that much to all right. of our viewers. Oh. Uh, well, I guess that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take 17. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. So, shout out to be on the summit one more time. The only tournament that gets nearly this prize bon for sure. uh, bonuses again. Shout out to the viewers for funding viewers. our merchandise this Absolutely. weekend. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> And yeah, my stream's on, so I'm gonna go thank people in there after I finish the interview. But what's uh, the URL for your stream? Huh? And what's the URL for that if they want to check if we out get, later? We're uh, uh, 150 subs away from 3K sub points, and oh. then I get a new emote, which is hi. Sick. <laughs> so thanks, guys. Is it just twitchtv slash I know And appreciate it. I no, know shit. So many of you hate Puff, and I get it. But for those of you who like Puff and you cheer for me, you're fucking awesome. Thank you for that. You don't have to, and you do. So thank you for that. It means a lot. Yeah. Hey, hey. Thank right. you one more time so very much for watching. And I think that is it for us at Smash Summit 9. Another one in the books. And I can't wait till we're back. Me neither. Hey, could we go? Yeah, that was amazing. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next time. Peace out.